Chapter 1 Turn Waste into Treasure System Recycle Everything to Become Stronger Ding! It is detected that the host transmigrate is successful, and the system is activating the binding. In a daze, as a mechanical sound came, Xiao Chen suddenly opened his eyes. I. Transmigrate? Looking at the surrounding rooms full of ancient style, it was no longer the factory workshop he was familiar with. Xiao Chen was stunned on the bed. Next moment. Before he could think about anything, his head felt a sharp pain. Fragments of unfamiliar memories poured out crazily from the depths of his mind. Great Qian Dynasty. Wangzhou. Xiao family of Liuyan City. I really transmigrated. After integrated union these strange memories, Xiao Chen was confused on the spot. According to the memory in the mind, the world he transmigrated to is called Kanglin Realm, a fantasy world where Marshall Dao has multiplied to its peak. His original name was Xiao Chen, just like him, and he was the direct young master of the Xiao family in Liyan City. I went to Taiyi Sword Sect not long ago and planned to become a disciple of him. Unexpectedly, during the Taiyi Sword Sect test, he had a conflict with the young master of the Lin family in Tiandu City, and was slapped in the Dantian during the competition. After being carried back to the family, I lay like a dead dog for two more days, and finally I couldn't swallow the breath in my heart, and I just lost the breath. Although it is said that transmigrate happens every year, isn't this too hasty? It's all my fault that Wang Xin, that slutty guy, deliberately pulled his collar to seduce me, causing me to lose my mind and touch the switch. Thinking of the memories before his death, Xiao Chen couldn't help but complain. Unexpectedly, he, a veteran who had been working in an electronics factory for two and a half years, would be electrocuted to death on the spot because of the seduction of a student girl. Although he was alone, he had no worries, but it happened so suddenly that he didn't even have time to delete the browser history. There are his private photos and study materials for late night detoxification. Forget it. Let's make peace with it now, we can only accept the facts. As a hard-working social worker in the 21st century, Xiao Chen was relatively open-minded. He shook his head and shifted his attention. System, what functions do you have? After taking a deep breath to calm down his shock, Xiao Chen asked expectantly. Ding. The system is called the Waste to Treasure System and has five major functions, recycling, repair, synthesis, upgrade, and identification. Recycling. Recycle all valuable items, including but not limited to remnant soldiers, waste elixirs, corpses, bad medicines and many other items. After recycling the items, they can be exchanged for corresponding points, which can be used for shopping mall consumption or function consumption. Repair. You can consume a certain amount of points to completely repair the damaged object. Synthesis. You can consume a certain amount of points to synthesize multiple different damaged objects, transforming them into higher level complete objects. Upgrade. You can consume a certain amount of points to upgrade the quality of a complete item. Identification. The system has its own auxiliary function, which can identify the basic information of everything without consuming points. In addition, the system also has a monthly random recycling and pickup function, which can randomly recycle an item in Kanglin Realm. Hiss. This system seems to be very awesome. After listening to the system's self-introduction, Xiao Chen immediately took a deep breath, with a look of ecstasy on his face. No, where's the newbie gift package? Xiao Chen seemed to have thought of something and quickly asked the system. System, don't think that I am an honest person and just want to save the gift package for newbies. Ding. A gift package for newbies is being distributed. Congratulations to the host for obtaining the emperor level skill. Creation of the universe. Congratulations to the host for obtaining the life-saving item, famous sword command card. And congratulations to the host for obtaining the emperor level movement method heavenly demon shadowless step and get two additional free repairs one free synthesis and one free upgrade the art of creating the universe the supreme skill created by the great emperor can integrate the power of the five elements to control the yin and yang when practiced to the peak it can shake the world famous sword master card after use a famous sword mark will be generated which can protect the host from a fatal injury and provide three seconds of defensive invincibility. Note. When the mark is triggered, there will be a 24-hour cooldown period, during which the host cannot resist any damage. 
Heavenly Demon Shadowless Step. The body technique created by the Emperor of the Heavenly Demon Clan can be practiced to the extreme to achieve the Heavenly Demon formlessness, completely hiding one's own breath and figure. As the system prompts, three rewards are immediately added to the integrated union. Suddenly there was a roar in Xiao Chen's mind, and countless mysterious and obscure information exploded. Just for a moment, he then learned, creation of the universe, and, heavenly demon shadowless step, and even the, famous sword simming card, was transformed into a mark and integrated into his body. Once a fatal crisis occurs, the mark will be triggered in an instant. Sure enough, I have the system in hand, I own the world. Isn't this gift package for newbies too awesome? Feeling the two great emperor level martial arts and the life protecting escort of the famous sword seal, the corner of Xiao Chen's mouth raised a slight arc. It's better to deal with the injuries on your body first. Xiao Chen grimaced in pain when the excitement involved his injuries. Only then did he come back to his senses, and he was still seriously injured. The Dantian meridians were destroyed and the ribs were broken. Even if the Xiao family spends a lot of money to get some earth rank healing medicine, it can only repair some skeletal injuries. As for the Dantian meridians, there is no hope of repair. System, can my injury be repaired using the repair function? After thinking for a moment, Xiao Chen asked, Can. After getting a positive answer from the system, Xiao Chen did not hesitate to use the free repair function. As the system beep sounded again, a burst of soft white light flashed across his body. Xiao Chen's originally disabled Dantian and the severe injuries on his body were restored to their intact condition in an instant. Even broken Dantian meridians can be repaired. Isn't this function too awesome? Feeling that his physical condition had returned to its peak, Xiao Chen had a look of shock on his face. After fully remembering the original integrated union, he is no longer a novice in cultivation. You must know that the Dantian is where the Qi Si is located, and once it is damaged, it is difficult to repair. Even some supreme grade heavenly rank spirit medicine cannot completely repair the Dantian, unless it is a higher grade holy medicine. And saint rank spirit medicine, in several major dynasties in the eastern wasteland, it is almost a legendary thing. The system helped him repair his injuries for free this time, saving him a holy medicine in disguise. The feeling of cheating is so cool. By the way, my injuries can be repaired, so can my physique and martial Dao talent. Dot can also be upgraded? After thinking of this key point, Xiao Chen immediately asked about the system. After getting a positive answer from the system, he immediately chose to upgrade his own physique. Ding! Congratulations to the host for successfully upgrading his own physique, accidentally triggering a 10,000-fold explosion rate blessing effect, and transforming his physique from mortal physique into innate Tao body. As the system prompt sounded, endless white light erupted from Xiao Chen's body. His own physique could only be considered an ordinary one at first, but at this time, he was undergoing an incredible transformation. Vast spiritual energy continued to condense within his body, and even his own cultivation began to skyrocket crazily. Chapter 2 This is. A Medusa? Hiss. Dot the third level of spiritual aperture? With the transformation of his physique completed, Xiao Chen took another deep breath as he felt his current cultivation level. The path of cultivation can be divided into body tempering, Kai Yuan, Ling Chao, Xuandan, Grotto Heaven, Nirvana, Universal Truth, and Heavenly Being. Each realm is divided into nine levels. Of course, there is a more powerful saint realm above the ninth level of heaven and human realm. However, among the seven dynasties of the eastern wasteland, except for a few hermits and old monsters, few people can reach this level. He was only at the third level of Kaiyuan before. Unexpectedly, this physical upgrade would not only allow him to transform into an innate Tao body, but his cultivation would also break through to the third level of spiritual aperture. This terrifying breakthrough speed can scare everyone in the Xiao family to death. The feeling of becoming stronger is really amazing. I wonder if Lin Feng will be so scared that he can't sleep at night after finding out. Feeling the true energy surging in his body now, which is enough to easily kill any Kaiyuan realm monk in an instant, Xiao Chen's lips twitched into a slight sneer. Lin Feng. The person who destroyed his original body with one palm was the young master of the Lin family in Tiandu City. He reached the seventh level of Kaiyuan at the age of 18, 
and Marshall Dow's talent reached the high earth rank. If nothing unexpected happens, this guy has already worshipped the Taiyi sword sect and can be accepted as a disciple by some elders. After all, Marshall Dao talents who can reach the earth rank will generally be able to break through to the Grotto Heaven Realm or even the more powerful Nirvana Realm in the future. Within the great Qian dynasty, this person is considered an outstanding genius, enough to become an inner disciple of some sect forces. But now Lin Feng can be killed with one hand. However, the foundation of the Lin family in Tiandu City is much stronger than that of the Xiao family in Liyan City, and there are even strong men from the Grotto Heaven Realm in the family. Although I have Goldfinger, I still can't get carried away. Before you have enough confidence, you still have to be cautious in everything. Xiao Chen's eyes flickered and he made a decision immediately. Since God asked him to transmigrate, he also awakened a wall-mounted system. From now on, it is absolutely impossible for him to suffer humiliation like his original self, otherwise he will be in vain as he was once a member of Tomato Handsome Readers. Ding. The host has not carried out random recycling this month. Will the host carry out random recycling now? When Xiao Chen's heart was racing, the system suddenly prompted. Recycle. Xiao Chen was stunned for a moment, then immediately replied. The system can randomly recycle an item in Kanglin Realm but there will be a one-month cooling time after each recycle. This kind of recycling is like a lucky draw across the map. Whether he can pick up good things depends on his luck. Ding. Congratulations to the host for successful monthly random recycling. The picked items are being sent back to the host. As the system prompt sounded again, a dazzling light erupted in front of Xiao Chen's eyes, and even the space was distorted at this time. Not long after, the bright light disappeared, and an item appeared in the room. Hiss. This is actually a corpse. Xiao Chen's eyes were directly fixed on this object, and then a look of astonishment appeared on his face. The corpse in front of me. Her black hair was scattered on the ground, with a gilt crown on her head, and her beautiful face was extremely pale. The fiery red inner armor restrained a pair of towering peaks and underneath was a small waist with a vertical eye and navel exposed. What shocked Xiao Chen even more was that under her slim waist, a red skirt covered her private parts, and underneath there was a snake's tail. The purple-red scales sparkle with metallic luster. While they look a bit breathtaking, they also have an inexplicable sense of nobility. It's just that most of the snake woman's snow-white skin in front of her is covered with black burns. Even the snake tail on the lower body had many scales broken, as if it was dead. Well, Queen Medusa, everyone deserves it. System, are you sure it's a waste to treasure system, not a one-stop funeral system? After a moment of silence, Xiao Chen looked at the corpse and asked speechlessly. First random recycling. I thought I could pick up fragments of a holy weapon or an emperor weapon, but I didn't expect to find a snake human corpse. This good start was somewhat unlucky. Ding. The corpse of a strong man has many wonderful uses and is a treasure of extremely high value. In addition to using it by itself, the host can also redeem it for corresponding points. After hearing the system's response, Xiao Chen's lips twitched slightly. For your own use, how to use it? Look at the beautiful appearance of this snake man's body. Did he take advantage of the heat like an animal? The problem is that the other party's lower body has a snake's tail. Ah, bah, bah, he was led astray by the dog system. This is simply a loss of morals. After suppressing the ridiculous thoughts in his mind, Xiao Chen looked at the corpse and directly used the system identification ability. A queen Medusa from the snake tribe wanted to forcibly devour the world. Strange fire broke through the Saint Realm level, but was unexpectedly swallowed by strange fire and involved in the space turbulence. Currently in a state of suspended animation, he will die completely soon. If life essence is injected, it may be possible to save it. Damn it, is it really? Queen Medusa of the Snake Tribe? Seeing the text message that appeared in front of him, Xiao Chen had a shocked look on his face. The first time he saw the crown, he had some suspicions in his heart, but this world was a brand new world. There would inevitably be some discrepancies with what he had guessed, so he was not sure in his heart just now. I didn't expect that this was really Queen Medusa. You must know that among the snake people, Queen Medusa has the noblest bloodline. She has the blood of the ancient sky-swallowing python in her body, and she is also the strongest person in the entire tribe. 
It is difficult to judge from the text information that the strength of the Medusa in front of me should have reached the ninth level of heaven and human. This kind of strength looks at the seven dynasties of the eastern wasteland, except for a few old monsters in Saint Realm. It is undoubtedly the strongest existence. Unexpectedly, he would pick up such a terrifying existence during his first random recycling. This is a hot potato. Looking at Queen Medusa lying on the ground, Xiao Chen's expression became a little uncertain. At this moment he was hesitating. Should he take action to save this Medusa, or go up and kill it and exchange it for the corresponding points? The snake people are located in the endless desert of the great Qian dynasty tens of millions of miles away from the desert state where he is located. Although it is not clear how he picked up this Queen Medusa the first time he went back to collect. However, the snake people are cruel by nature and have always been at odds with the human race. He can't guarantee. After saving Queen Medusa, will the other party retaliate against him? After all, to be able to become Queen Medusa of the snake people, her hands must be stained with the blood of countless people. If saving the other party only leads to death, it would really be the story of the farmer and the snake. Ding. Warm reminder from the system. Every time the host uses the system function on a foreign object, it will quietly conclude a contractual relationship. Although this contract cannot forcibly control all things, it will enhance the favorability of all things towards the host. Just when Xiao Chen took a deep breath and was about to go up to hit the target, the system suddenly prompted him. This made Xiao Chen freeze on the spot, and the corners of his mouth couldn't help but twitch a few times. Since he has this ability, he didn't explain it clearly before. The cliffhanger of this dog system was intentional, causing him to almost commit murder. After internally complaining about the system, Xiao Chen looked at the Snake Queen. Since you let me pick it up when your life was hanging by a thread, it proves that you and I are destined. Today, I will save you once. Xiao Chen slowly walked up to Queen Medusa, then squatted down and pressed her right hand on her chest. Chapter 3 No Name. Why not just call it, Kayan? Cool, soft, there is also a vaguely amazing elasticity, as if there is surging energy hidden inside. Once it is completely freed from the shackles, it may be difficult for ordinary people to control it. Ahem, rescuing the wounded and dying is unexpected. Offended. Feeling as if his right hand was holding the whole world, Xiao Chen coughed dryly to defend himself, and then used the remaining free repair. Endless white light suddenly filled the air. Under the system's repair, Queen Medusa's injuries are recovering rapidly. His face, which was originally as pale as paper, also returned to rosy at this time. I hope this investment won't suffer too much. Feeling Medusa's vitality gradually getting stronger, Xiao Chen also retracted his right hand while murmuring secretly. With a contract made secretly by the system, there is no need to worry about Medusa betraying her. We can even use this life-saving grace and the secret contract established with the system to make Queen Medusa our own. Hmm, as Xiao Chen's thoughts turned around, Queen Medusa hummed. The eyes that were originally closed were opened at this time. Queen Medusa perfected being wedding dress version. Isn't this king? Dead? After gradually regaining consciousness, Queen Medusa looked puzzled. At this time, her memory was still stuck in the past. In order to be able to break the shackles of Saint Realm, allow his own bloodline to evolve back to his ancestors, and lead the snake people out of the endless desert. She didn't hesitate to take the risk to swallow a cluster of thousand-year-old earth core fire, but she didn't expect to be accidentally attacked by others. As a result, she fell short in the end and was swept into the turbulence by strange fire. In her condition at the time, there was no way she would have survived. How come she can still feel it now, and there are no injuries on her body? How do you feel? Seeing Queen Medusa, who was recovering from her injuries and standing up with her snake tail twisted, Xiao Chen asked with a feeling of spring breeze. Unexpectedly, after Queen Medusa recovered, she would have an indescribable aura. He was a little nervous inside, but he still seemed calm on the outside. Whether you can grasp this Queen Medusa depends on whether you can bluff the opponent next. Did you save me? Hearing Xiao Chen's words, Queen Medusa's eyes narrowed slightly, and her eyes immediately locked on Xiao Chen. When she saw Xiao Chen, she couldn't help but be stunned for a moment. Because she has never had a good impression of human men. But she didn't know why, the young human man in front of her made her feel familiar? 
This made her very confused. You suddenly tore apart space and fell into my Xiao family. You were severely injured all over your body and it looks like you are already dead. Fortunately, I have special treatment methods, so you can survive by chance. Xiao Chen smiled lightly and said calmly. This casual and indifferent look is somewhat of a master's attitude. This made Medusa's pupils shrink sharply, and she looked at Xiao Chen in confusion. In her perception, Xiao Chen only had the cultivation level of the spiritual aperture realm, but he was able to bring her back from death. Even a strong person from the celestial human realm would never be able to achieve this kind of ability unless the other person is proficient in medical skills. But the human youth in front of him did it. Not only did he save her life, but he also repaired all her injuries. What kind of extraordinary method was this? While feeling shocked and confused, Xiao Chen became more and more mysterious in her heart. When Medusa's heart was filled with turmoil, Xiao Chen paused for a moment and then continued with twinkling eyes. Although your injuries have recovered, your cultivation level has dropped due to the collapse of your energy. If you want to return to your previous cultivation level, I'm afraid it will take a lot of time. You might as well stay in the Xiao family during this period. As the saying goes, the one who is near the water and the tower first gets the moon. If he could keep this Queen Medusa by his side, he might have a chance to make her his in the future. Not to mention, now his wings are not full, and not long ago he had a grudge. If Queen Medusa was there to protect him, it would be much easier for him to solve the problem. The snake clan and the human clan have always been at odds with each other. If I stay with the young master, I'm afraid I will cause trouble to the young master. Medusa hesitated after hearing this, and then spoke with a worried voice. It doesn't matter. Next, I will find a way to conceal your identity. As long as your nemesis doesn't appear, no one will know that you are Queen Medusa. Xiao Chen waved his hand when he heard this and said indifferently. As long as he can collect some resources and exchange them for points, he can help Queen Medusa temporarily transform. At that time, as long as the appearance is the same as that of ordinary people and a veil is put on. Except for the most familiar enemy, who knew this was Queen Medusa? In this case, I will not bother you during this time. After a moment of silence, Medusa said. The Wangzhou is tens of millions of miles away from the endless desert. If you want to go back, you have to pass through the core area of the human race. Her current cultivation level has temporarily fallen to the Nirvana realm, and the risk of crossing the great Qian dynasty is extremely high. Therefore, it is the wisest thing to come down to cultivate first and restore your cultivation to its peak. By the way, my name is Xiao Chen, what is your real name? After hearing Queen Medusa's answer, Xiao Chen smiled slightly and asked casually. The world only knows that there is a Queen Medusa in the Snake People, but no one knows the real name of this Medusa. As for the name Medusa, it is the title of the Queen of the Snake People, and it has been passed down from generation to generation within the Snake People. So Xiao Chen was a little curious about the real name of Queen Medusa. I don't have a name. Medusa was slightly startled and replied with some disappointment. Both her parents were dead when she was born. Coupled with the fact that she contains the blood of the ancient sky-swallowing python, she inherited the name Medusa when she was born. So she doesn't have her own real name like others. Uh, no name? After hearing Medusa's answer, Xiao Chen felt a little embarrassed for a moment. Why don't you just call it Kayan? It seems a bit awkward to keep calling you Medusa. Colorful smoke. Queen Medusa was slightly stunned after hearing the name Xiao Chen gave her. Don't know why. She is not disgusted with this name, but rather has an inexplicable liking for it. Kayan. That's not a bad name. After a moment of silence, Medusa did not refuse the name, and a faint smile appeared on her cold face. For her, the name Medusa is more of a responsibility and a shackles. And now Xiao Chen gave her this name. It seemed that in addition to living for her tribe, her life also had a soul of her own. So, she likes this name very much. Haha, ha, as long as you don't mind. Seeing this Medusa who ruled the entire Snake People clan and was so powerful in the seven dynasties of the Eastern Wasteland, he didn't look too cold and arrogant in front of him. Xiao Chen smiled slightly, feeling quite pleased with himself. It seems that Queen Medusa has a great impression of him. If we try it out secretly in the future, we might actually have a chance to win it and become a reckless fanatic like Xu Xian. 
Of course, this idea cannot be expressed, now it can only be thought about in the heart. After a pause, Xiao Chen continued. Next, I will arrange a private room for Miss Kayan. During this time, you can resume your cultivation in the Xiao family. I won't disturb you unless necessary, certainly. If Xiao encounters trouble that cannot be solved, I hope that Miss Kayan will not hesitate to help. Chapter 4 Goal Help Queen Medusa Transform First Young Master, you're welcome. Regarding the suggestion made by Xiao Chen, Medusa did not refuse, but showed a faint smile. Although I am not a kind-hearted person, I still know how to repay kindness. Young Master Xiao has saved my life. No matter what trouble the young master encounters, I will try my best to help him solve it. Xiao Chen's eyes lit up when he heard this, and he became more and more pleased with Kai Yan. You know, it's in the rumors. Medusa of the Snake Tribe is a ruthless queen, but in front of him she is as well behaved as the girl next door. If the elders of the Snake Tribe saw this, they would be so frightened that the snake tail would be unable to stand upright. It just so happens that I have something to do and I need you to cooperate with me. When he was satisfied with the Medusa Queen in his heart, Xiao Chen revealed his plan in the former's doubtful eyes. He was worried about finding some excuse to deceive everyone in the Xiao family so that he could reveal his tricks later. Let his status reach the highest level in the family, so that the Xiao family can help him collect supplies. And with a certain amount of point support, he can make Kayan temporarily transform. He can also improve his own cultivation faster, and even create his own power. Now that Queen Medusa has appeared, things have become much simpler. Crunch. Just after Xiao Chen explained the matter to Kayan, there was a crunching sound and the closed door was opened. Master, it's time for you to take medicine. While Xiao Chen and Kayan locked eyes, a girl in white walked in with a soup. Ah. Snake. Snake man. Before the girl could finish her words, when she saw Medusa in front of her, her little face turned pale with fright. The soup medicine held in both hands fell to the ground with a clatter. Because the snake people are not compatible with the human race, it is spread in the great Qian dynasty that the snake people are cruel and cruel monsters. Not only does he like to kill people, he even rapes them. Therefore, the cultivators in the great Qian dynasty are afraid of the snake people. Don't panic, she is one of our own. Seeing that the girl in white was so frightened that her legs were weak, Xiao Chen suddenly shouted helplessly. This is his personal maid Yun Shi, who has only turned 16 this year. The image of Yun Shi in this book was redone by the author from an old picture. The original picture is in the comment area, and there will be related accompanying pictures later. Seeing this, Kayan just frowned slightly, glanced at Yun Shi lightly, and then looked away. Young. Master? Your injury is healed. When Yun Shi heard this, she saw Xiao Chen standing beside her. Her eyes suddenly widened and her pretty face was full of disbelief. Xiao Chen, who was half dead two days ago and looked like he was dying, is now able to stand up. His face was rosy and shiny, and he didn't look like a seriously injured person at all. This made her little head buzz. Well, where's the head of the family? Xiao Chen didn't answer too much when he heard this, he just waved his hand and changed the topic. The top priority is to first understand the current situation of the Xiao family and then decide on his future development strategy. The head of the family. After hearing Xiao Chen's question, Yun Zai's face changed slightly and her voice became choked with sobs. After the head of the family bought the earth rank healing medicine for you, he became so angry that he went to Tai Yi Sword Sect to ask for an explanation. But Lin Feng has been accepted as a disciple by the elder of Tai Yi Sword Sect. The other party not only ignored the family leader's words, but also kicked the family leader off the mountain gate. The family leader was injured and had to return to the family first. The most egregious thing is. The Lin family of Tiandu City knew that the family leader went to Tai Yi Sword Sect to ask for an explanation, so they asked the Xiao family to come up with one million spiritual crystals to apologize within three days. If they can't come up with this apology in three days, they will destroy all the Xiao family's property. To the end. Yun Zai's eyes turned red, and her pretty face was full of worry. Interesting. After hearing Yun Zai's answer, Xiao Chen raised the corner of his mouth slightly. He is preparing to show off his skills to win people's hearts, and now the Xiao family has a big deal to consolidate his wishes. 
In times of crisis, one can tell whether a family is united and whether it is worthy of his efforts to cultivate. Okay, you go and do your work first. The Xiao family will be fine. Looking at Yun Shi with a worried face, Xiao Chen slowly walked up to him and rubbed his head. After saying these two sentences calmly, he walked towards the Xiao family's meeting hall. When Kayan saw this, her eyes flickered slightly, and she twisted her waist to follow. At the same time, inside the Xiao family meeting hall, damn Tai Yi sword sect, damn the Lin family of Tiandu city, you are just going too far. After understanding everything, the eldest elder of the Xiao family slammed the coffee table with an angry roar, smashing the table in front of him to pieces. Tai Yi sword sect, as a first class sect within the great Qian dynasty, not only ignored the examiners but also eliminated others in the competition. Afterwards, he was taken as a disciple to protect him, and the head of the Xiao family was also seriously injured. And the Lin family in Tiandu city, with the support of the elders of Tai Yi sword sect behind him, he actually asked the Xiao family to spend one million spiritual crystals to atone for their sins? You must know that one spiritual crystal is equivalent to 100 gold coins, and one million spiritual crystals is equivalent to 100 million gold coins. Even if the Xiao family sold off all their properties, there would be no way they could collect this huge compensation. This is obviously an attempt to push the Xiao family to a dead end. Master, why don't we go visit Master Lu? Maybe we can use him to solve the situation. When the great elder was furious, the relatively calm second elder on the side frowned and made his own suggestions. Lu Tianan, the lord of Liuyan City, has reached the Grotto Heaven Realm. If he came to help, maybe the situation wouldn't be too bad. It's useless. Hearing this, Xiao Zan coughed up a mouthful of blood and couldn't help clenching his fists. Before returning to the family, I wanted to visit Lu Tianan, but was turned away. Without a lifelong friendship and enough benefits, the city lord's mansion will not help me this time. In addition to the city lord's mansion, Liuyan city also has three other major families. In the past, the city lord's mansion took care of the Xiao family just to balance the three major families and consolidate the status of the city lord's mansion. But in order to intercede for the Xiao family, the city lord's mansion went to provoke Tai Yi sword sect and the Lin family of Tiandu city. This is undoubtedly impossible. It seems that the Xiao family will suffer a life and death disaster this time. After Xiao Zan's words fell, the hall suddenly fell into despair. Start the family blood transfer plan, I will stay and deal with them. After a moment of silence, Xiao Zan slowly raised his head. Master? Hearing Xiao Zan's words, the three elders suddenly raised their heads, and their expressions couldn't help but change. Bloodline transfer plan. This was something that the top management of the Xiao family had discussed. Only when the Xiao family was in danger of life and death would they launch this plan to save their lives. The price is that the Xiao family's hundreds of years of foundation will be wasted in Li Yun City. It goes without saying. Seeing what the three elders wanted to say, Xiao Zan raised his hand to stop the three of them, and continued speaking in a heavy voice. The disaster that happened to the Xiao family this time was caused by our two father and son. Just let us, father and son, stay and deal with it. The three of you lead the Xiao family out of Liuyan City and find a new way out for the Xiao family. After saying that, Xiao Zan slowly closed his eyes, his face full of exhaustion. As a father, he could not watch his son being bullied and remain indifferent. As the head of the family, he cannot bring down the entire family just for personal grudges. Therefore, the Xiao family was asked to move as a whole to avoid these grievances while he stayed to get to know the Lin family. This is undoubtedly the best way. Master, we are not greedy for life and afraid of death. After hearing Xiao Zan's decision, the three elders shouted loudly. For hundreds of years, the Xiao family was able to quickly establish a foothold in Liuyan city from a down-and-out family. It relies on a strong spirit and unity among the clan members. Now they are asked to abandon Xiao Zan and Xiao Chen and move their entire family, which is undoubtedly a great shame and humiliation for them. Chapter 5 Who are you to dare to say such arrogant words? Master, something serious has happened. When the atmosphere in the conference hall was heavy, a middle-aged man rushed in as a panicked voice sounded. What's all the fuss about? Seeing the man in front of them, the three elders suddenly raised their heads and asked with a somewhat heavy expression. 
Something happened in Fangxi. With the eyes of the three elders locked, the man's face turned a little pale, but he still managed to reply. The Wang and Lin families sent people to blockade our market. Not only did they disperse our guests, they even injured many of us. What? After hearing the man's words, the expressions of Xiao Zan and others changed again, and a terrifying aura erupted from their bodies. Damn it. The two big families of Wang and Lin are actually adding insult to injury at this time. Do you really think that our Xiao family is a soft persimmon that can be manipulated at will? The elder, who had always had a bad temper, roared in a cold voice, wanting to kill Wang Lin's family on the spot. Ha ha ha, old man, you are right. Your Xiao family is indeed a soft persimmon that can be manipulated by others. Just as the great elder finished speaking, an old voice rang out. In the courtyard in front of the meeting hall, several figures flew out amid screams. From behind, two old men came out, exuding a terrifying aura. Wang Zan? Lin Hai? How dare you two break into the Xiao family without permission? Are you going to declare war on our Xiao family? Looking at the two people who broke into the Xiao family's inner courtyard, Xiao Zan and others' faces were gloomy, and the aura on their bodies became increasingly cold. Wang Zan, the second elder of the Wang family, has a cultivation level of the seventh level of Xuandan, and has fought against the Xiao family several times. He even had a big fight with the first elder once, which almost caused the Wang family and the Xiao family to completely break up. Lin Hai, the second elder of the Lin family, is also a cultivator at the seventh level of Xuandan. He has caused trouble for the Xiao family several times. Although this guy is not good at words, he is good at playing tricks on people behind their backs. It once caused Xiaozhifang city to lose a batch of goods, and almost caused the Xiao family and the Lin family to quarrel. What matters is, these two guys are usually not at odds with each other, but now they team up to break into the Xiao family. It is undoubtedly showing, the Wang and Lin families may have temporarily chosen to join forces to deal with the Xiao family because of some kind of agreement. Hey, declare war. You, the Xiao family, have too much to take care of yourself now. How can you still have the ability to deal with our two families? Wang Zan sneered when he heard this, and his words were somewhat mocking. When Xiao Zan and the others were getting colder and colder, looking like they would run away at any moment, Wang Zan did not dare to ridicule them too much. His voice turned solemn and he said, But don't worry, we are not here to cause trouble. On the contrary, we are here to help you. Oh, do you think we will believe it? As soon as Wang Zan finished speaking, the great elder sneered. Weasel wishes Kun a happy new year, how can he have any good intentions? Both of us already know about your Xiao family's offense against Taiyi Sword Sect and the Lin family's matter in Tiandu City. Wang Zan ignored Xiao Mingyi's sneer, but continued to speak on his own. You have to know that one million spiritual crystals is not a small amount. It is not that simple to get it all together. The two of us are willing to help you each with 100,000 spiritual crystals. This is our friendship with your Xiao family over the years. Of course there are conditions. Your Xiao family's business in Liyan City will belong to our two families from now on. After saying that, Wang Zan and Lin Hai showed a sneer on their faces, and it seemed that they had convinced Xiao Zan and others. There are three major markets in Liyan City, each owned by the three major families. If the Xiao family is forced to transfer to the market to raise money, now is undoubtedly their best opportunity to annex the Xiao family. If not, once the Xiao family is destroyed, the city will be owned by the city lord's palace. By then, it will not be so easy for them to obtain these markets from the city lord's palace. But before that, it would be purchased from the Xiao family. Even if the Xiao family is destroyed, the city lord's mansion has no excuse to take back these markets. Go away, our Xiao family will not transfer to Fangxi. Before Wang Zan finished speaking, he was angrily interrupted by Xiao Mingyi. One family can produce 100,000 spiritual crystals, and two families can only produce 200,000 spiritual crystals, which translates into 20 million gold coins. Just wanting to take over all the Xiao family's markets is simply taking advantage of the situation. Xiao Mingyi, don't toast me and be punished by drinking wine. Seeing Xiao Mingyi's furious look, Lin Hai also spoke at this moment. Your Xiao family cannot produce one million spiritual crystals in three days. Once the powerful Lin family in Tiandu City arrives, 
I'm afraid that the Xiao family's hundreds of years of foundation will be wiped out. Even hundreds of members of your Xiao family may die from this. Instead of letting these merchants take advantage of the city lord's mansion, it would be better to transfer it to the two of us now. Maybe the two of us will be happy. If the Xiao family really encounters misfortune, we can also help you take care of your wife and daughter. Enough. Before Lin Hai finished speaking, Xiao Zan completely exploded. As he took a step forward, the terrifying momentum of the ninth level of the revolving core swept towards the two of them in an instant. Go back and tell your master. Although our Xiao family is in trouble now, it's not something that any cat or dog can pounce on and bite. If you want to annex our Xiao family's market, let your family master kneel down and beg. The three elders did not speak at this time. They also took a step to release their momentum, and their energy was locked on the two of them. It seemed that as long as Xiao Zan gave an order, they would all take action. Ha ha! What a backbone! Being locked by the four powerful men in the revolving core realm, Wang Zan and Lin Hai looked extremely ugly, but their expressions showed no fear at all. Since you, the Xiao family, are so shameless, don't blame our two families for being disloyal. Let's go. Although the two of them are not afraid of the Xiao family when they join forces, if the Xiao family counterattacks on the verge of death, the vitality of the two of them will be severely damaged. Come when you want and leave when you want. Do you really think that the Xiao family dare not do anything to you? Just when Wang Zan and Lin Hai turned around to leave, as a cold voice echoed, Xiao Chen also walked into the Xiao family's inner courtyard at this time. A fierce murderous intention also spread out. Xiao Chen? I saw Xiao Chen walking into the inner courtyard. No matter it was Xiao Zan or Xiao Mingyi, they all looked surprised at this time. Xiao Chen has had his Dantian destroyed and seven or eight of his ribs broken. For the past two days, he has been like a living dead, and needs to be fed by the maid even to eat. But now, Xiao Chen not only had a rosy complexion, but also had an aura of cultivation that they couldn't see through. This is like hell in broad daylight. Chen'er, your injury is healed? Xiao Zan rubbed his eyes in disbelief and asked with some ecstasy. The Xiao family brat. Wang Zan and Lin Hai's pupils shrank slightly when they saw this, and they both had expressions of disbelief on their faces. They all knew that Xiao Chen was seriously injured and was about to die. That kind of injury. Even if you use earth rank spirit medicine to repair it, you still have to lie in bed for a few days. But now this guy appears in front of them like he's nothing. Could it be that the Xiao family went bankrupt and gave him some heavenly rank spirit medicine? After looking at each other, Wang Zan and Lin Hai felt uneasy for a while, then they ignored Xiao Chen and the others, snorted coldly, and walked out of the inner courtyard. If you dare to walk out of this courtyard, I guarantee you will die miserably. Seeing the actions of Wang Zan and Lin Hai, Xiao Chen shouted in a cold voice. Arrogant kid! Not even your father Xiao Zan would dare to say such crazy words. Who are you to dare to say such arrogant things? Wang Zan snorted coldly when he heard this, turned around and shouted coldly. But just as he finished speaking, a terrifying murderous intent poured down like a storm. A fiery red figure that was both cold and coquettish slowly emerged from behind Xiao Chen. Chapter 6 What? She is Queen Medusa of the Snake Tribe. What a terrifying qi machine. This must be at least a strong person above the Grotto Heaven Realm. When did the Xiao family have such a strong person? Locked by the sudden energy, Wang Zan and Lin Hai were horrified and both turned around quickly at this moment. Next moment. The pupils of both of them shrank violently in an instant, and their expressions were as if they had seen some kind of great horror. Snake. A strong person from the snake tribe? The Queen Medusa in front of her is extremely beautiful and enchanting. But in their eyes, it was like a wild beast. The chill that made their skin feel like needles pricked them made them feel a strong life and death crisis. This strong man from the snake tribe can definitely kill them easily. Xiao Zan, you actually colluded with the snake people? When you feel scared inside, the expressions of Wang Zan and Lin Hai changed drastically, and their figures were cautiously retreating. Xiao Zan, Xiao Mingyi and others also looked confused at this time. Within the Great Qian Dynasty, if you collude with the snake people without authorization, you will be exterminated by the royal family. Now, not only did Xiao Chen suddenly recover from his injuries, but there was also a strong snake man next to him, which made their heads buzz. 
Are you going to kill him? Facing everyone's panic, Kayin's expression remained unmoved. After twisting his waist and coming to Xiao Chen's side, he just asked lightly. Just like these two people in front of me, they are just ants. Well, let's kill them all. Xiao Chen smiled coldly upon hearing this and decided the fate of the two of them. Boom. Almost as soon as Xiao Chen finished speaking, Medusa immediately burst into cultivation aura. She raised her hand and flicked her finger at Wang Zan and Lin Hai. The two groups of flames suddenly turned into giant pythons and roared out. The terrifying power shocked everyone. No. Xiao Zan, if something happens to the two of us here, the Wang Lin family will not let it go. Seeing the two terrifying flame pythons in front of them, Wang Zan and Lin Hai roared hysterically. The cultivation level also exploded to the extreme at this moment, and the true energy spurted out like a tsunami. Trying to block this offensive and escape from the Xiao family's inner courtyard. But as the collision breaks out, Wang Zan and Lin Hai were like a lone boat in the roaring sea, easily swept away by the two flaming giant pythons with a swing of their tails. The body was like a cannonball and crashed into the wall of the inner courtyard, blasting two human-shaped pits on the ground on the spot. After raising their heads and spitting out two pillars of blood, the two of them died completely in the pit. Such a horrific scene. Xiao Zan and others were immediately frightened, and their bodies couldn't help but tremble slightly. Two powerful men in the seventh level of Xuandan were killed on the spot as soon as they met. Even a strong man from the Grotto Heaven Realm cannot be so casual. The strong man from the Snake Tribe in front of him is definitely above the Nirvana Realm. Several elders sent a message to the two major Wang and Lin families. Just say within two days. If everyone in the Wang Lin family abolishes their cultivation and hands over all the resources and items in the family, the two families may still have a chance of survival. If you can't do it, just wait to be exterminated. After glancing indifferently, Xiao Chen spoke to Xiao Zan and others. The Xiao family used to be the last among the three major families. If it weren't for the help from the city lord's mansion, they would have been forced out of Liyan city by Wang and Lin. But now, anyone who dares to provoke the Xiao family will have to pay a heavy price. Abandon your cultivation and hand over all your family's resources? After hearing Xiao Chen's words, Xiao Zan and others' eyes widened, and they were all frightened by Xiao Chen. Not only did he kill the elders of Wang Lin's two families, but he also forced both families to a dead end. When did Xiao Chen become so decisive? The Xiao family has been oppressed by the two major families in the past, but from today on, the Xiao family will completely dominate Liu Yin City. Since Wang and Lin want to add insult to injury, let them have a taste of the same thing. As Xiao Chen finished speaking, Xiao Zan and others trembled and looked at the former in shock. It seems that Xiao Chen wants to force the Wang Lin family to attack, and then take the opportunity to completely destroy the two families? However, after seeing Medusa on the side, several people did not refute anything at this time. If this person takes action, Wang Lin's family can indeed be wiped out with just a few clicks. But if the matter is exposed and noticed by the powerful people of the dynasty, it will probably lead to even greater murders. Chenner, what on earth is going on? How did your injury heal? And why did that strong man from the snake tribe appear in our Xiao family? After taking a deep breath to suppress the shock in his heart, Xiao Zan asked Xiao Chen in a solemn voice. Non my family, its heart must be different, colluding with aliens. In the great Qian dynasty, this is a serious crime of annihilation. Once it is known to the people of the Dachin royal family, I am afraid that the Xiao family will be implicated. She is Queen Medusa of the Snake Tribe, the registered disciple of my master. After hearing Xiao Zan's inquiry, Xiao Chen immediately replied. Directly explain the words he had prepared in advance to Xiao Zan, Xiao Mingyi and others. It also makes it easier for him to have a reasonable explanation for his next operations. What? You said she is Queen Medusa of the Snake People. After hearing Xiao Chen reveal Kai Yan's identity, Xiao Zan and others were almost paralyzed in fear. After screaming, everyone looked at Kayan. Kayan glanced indifferently upon hearing the sound. That cold and indifferent gaze was like a willow the wisp emerging from the abyss. Xiao Zan and others felt as if they were being targeted by a big terror. 
They lost their center of gravity and were completely frightened by Cain and fell to the ground. Queen Medusa. Seeing that you are not satisfied with the previous picture, the author went to make another one. This one definitely fits the temperament of Queen Medusa, cold and coquettish. The famous top powerhouse among the seven dynasties of the eastern wasteland. It is rumored that although this person has an unparalleled appearance, he is ruthless and likes to kill strong people. The number of strong human beings who died in her hands was not even 10,000, but several thousand. Unexpectedly, this celestial human realm powerhouse would appear in their Xiao family. Even just now, he still obeyed Xiao Chen's words very obediently. Are you sure God is not joking? Don't panic, everyone, Kayan is one of our own. Seeing such a big reaction from several people, Xiao Chen was speechless for a moment and could only make up nonsense in a serious manner. Two days ago, I was deprived of my Dantian by Lin Feng. I thought I had no hope in this life, but unexpectedly I was recognized by a mysterious and powerful person. Next, Xiao Chen made up an unknown master and lied that Queen Medusa was his senior sister. Finally, a reasonable explanation was given for his sudden change in the appearance of Queen Medusa. Ha ha ha, I didn't expect that Chenner would have such a strange encounter. This is really the fate of our Xiao family. After listening to Xiao Chen's explanation, Xiao Zan burst into laughter. A mysterious strong man who can impress Queen Medusa and accept her as a disciple must have reached Saint Realm or above. With such a strong person acting as Xiao Chen's backstage, the Xiao family can finally feel proud and proud. My master, Shenlong, disappeared without a trace. After leaving behind some inheritance, he disappeared. So for now, we can't be too high profile. Seeing Xiao Zan and others' ecstatic expressions, Xiao Chen worried that Xiao Zan and others would overexpand. I couldn't help but add a few more words. It doesn't matter, you are extremely lucky to have such an unexpected encounter. As for the development within the family, after all, it still depends on the clan members. After hearing Xiao Chen's warning, Xiao Zan understood the meaning and immediately waved his hand and said. However, because he was too excited, Xiao Zan's injuries recurred and he couldn't help but cough up blood. Seeing this scene, Xiao Chen couldn't help but frown. It seems that the top priority is to treat Xiao Zan's injuries and improve the family's strength. Thus, even without Kei Yin's intervention, the Xiao family can still come in handy. Afterwards, the points can be exchanged for a transformation pill, which can completely conceal Kei Yin's identity. The rise of the Xiao family is just around the corner. Chapter 7 This is simply a miracle. When the thought fell, Xiao Chen immediately told Xiao Zan and others the plan. What? As long as I give you enough resources, you can not only heal my injuries, but also improve the overall strength of the family. After hearing Xiao Chen tell his plan, Xiao Zan and others were shocked again. Well, the inheritance I received is quite special. It can become stronger quickly and contrary to common sense, but it requires a lot of resources to support it. But this resource is not that particular. It doesn't matter whether it's the spirit medicine or the demon core. As long as you give me enough resources, the Xiao family will rise quickly. Xiao Chen added with a serious face when he heard this, not feeling any exaggeration at all. After all, Goldfinger has a system, and he can become stronger quickly even if he doesn't work hard. This is the perversion of cheating. Good. As long as you are confident enough, the Xiao family will definitely help you with all their strength. Xiao Zan smiled happily when he heard this, and gave the order after coughing twice. Move all the resources in the Xiao family's inventory to Xiao Chen, and use all the Xiao family's funds to sweep away the resources of Liu Yin City. Whether it's spirit medicine or spirit medicine, as long as it can be bought, I'll get it all for Chen'er. After hearing Xiao Zan give such a decisive order, Xiao Mingyi and others nearby gasped. But although they were shocked, they did not speak out to refute Xiao Zan. If Xiao Chen really has the means to transform the Xiao family, then the Xiao family will have to help him even if they want to sell everything. Chen'er, this is my collection over the years. I hope it can be helpful to you. When Xiao Mingyi and others were shocked, Xiao Zan seemed to have thought of something and took out a lot of things with his hand. Various resources and items instantly filled the meeting hall, and the shimmering luster looked a bit dazzling. These are some of the remaining soldiers and demon cores that Xiao Zan has collected over the years while exploring various mountain ruins. 
Because they wanted to be used as backup resources for the Xiao family in case of emergencies, they were piled up in the space ring without being sold. It can come in handy at this time. There are actually several items that have reached the profound rank level. Looking at the pile of remnant soldiers and monster cores in front of him, Xiao Chen raised his eyebrows slightly, with a happy look on his face. The original owner had few resources. Kayin space ring has been damaged and collapsed, and everything was lost in the turbulence of space. So this resource item in front of him can be regarded as the first pot of gold he has come into contact with. He doesn't know how many points these items can be exchanged for. Ding. Recyclable items have been detected. Will the host recycle them? When Xiao Chen felt excited, the system prompt sounded suddenly. Recycle. Xiao Chen glanced at Xiao Zan gratefully and immediately issued a recycling command to the system. Next moment. As Xiao Chen waved his hand, a burst of white light flashed past. All the items disappeared in an instant, and another prompt came in Xiao Chen's mind. Ding. The system has been recycled. Among them are 7 profound rank items and 18 yellow rank items, with a total value of 7,826 points. You actually have more than 7,000 points. After hearing the price given by the system, Xiao Chen's eyes couldn't help but light up. The system also has a corresponding algorithm for recycling points from all things. Yellow rank items are worth a maximum of 100 points, and profound rank items are worth a maximum of 1,000 points. And so on. Heavenly rank items are worth up to 100,000 points. Saint rank items range from hundreds of thousands to several million, while emperor rank items range from tens to hundreds of millions. The batch of materials in front of me is worth more than 7,000 points. It seems that they are all of high quality and relatively low in damage. Chenner, how's it going? After seeing Xiao Chen put away the supplies, he closed his eyes and didn't know what he was doing. Xiao Zan and others stood aside and did not dare to breathe. After Xiao Chen opened his eyes again, Xiao Zan couldn't help but ask. This batch of supplies is worth at least tens of thousands of spiritual crystals. If it has no effect on Xiao Chen, then it will be difficult for the Xiao family to rely on the other party to rise. Not bad, with this batch of materials as core energy, we can use some inheritance methods. After hearing Xiao Zan's question, Xiao Chen smiled slightly. The next moment, he stepped directly in front of Xiao Zan and gently pressed his right hand on the other person's chest. Ding! Will the host spend 2,300 points to repair all the injuries and hidden diseases on Xiao Zan's body? Sure enough it can. When the system prompt sounded, Xiao Chen couldn't help but feel excited. The repair function can repair any injury. This means that as long as he has enough points and is still alive. Unless you die at the end of your life, it is very difficult to die. This function is really abnormal. Repair. After feeling excited in his heart, Xiao Chen immediately chose to repair it. Ding. The system has deducted 2,300 points and is repairing Xiao Zan's injuries and hidden diseases. As the system prompt sounded again, a burst of dazzling white light enveloped Xiao Zan. Just for a moment. Xiao Zan's injuries and hidden illnesses were all repaired by the system. This, this, is simply a miracle. I feel that my body is restored to its original state in an instant, even the stubborn hidden diseases that have been accumulated in the body in the past. At this moment, everything disappeared, and Xiao Zan was so excited that he burst into tears. If it weren't for his son standing in front of him, he would have almost knelt down in front of him. What a magical method! Xiao Chen. He actually recovered all the injuries of the owner of the family in an instant. Xiao Mingyi and others on the side were almost shocked when they saw what was happening in front of them. Even a strong healer in the celestial human realm cannot heal others instantly. Is it possible that the inheritance Xiao Chen received is the saint realm inheritance that surpasses the celestial human realm? Kayan, who was standing aside, was much calmer. After all, Xiao Chen can repair the injuries of a strong person like her and it is easy to repair minor injuries like Xiao Zan. I wonder if I can upgrade my talent. When everyone was feeling excited and ecstatic, Xiao Chen suddenly had an idea. Ding! Will the host consume 4,100 points to upgrade Xiao Zan's talent from profound rank supreme grade to earth rank supreme grade? Almost as soon as Xiao Chen's thoughts emerged, the system prompt sounded suddenly. This made Xiao Chen slightly stunned. 
To upgrade a talent from profound rank supreme grade to earth rank supreme grade, it actually requires 4,100 points to upgrade. It seems that he recently upgraded his talent for free, directly from profound rank to supreme grade, and even his physique transformed from mortal physique to innate Tao body. This translates into tens of millions of points for free, which is like a heifer flying, it's so awesome. Upgrade. Without any hesitation, Xiao Chen chose to upgrade. Xiao Zan has been practicing for decades. His cultivation has always stayed at the ninth level of Xuandan. On the one hand, he was injured many times and left hidden diseases, and on the other hand, he was limited by his talent. If you can successfully upgrade your talent, maybe Xiao Zan can use this opportunity to break through to the Grotto Heaven Realm level. Ding! The system has deducted 4,100 points and is in the process of upgrading Xiao Zan's talent qualifications. As the system prompt tone fell again, the endless white light shined again. When everyone feels confused, Xiao Zan's talent transformed from profound rank supreme grade to earth rank supreme grade, and his cultivation seemed to have broken some shackles at this moment. An even more terrifying cultivation aura immediately erupted from Xiao Zan. Chapter 8 you can always hide something, only then can you have the key. The head of the family has made a breakthrough? Seeing this scene in front of them, Xiao Mingyi and others were shocked. Xiao Zan has been stuck in the ninth level of Xuandan for several years, but he didn't expect to break through now. Under the gaze of everyone, as the breakthrough progressed, the spiritual energy from the surrounding world continued to swarm in. The revolving pill in Xiao Zan's body shattered, and a grotto heaven appeared behind him. A wild lion phantom roared upwards into the sky in Grotto Heaven, and scorching waves of fire swept wildly around it. That strong sense of oppression immediately shook the entire Xiao family. Ha ha ha, is this the secret of Grotto Heaven realm? I never thought that I, Xiao Zan, could also step into this realm. Feeling that the Grotto Heaven contains many times more terrifying energy than before. Xiao Zan couldn't help but look up to the sky and laugh wildly. This breakthrough can be said to be a result of accumulation, which directly allowed him to reach the second level of Grotto Heaven. Even in this light, he felt that his talents had undergone some kind of transformation, and his affinity for the vitality of heaven and earth was far stronger than before. As long as you have the right exercises and some time to practice hard. He is absolutely confident of breaking through to the Nirvana realm, and even touching the stronger Universal Truth realm. This is something that I never dared to think about before, but now it has really happened. This is just the beginning. Seeing Xiao Zan's ecstatic expression, Xiao Chen smiled calmly. As long as we have enough resources, let alone break through to the Grotto Heaven Realm. Even if it's the unattainable Saint Realm, I have a way for you to achieve it. Hear Xiao Chen's words. Xiao Zan and others' bodies suddenly shook, and they all stared at each other with shocked expressions. Saint Realm. This is almost a legendary realm among the seven dynasties of the Eastern Wasteland. And their martial Tao talent is only at profound rank, so trying to reach Saint Realm is undoubtedly a dream. But now with Xiao Zan's transformation, no matter who was present, there was blind trust. Even Medusa's eyes were shocked. She thought she could repair her injuries, but Xiao Chen's methods were already incredible. She didn't expect that Xiao Chen could also make others achieve breakthroughs in cultivation. If Xiao Chen can really make people break through the Saint Realm, wouldn't she be able to use the breakthrough to enter the Saint Realm? Think of this. Kayin's heart trembled slightly, her eyes fixed on Xiao Chen, with a strange light shining in her eyes. Xiao Chen, this is a bit of wealth that I have hidden privately. Do you think you can help me break through it? When Kayin's mind was turning, the great elder Xiao Mingyi quickly took out a bunch of things, then walked up to Xiao Chen and said a little embarrassedly. His cultivation has been at the 8th level of Xuandan for more than 10 or 20 years. During this period, he tried various methods to break through, but the cultivation bottleneck was like an indestructible barrier. He has been stuck in this state, and it has declined a bit as he gets older. After all, his talent is only profound rank middle grade, and he can only cultivate the 8th level of Xuandan by taking drugs. Xiao Zan's breakthrough in front of him was like drinking water. It would be a lie if he wasn't envious in his heart. Hiss. This is the intact profound rank high grade spirit medicine, and these are the fragments of the earth rank spirit medicine? Damn it. 
It even has the fur and fangs of the rank 5 monster wind demon wolf. You old guy really has a lot of good things hidden in secret. After seeing what Xiao Mingyi took out, the second elder and the third elder on the side could not help but curse. Even Xiao Zan felt a little strange after reading it. I didn't expect that the great elder, who was always known for his poverty, would hide so many good things in private. It seems that this old guy is usually dishonest. Don't get me wrong. This is what I unexpectedly gained in the Yunhuang Mountain some time ago. I don't have the guts to embezzle the resources of the Xiao family. Seeing Xiao Zan and others looking at him in shock, the great elder coughed dryly and said without any guilt. Who hasn't ordered private goods these days? Even if you have to dedicate yourself selflessly to your family in normal times, you still have to save some for emergencies. After all, if you usually hide something, you can have the key. This is the ancestral motto passed down from the Xiao family. As the great elder, how could he forget it? How is it? Are these enough? After explaining the origin of these private goods, Xiao Mingyi looked at Xiao Chen eagerly. Enough. Xiao Chen nodded when he heard this and smiled lightly at Xiao Mingyi. These resources are enough to cleanse the marrow and cut the veins of the great elder once, and it will be no problem to help you break through to the ninth level of the revolving pill. After saying that, Xiao Chen was not polite and recycled these things. The Xiao family has always been united. There is no intrigue like other families. The Grand Elder will kill his compatriots for the position of the head of the family. On the contrary, Xiao Mingyi has been conscientious in his duties over the years and has been helping Xiao Zan handle all the affairs of the Xiao family. He is a competent elder. Ding! The system has been recycled. There are three earth rank items, four profound rank items, and eight yellow rank items, with a total value of 14,732 points. After hearing the system prompt in his mind, Xiao Chen felt a burst of ecstasy in his heart. Although the quantity of the resources Xiao Mingyi provided was not as good as Xiao Zan's, the quality was better than the latter's. The points suddenly exceeded 10,000, which was an unexpected surprise. Great Elder, I will cleanse your marrow veins right now. After suppressing the joy in my heart, Xiao Chen immediately walked up to Xiao Mingyi and immediately pressed his right hand on the other person's heart. Xiao Mingyi didn't have the slightest precaution, and naturally put his most important matters into Xiao Chen's hands. Ding! Will the host consume 4,000 points to upgrade Xiao Mingyi's talent from profound rank middle grade to earth rank high grade? The next moment, as the system prompt sounded, Xiao Chen immediately chose to upgrade. However, Xiao Chen chose to have reservations at this time. After all, he needed to save some points to improve his own cultivation and help Kayan transform. So help Xiao Mingyi upgrade to high earth rank first, and then help them upgrade to a higher level when they have enough points in the future. Ding! The system has deducted 4000 points and is in the process of upgrading Xiao Mingyi's talent qualifications. As the system prompt sounded again, dazzling white light also enveloped Xiao Mingyi. A familiar scene happened again. Xiao Mingyi, shrouded in white light, had his cultivation bottleneck loosened as his talent was upgraded. Next moment, Xiao Mingyi suddenly looked up to the sky and roared, and his cultivation aura exploded. Under the gaze of others in the meeting hall, Xiao Mingyi broke through to the ninth level of Xuandan at this moment, and his cultivation aura was still rising rapidly. Finally staying at the peak of the ninth level of Xuandan, the cultivation aura gradually stopped rising. Ha ha ha, I really want to go crazy as a teenager and shoot my gut with a bow. This feeling is so wonderful, as if the whole person has been sublimated. With Xiao Chen in the family, why worry about not rising up? Feeling the wonderful changes in himself, and the world becoming clearer, Xiao Mingyi laughed wildly with high spirits. The second elder and the third elder on the side couldn't hold it any longer after seeing both of them breaking through. There was no hesitation. All the personal belongings he had saved over the years were placed in front of Xiao Chen. And Xiao Chen was not polite. He took them all back with a wave of his hand, and then followed the same pattern. Directly helped the second elder Xiao Qishang and the third elder Xiao Delong to upgrade the martial Dao talent. The cultivation base of the two of them also broke through from the seventh level of Xuandan to the eighth level of Xuandan. However, the private goods of the two of them are not as good as those of the great elder. 
After deducting the points used to help the two of them upgrade, Xiao Chen can still earn more than 7,000 points by himself. Including Xiao Mingyi's resources, there are more than 10,000 points. Then, it's time to solve the problem of colored smoke. Chapter 9 What? You want me to help you practice? Ha ha ha, in just one day, the overall strength of the Xiao family has skyrocketed by several levels. Xiao Chen is really the lucky star of the Xiao family. Feeling the power of cultivation surging within their bodies, the second elder and the third elder could not help but laugh wildly. If everyone in the Xiao family lets Xiao Chen cleanse their marrow and pulse, then our Xiao family will hopefully become the first family in the great Qian dynasty. There is absolutely no exaggeration in this statement, and there is even a faint feeling of self-effacement. If there are enough resources, Xiao Chen can cleanse the marrow and cut the veins. Maybe in a few hundred years, the Xiao family will be able to dominate the eastern wasteland. I'm afraid this idea won't work. When Xiao Qishang and Xiao Delong were ecstatic, Xiao Zan shook his head and rejected their ideas. It's okay for one or two people to make rapid progress, but if this happens to the Xiao family collectively, they will definitely be suspected by those who are interested. By then, I'm afraid that the Xiao family will be destroyed by other forces before it rises. So when the Xiao family does not have enough confidence to deal with the covetousness of other forces, the fact that Xiao Chen can help us cleanse our marrow and cut our veins must not be allowed to be known to other forces. After hearing Xiao Zan's words, the smiles of Xiao Qishang and Xiao Delong disappeared instantly, and their faces showed unprecedented solemnity. This is indeed true. Just now, it was the two old guys who were so complacent that they didn't think much about it. Now Xiao Zan's words were like a bucket of cold water poured down on them, instantly calming their restless hearts. The head of the family is right. Xiao Mingyi on the side also nodded, and then spoke in agreement with a solemn voice. Although our Xiao family now has hope of rising, our foundation and heritage are weaker than many forces. Once we are targeted by a big force, our Xiao family will destroy ourselves. So my suggestion is, everything that happened today must be kept strictly confidential, and no one else can know except a few of us. In addition, in the future, if you want Xiao Chen to help the clan cleanse their marrow and cut their veins, the other person's character must be strictly screened by the family. Also, when Xiao Chen comes forward, it is best to conceal his identity. By then, even if something happens within the Xiao family, we can ensure that Xiao Chen's secret will not be exposed. After some simple thinking, Xiao Mingyi had already prepared for a rainy day and began to consider his future retreat. In just a few words, Xiao Zan and others nodded slightly, with looks of approval on their faces. They didn't notice at all that after Xiao Chen's upgrade, the latter's status in their minds has risen by several levels invisibly, and they even have the idea of protecting the other party to the death. These are all contracts made by the system invisibly, and they affect the psychology of several people in a subtle way. Don't let them have any thoughts of harming or being detrimental to Xiao Chen. How about? Let me be Xiao Chen's personal guard. This can also protect Xiao Chen as much as possible. During the heated discussion, the third elder suddenly said, immediately making the other people stunned. Xiao Chen's safety is related to the family. Although there is Queen Medusa next to Xiao Chen, she is a strong person from the snake tribe after all, and her identity cannot be revealed in the human tribe. Therefore, in public, there is still no way to take action. If one of them is with you, you won't be so passive in some cities. No, when Xiao Zan and others felt that this suggestion was feasible, Xiao Chen couldn't help but speak. I have the divine ability to conceal my aura. As long as I act cautiously and don't be too high profile, generally no strong person will notice me. And as the elders of the Xiao family, if you keep following me, you will attract some people's attention. So for now. Elders, as long as you help me collect resources, it will be the greatest help to Xiao Chen. After hearing Xiao Chen's words and taking another look at Kayan, Xiao Zan and others finally gave up the idea. If you are a family elder, you will follow your juniors all day long. Undoubtedly, he was announcing to others that this son was extraordinary and must have a pivotal position in his family. This would put Xiao Chen at the forefront of the storm. In this case, we will secretly collect resources to deal with the next trouble. After a moment of silence, Xiao Zan said in a deep voice. Now as he breaks through to the Grotto Heaven Realm, 
the cultivation levels of the three elders have also broken through. Judging from the current strength of the Xiao family, even if the two families of Wang and Lin join forces, the Xiao family will not be afraid at all. It's just that the Tiandu City Lin family and Taiyi Sword Sect are still not something they can compete with. So they must discuss countermeasures first. While Xiao Zan and others were discussing, Xiao Chen and Kai Yan returned to the courtyard. Just this way, Kayan twisted her snake tail and followed Xiao Chen, her eyes always flickering towards Xiao Chen. The way he hesitated to speak seemed to have something on his mind. Which one is better, the new version of Queen Medusa's snake tail picture, or Chapter 2 or Chapter 6? Wang family. After receiving the message from the Xiao family, the senior executives of the Wang family immediately fell into rage. What? Let everyone in the Wang Lin family abolish their cultivation and use all the family's heritage to atone for their sins, otherwise the Wang and Lin families will be wiped out? The Xiao family is at the end of its rope. They have been driven crazy by being stimulated. They actually say such crazy things? Wang Long, the head of the Wang family, looked gloomy and whispered with a chilly voice. It seems that the Xiao family is unlikely to be able to collect one million spiritual crystals after being threatened by people sent by the Wang and Lin families. I just want to break the pot and make an idea to the two families. Do you really think the two of them would be afraid of this crazy and desperate behavior? Inform the Lin family and summon all the strong men, it's time to destroy the Xiao family. Following this order, the entire Wang family became extremely solemn. One after another figures kept walking out, speeding towards the Xiao family. They were worried that they could not find an excuse to destroy the Xiao family, but now the Xiao family dared to say such cruel words. Doesn't this give them a chance? Now even if they wipe out the Xiao family, the city lord's mansion has no reason to sanction them. After all, it was the Xiao family who ignored it first, and it was their own fault for being destroyed. Not only the Wang family had such a reaction, but even the Lin family, dozens of miles away, mobilized troops after receiving the message. The powerful men of the two families headed towards the Xiao family almost at the same time. If you have anything to say, just tell me. I'm easy to talk to. Along the way, Xiao Chen felt embarrassed after being peeked at by Medusa several times, so he coughed dryly and asked. Doesn't this woman know that with her stunning beauty, Peeking at a man like this will stimulate his hormones to rise? Fortunately, his concentration was still good, so he didn't mess up the size. Kayan was slightly startled when she heard this, and her originally cold face showed a trace of embarrassment. I wonder if Master can help me practice. After saying something with evasive eyes, Queen Medusa quickly turned her head. She is very cold and arrogant by nature. This was the first time in her life that she begged someone, and she was still an immature human youth. This made Kayan feel a little awkward inside, and she didn't even know what she said was wrong for a moment. What? You want me to help you practice? Hearing Kai Yan's words that seemed to have special meaning, Xiao Chen almost somersaulted and fell to the ground. Although in his previous life, he had heard that the fanatic Fahai asked the snake demon to help him practice, he was really at a loss when it came to this kind of thing now. The two of them have only known each other for a day, so things are going too fast, right? What's more, his cultivation level is relatively low, what if he is squeezed dry? Chapter 10 Turn around and let me measure it for you. After seeing Xiao Chen's reaction, Kayan was stunned for a moment. Thinking of the rumors about the snake people in the great Qian dynasty, I understood that Xiao Chen must have misunderstood her. Sir, you have misunderstood. The practice I am talking about is not that kind of thing. But I want to use the young master's marrow cleansing and vein cutting to help me successfully break through to the saint realm level. Feeling embarrassed and ashamed inside, Kayan quickly opened her mouth to explain. The snake people liked to suck the essence of the human race a long time ago, but after she became Queen Medusa, she had issued an order prohibiting the snake people from fornicating other people. Although some tribes would secretly follow the rules, but as long as she didn't know about it, they would turn a blind eye. After all, the snake tribe has a long-standing racial grievance with the human tribe. As the Queen of Medusa, even if she couldn't stand this kind of behavior, she would not be able to kill her own people because of this kind of thing. And she has been practicing for hundreds of years, but she has never sucked the essence. Unexpectedly, she, Queen Medusa, would be misunderstood one day. 
Ahem, so that's what happened, but I misunderstood. After hearing Kei Yin's explanation, Xiao Chen immediately coughed twice to cover up his embarrassment. As long as we have enough resources, it won't be a problem to help you break through. The reason why Kei Yin failed to break through was because she was limited by her own bloodline. As long as he helps Kei Yin upgrade the sky swallowing python bloodline in her body, breaking through to the saint realm level will be as easy as drinking water. Of course, the premise is. You must have enough points. Thank you, sir. If you can help me break through to Saint Realm, Kayan will definitely repay you in the future. Kayan looked grateful when she heard this, and her affection for Xiao Chen rose to a whole new level. But despite what she said, Kayan was still ashamed in her heart. Not long ago, her life was saved by Xiao Chen, and even her severely injured body was repaired to prevent her from becoming a useless person. In the future, Xiao Chen will really help her break through to Saint Realm. With the superposition of these two kinds of kindness, I don't know how to repay the other party. Do you want to pledge yourself to me? After thinking of this, Kai Yan, who had always been cool and cool, turned slightly red. Because of their different physiological structures, it is generally difficult for snake women and human men to get together. But if she can break through to the saint realm, her body will be able to undergo a nirvana transformation. At that time, it will be able to transform into a human body, and it will be possible to marry him with his body. Well, how about a Queen Medusa teacher costume? Does it look good? Damn, what the hell was I thinking? As these ridiculous thoughts emerged, Kayan quickly shook her head and secretly cursed herself. The majestic Queen Medusa of the Snake Tribe has never been interested in men before. Now she actually had the idea of committing herself to a human race man who was hundreds of years younger than her. If the old stubborns of the snake tribe knew about this, they would probably have to use the clan rules and ancestral teachings to educate her. Miss Kayan, what are you muttering about? Looking at the queen, she was shaking her head like a little girl, with a look of shame on her face. Xiao Chen suddenly asked curiously. No, I was wondering, when you help others cleanse their marrow veins, do they have to put their hands on their hearts? Upon hearing Xiao Chen's question, Kayan immediately calmed down and asked with some sincerity. However, after asking this question, the atmosphere suddenly became awkward again. Xiao Chen suddenly froze on the spot and looked at Kai Yan in confusion. When he helped Xiao Zan and others upgrade the martial Dao talent just now, he actually pressed his right hand on the opponent's chest. But since all of them were men, he was just doing it to show off, so he didn't think much about it at this time. If he admits this, will he be able to put his hand on his chest when he helps Kayan upgrade her bloodline in the future? Ahem, the heart is the intersection of the heart and life vessels, and it is also the foundation of one's own body and blood. So I have to be close to my heart when I cast the spell, so as to ensure that the spell will not fail. Xiao Chen's mind was spinning, he coughed dryly and then said, Although he had already felt the heavy weight when he treated Kayan just now, if he could do it again. He was still very happy. However, seeing Kayan's expression becoming weird, Xiao Chen paused and continued to add. But don't worry, it doesn't have to be placed on the chest. It can be placed on the back as well. Master Xiao, I didn't mean that. Kayan was a little embarrassed when she heard this, but before she could finish her words, Xiao Chen raised her hand to stop her. Don't explain, I understand. Xiao Chen said with a slight smile, and then changed the topic. Turn around and let me help you measure how many resources are needed to help you break through Saint Realm. Kayan was slightly startled when she heard the words, but then she understood and immediately turned her back to Xiao Chen. Her fair and fair skin exudes a crystal luster, and her entire beautiful back is like a carefully polished work of art. There was only a ray of fiery red inner armor wrapping an inch of tender skin, which added a bit of charm to the back. This back. It would be a pity not to cup it. After admiring Kei Yin's back, Xiao Chen suddenly muttered with emotion. Sir, what's the pity? Kei Yin was stunned for a moment when she heard this, and asked with some doubts. It's nothing, I just complimented you on how beautiful your back is. Xiao Chen coughed dryly and said without blushing. Young master is joking. Kayan was suddenly startled when she heard this, and then lowered her head slightly. An unprecedented blush appeared on his face, and the corners of his mouth curved in an imperceptible arc. Xiao Chen didn't say anything after hearing this, and just pressed his hand gently. It is cold and tender, 
if you touch the smooth ice silk satin, the feeling is simply wonderful. And Kayan felt Xiao Chen's warm palm. The body couldn't help but tremble at this moment. A strange feeling arose spontaneously, and the snake's tail in the lower body was trembling slightly. This unprecedented excitement made her feel a little at a loss. After all, this was the first time in her 300 years of life that she had been touched by a man. The strange thing is that she doesn't resent this feeling, and is even vaguely happy? This made Kayan a little confused for a while. System, check how many points it costs to upgrade the bloodline in Kayan's body. Little Chen didn't know that Kayan's mood was already confused. After taking a deep breath to suppress the temptation in her heart. Just give the system an order. Ding. It costs 800,000 points to upgrade the sky swallowing python bloodline in the character Kayin's body to the saint realm level. 800,000. Xiao Chen was immediately shocked when he heard the answer given by the system. It only costs 4,100 points to upgrade from profound rank supreme grade to earth rank supreme grade. Unexpectedly, upgrading Kayin's bloodline would cost as much as 800,000 points. What a huge resource this must be. Ding. The bloodline of the sky devouring python in the king body of Medusa is the alien species that dominated the ancient times. Once your bloodline is promoted to the saint rank level, you can basically cultivate to the saint king level. When Xiao Chen was puzzled, the system also explained. Saint king realm. Xiao Chen was shocked again when he heard this. Saint realm, which is the realm above the celestial human realm, can be divided into saint realm and saint king realm. Within the seven dynasties of the Eastern Wasteland, even if there are old monsters at the Saint Realm level, they can only enter the Saint Realm at best. And once the cultivation level reaches the Saint King Realm, let alone the seven dynasties of the Eastern Wasteland. Even looking at the entire Eastern Domain, they are all top transcendent level experts. Chapter 11 A simplified version of the transformation pill helps Kayan transform into shape. Sir, what's the problem? Feeling that Xiao Chen was startled from behind, Kayan suddenly asked uneasily. It's nothing, it's just that the blood of the sky-swallowing python in your body is too advanced. If you want to advance to the Saint Realm level, the resources you need to consume are no less than purchasing a Saint weapon. Xiao Chen shook his head and could only tell the truth. What? After hearing Xiao Chen's answer, Kayan was also shocked. You must know that Saint Weapon is basically a legendary thing among the seven dynasties of the Eastern Wasteland. Even the damaged Saint Weapon, once it is born within the seven dynasties of the Eastern Wasteland, will attract several dynasties to compete for it. Even a damaged Holy Sword a hundred years ago was auctioned for a high price of 100 million spiritual crystals. With such a huge amount of wealth, even a dynasty force would have to work hard to get it out. And even if the snake tribe uses up all their stocks, they may not be able to produce 100 million spiritual crystals. I never imagined that it would be so difficult to break through Saint Realm. When the thought fell, Kayan looked gloomy. Unable to break through to the Saint Realm level, the snake tribe can only huddle in the endless desert and survive under the attack of the two dynasties. After all, in the Sirius dynasty and the Great Qian dynasty, it is said that there is an immortal Saint Realm. If the snake people want to get out of the endless desert, they must have a strong saint realm. Don't lose heart. We don't have enough resources now, but resources are there if we try to collect them. As long as you give me some time, I can definitely help you break through. Seeing that Kayan looked a little depressed, Xiao Chen smiled lightly and helped her. Of course, this is not a draw, he is really capable. It just takes time. But before that, I will get you a transformation elixir to facilitate your activities in the human dynasty. After a pause, Xiao Chen suddenly said. Now that he has so many points, he can help Kayan hide his identity. Young master, do you still have this kind of rare elixir? Kayan looked startled when she heard this, and immediately raised her head in surprise. Transformation elixir. This is rank 8 elixir. Even a heavenly rank alchemy master may not be able to successfully refine it. The most important thing is that the main ingredient for refining this medicine is the transformation grass, which is an extremely rare heavenly rank spirit medicine. Therefore, among the seven dynasties of the eastern wasteland, the transformation pill is also hard to come by. It's not the shape-changing pill you imagined. It can only temporarily change the body shape. 
Once three months have passed, if you don't continue to take it, it will return to its original state. Furthermore, each person can only take it three times in a lifetime. After three times, drug resistance will develop, and it will have no effect even if it is taken again. Seeing Kayin's surprised expression, Xiao Chen immediately started to explain. This kind of simple version of the transformation pill only costs 5,000 points in the system mall, which is what he can currently afford. After all, the real transformation pill is a sky-high price pill, and it requires at least hundreds of thousands of points to redeem it. It would be better to give Kayin a simplified version of the transformation pill first, and then help the opponent break through to Saint Realm when enough resources are collected. At that time, the colorful smoke can actually turn into a human form. The modern version of Queen Medusa looks very nice. And after he uses the system to upgrade his bloodline, that invisible contract will make the other party loyal until death. By then, this Queen Medusa of the Snake Tribe will undoubtedly be his woman. There is such a pill. Kayin's face suddenly became happy when she heard this, if she could change her own form. She will be able to appear openly and can better protect Xiao Chen. When Xiao Chen heard this, he didn't continue to talk nonsense. He spent 5,000 points on his backhand and redeemed one on the spot. This is the elixir I'm talking about. You can transform into another after taking it. As he spoke, Xiao Chen seemed to have thought of something and added a few words warmly. Although this elixir has no side effects, it will be quite painful when taking the form. But with your celestial human realm's perseverance, you should be able to overcome this pain. After saying that, Xiao Chen handed the elixir to Kayan and motioned for her to take it and try the effect. Thank you, sir. Kayan didn't doubt whether it was a poisonous elixir, so she took the elixir from Xiao Chen's hand. However, after hearing Xiao Chen say that the process of taking it would be a bit painful, Kayan did not take the elixir immediately. Although she was confident that she could endure the pain, she was still afraid of making a fool of herself in front of Xiao Chen. I was too embarrassed to transform into a snake tail in front of Xiao Chen, so I walked into the wing after explaining. This made Xiao Chen feel a little depressed. I thought I could witness Kei in snake tail transforming into beautiful legs, but I didn't expect that this Medusa queen could be shy sometimes. In all kinds of boredom, Xiao Chen sat cross-legged on the grass in the inner courtyard and opened the character attribute panel. Host. Xiao Chen Physique. Innate Tao Body Cultivation. Third Level of Spiritual Aperture. Kung Fu. The Technique of Creating the Universe Divine Ability. Heavenly Demon Shadowless Step. Coiling Dragon Fist. Bawang Jin. Diamond Kung Fu. Points. 12,816. There are more than 12,000 points left, so let's keep them as backup for now. Looking at the attribute panel of the introduction, Xiao Chen's brows raised slightly. Unexpectedly, after integrating the resources of several senior members of the Xiao family, this was all he had left. However, it can make the Xiao family's overall strength stronger and allow Queen Medusa to transform into a human form. His safety will be more guaranteed, and all the effort will be worth it. And as the Xiao family collects resources for him, his points should skyrocket. Xiao Zan, you dare to imprison the elders of our two families. I think your Xiao family doesn't want to be around anymore, right? Just when Xiao Chen's thoughts started to change. As a voice echoed in the Xiao family, the front door of the Xiao family was blown up on the spot. Even if Xiao Chen was in the inner courtyard of the Xiao family, he still felt this kind of movement. Sure enough, they came to your door. Xiao Chen raised his head in surprise and looked towards the front yard, his eyes flashing with cold light. Next. It's time to harvest. After murmuring in a solemn voice, Xiao Chen glanced at the side room behind him and walked directly to the front yard of the Xiao family. Xiao's front yard. Wang Long, the head of the Wang family, and Lin Ming, the head of the Lin family, led the elders and deacons of their respective families. As if entering a deserted place, he broke into the front yard of Xiao's house. The Xiao family guards who dared to stop him along the way were all thrown away by the arrogance of a few people. When Xiao Zan, Xiao Mingyi and others arrived, the Xiao family's front yard was already in a mess. Wang Long, Lin Ming, you two don't know how to live or die, I'm afraid you will be blamed here. Xiao Zan glanced at everyone with a cold gaze, and his voice echoed in the courtyard. Ha ha ha, here's the explanation? Just your Xiao family? 
After hearing Xiao Zan's words, Wang Long laughed wildly at this time. The momentum of the ninth level Xuandan realm also exploded, staring at Xiao Zan and others aggressively. Our two major families, thinking of the fact that they are both Liuyan city clans, sent two elders to negotiate with you. We wanted to give you Xiao family some help. I didn't expect that you, the Xiao family, are so ambitious that you dare to touch the elders of the two families, and even plan to destroy our two families? Since it was your Xiao family who was unkind in the first place, don't blame the two of us for being unjust. Chapter 12 You actually came to attack me? Listening to your tone, do you want to destroy our Xiao family? Xiao Zan narrowed his eyes slightly when he heard this, without any fear in his expression, he just asked casually. Before today, facing the oppression of the two major families, the Xiao family would really have been unable to resist. But now the Xiao family is no longer what it used to be. If you want to step on the Xiao family's head and run wild, these two families are not qualified enough. Haha, ha, we gave you the Xiao family a chance, but you didn't know how to cherish it. Wang Long sneered when he heard this, but did not deny the intention. Don't talk nonsense to him, things will change if you wait too long. Seeing that Wang Long was still talking nonsense to Xiao Zan, Lin Ming shouted impatiently. Hurry up and hand over Wang Zan and Lin Hai. Depose your cultivation base and kneel down to apologize, and transfer the city to us. Otherwise, from today on, there will be no Xiao family in Liuyan city. As the words echoed in the courtyard, Lin Ming took a step at this moment, and his cultivation aura exploded. Behind him, the elders and deacons of the Lin family also burst out with cultivation auras, staring at the Xiao family like jackals. It seems that as long as Lin Ming gives the order, the Xiao family will become a hell on earth. Ha ha ha, let Liu Yin City no longer have the Xiao family? Then let's see. Who killed whom? After hearing Lin Ming's arrogant words, Xiao Zan's anger completely exploded. Along with a lion's roar, a grotto heaven appeared behind Xiao Zan. The terrifying momentum of the grotto heaven realm swept across like a storm. Xiao Zan was like a divine king, slowly floating from the ground surrounded by golden flames. Xiao Mingyi, Xiao Delong and others also sneered and burst into cultivation. It directly crushed the momentum of Lin Ming and others to the point of destruction in an instant. This. This is the Grotto Heaven Realm. Seeing Xiao Zan standing in the sky, a Grotto Heaven appeared behind him. Wang Long, Lin Ming and others immediately shouted with distorted faces, as if they had seen a ghost. Impossible. Weren't you injured by Elder Taiyi Sword Sect? How could you break through to the Grotto Heaven Realm before us? Based on the information they received, Xiao Zan was indeed defeated in Taiyi Sword Sect, and was slapped away by the elder of Taiyi Sword Sect. If it weren't for Taiyi Sword Sect's shame and the reputation of being cruel and unkind, Xiao Zan might not even be able to come back alive. But now, the other party didn't look injured, or even made a sudden breakthrough in cultivation. Humph! Who are you two? I, Xiao, have to tell you that I can't make a breakthrough? Seeing that the two people who were in the same realm as him in the past were now frightened by his aura, their faces turned green. Xiao Zan immediately snorted coldly and then issued the order. Kill them. If you dare to offend our Xiao family, please stay. When the words fell, Xiao Zan burst into cultivation crazily, raised his hands and suppressed the two of them. Brother Xiao, this is all a misunderstanding. It was all caused by Lin Ming deceiving me. Our Wang family has absolutely no ill intentions. Looking at the phantom of the crazy lion burning with monstrous fireworks, his body trembled instinctively in the crisis of life and death. Wang Long was begging for mercy in a hurried voice as his cultivation went crazy. Every time your cultivation level breaks through a major realm, your strength will be completely different. Without any exaggeration, a strong man in the first level of Grotto Heaven can easily kill several strong men in the ninth level of Xuandan. And Xiao Zan not only broke through to the Grotto Heaven realm, but his aura was as thick as a mountain. It didn't look like he had just broken through to the Grotto Heaven realm. It is very likely that he has broken through to the second level of Grotto Heaven. This kind of strength can completely kill them. If you beg for mercy at this time, you might still be able to save your life. Wang Long. What the hell, you're the one who seduced me. Hearing that Wang Long framed him in this way, Lin Ming angrily shouted in desperation. 
Although the two people had obvious differences in their language, they had almost the same physical reaction. After punching Xiao Zan during the burst of cultivation, his figures retreated towards the outside of Xiao's house in an instant. If they could escape from the Xiao family, they would still have a chance to survive. Humanity is so ugly. Seeing Wang Long and Lin Ming throwing dirty water at each other in order to save their lives, Xiao Zan sneered and started to cultivate even more crazily. The phantom of the mad lion he displayed directly exploded the fist shadows of the two of them in the next moment. The lion's claws, burning with flames, struck the two of them. Immediately, Wang Long and Lin Ming spurted blood, and their bodies were bombarded on the courtyard floor like cannonballs. Just a meeting. His opponents who were once inseparable from each other were now easily beaten to the point of vomiting blood by him. This is the absolute suppression brought about by a realm breakthrough. Xiao Mingyi, Xiao Delong and others also rushed towards the other elders and deacons while grinning. In the case of suppressing the opponent in the realm of cultivation, even if the number of people is slightly smaller than the opponent, they will still crush the opponent with overwhelming force. Maybe it won't be long before all the strong men from Wang Lin's family will have to go to hell to repent. Is the battle almost over? As soon as Xiao Chen walked into the front yard of Xiao's house, he saw a mess all over the ground, and two people were lying not far in front. He kept vomiting blood at his mouth and even had pieces of internal organs. This scene made him couldn't help but raise his eyebrows. Unexpectedly, upgrading the talents of my father and family elders could indirectly save a family from being wiped out. Is this how one person achieves enlightenment and ascends to heaven? It feels so much better. Xiao. Dot the Xiao family's child? When Xiao Chen walked into the front yard of Xiao's house, Wang Long, who was lying on the ground coughing up blood, saw a gleam of coldness in his eyes. The body that was originally severely injured sat up in shock as if dying of illness, and immediately pounced on Xiao Chen. Chen Er, be careful. Seeing Wang Long rushing toward Xiao Chen, probably trying to take him hostage, Xiao Zan immediately yelled. At this time, the figure also turned into an afterimage, and immediately flew towards the two of them. You actually came to attack me? Seeing Wang Long rushing towards him in a frantic manner. Xiao Chen's face suddenly turned cold, and his cultivation subconsciously exploded. The figure swayed slightly like an afterimage, avoiding the palm very skillfully. Immediately afterwards, when Wang Long grasped the empty space with his big hands, his expression was a little stunned. There was a cold light in Xiao Chen's eyes, and he punched the opponent on the spot. Heavenly demon shadowless step. Ba Wang Jin. Under the explosion of these two divine abilities, Wang Long's figure immediately rolled back and flew away, and the blood from his mouth spurted out again. If this guy wasn't injured, he might have turned around and run away. But she still dared to provoke him even though she was seriously injured. She was like an old sister-in-law who wanted to lick her anus, looking for death. The third level of spiritual aperture. Seeing Wang Long being knocked away by Xiao Chen's punch, and feeling Xiao Chen's cultivation aura. Xiao Zan couldn't help but froze, with shock and confusion on his face. Xiao Chen had been hiding his cultivation aura before. They only knew that the other party's injuries had recovered, and thought that his cultivation was still at the third level of Kaiyuan. Unexpectedly, the other party's current cultivation level has soared to a great level. At the age of 18, he has reached the third level of spiritual aperture. Even the core disciples trained by Tai Yi Sword Sect cannot achieve such a level at this age. The Xiao family. A real dragon is about to appear. Haha, ha, I didn't expect that something would happen to the Xiao family. It seems that I really came to the right place this time. Just when Xiao Zan was feeling emotional, an old voice sounded coldly. While everyone below was still fighting, a figure appeared in the sky above the Xiao family, and a huge grotto heaven rose behind him. A far more terrifying pressure than Xiao Zan. It collapsed like a mountain, causing the expressions of Xiao Zan and others below to change drastically. Chapter 13 The Magnificent Medusa, Whoever Attacks the Young Master Will Die. Grotto Heaven Realm Strong Man. Looking at the old man in grey clothes appearing in the sky, Xiao Zan's expression became extremely solemn. Both are strong men in the Grotto Heaven Realm. He felt a strong crisis in the opponent which also proved that the opponent's cultivation level was stronger than his, and he was probably a strong person in the middle stage of Grotto Heaven Realm or above. 
Who are you, your excellency, and what do you want? When the thoughts in his mind fell, Xiao Zan raised his head and shouted in a low voice. Xiao Chen raised his head slightly when he saw this, but his expression remained unchanged. A mere grotto heaven realm strongman, if they are here to die, then stay with them. My name is Lin Shang'an. The old man in grey sneered when he heard this and slowly announced his name. That kind of contempt for all living beings, like a lofty king, can destroy the Xiao family at any time. Lin Shang'an? After hearing this name, Xiao Zan's pupil shrank sharply, as if he was thinking of something, and his voice changed at this time. You! Could it be possible that you are the supreme elder of the Lin family in Tiandu City? After having a grudge against the Lin family in Tiandu City, the Xiao family also investigated the other party. And he knew that there were three supreme elders in the Lin family, each of whom was a powerful grotto heaven realm expert. Lin Shang'an is one of them, his cultivation has reached the fifth level of grotto heaven, and he is also Lin Feng's great-grandfather. Hey, it's me. Seeing that everyone in the Xiao family was startled, Lin Shang'an smiled solemnly at this time. I've always done everything right. Since your Xiao family has offended my good grandson, you should disappear neatly from this world. I didn't expect that my incompetent son just ordered you to pay millions of spiritual crystals in compensation. This is simply feeding a tiger into trouble, it's so stupid. Speaking of this, Lin Shang'an couldn't help but admire his caution. Fortunately, he left the customs in person and secretly came to Liuyan City. Otherwise, we would not have known that the Xiao family would turn around. The head of the family, Xiao Zan, suddenly broke through to the Grotto Heaven Realm, and the family's strength was stronger than the intelligence revealed. If the Xiao family is really allowed to move and hide somewhere, they will develop. Maybe if we wait another hundred years, the Lin family will be in disaster. It's a pity. The Lin family has a stable elder like him, and the Xiao family will no longer be a threat from today on. Elder Lin, hurry up and destroy the Xiao family. When our two major families learned that the Xiao family had offended the Lin family in Tiandu City, we originally wanted to come over and express our disgust for the noble master, but we didn't expect that the top brass of the Xiao family actually broke through. Their cultivation levels were the same as ours two days ago, but in just two days they all broke through together. There must be something fishy in this, after Lin Shang'an finished speaking. Wang Long and Lin Ming, who were originally seriously injured and lying on the ground, raised their heads and yelled hysterically. And that kid. He is the one who had a grudge with Mr. Lin, but now he has fully recovered from his injuries, and his cultivation has broken through to the third level of spiritual orifice. The Xiao family must have some big secret. As their words echoed in the Xiao family, the expressions of Xiao Zan, Xiao Mingyi and others changed drastically. Lin Shang'an's eyes were locked directly on Xiao Chen, with a look of disbelief on his face. Before coming to the Xiao family in Liuyan City, he had fully understood the whole incident, and also knew that Xiao Chen had his Dantian disabled and severely injured by his grandson. But within two days, the other party not only fully recovered from his injuries, but his cultivation level suddenly soared. How could there have been such a heaven-defying transformation without the great opportunity? This child cannot be kept. When his eyes fell on Xiao Chen, Lin Shang'an's eyes showed a horrified and fierce light. The burst of cultivation turned into an afterimage and pounced on Xiao Chen like an eagle. An 18-year-old spiritual aperture monk. If he was given more time to grow, wouldn't he be able to easily break through to the Nirvana realm? If this son does not die, the Lin family will be destroyed. Old ghost, if you want to touch my son, you must get through me first. Seeing Lin Shang'an rushing towards Xiao Chen, Xiao Zan burst into cultivation with a roar, and his body turned into an afterimage and rushed towards him. Roll. Lin Shang'an roared angrily when he saw this, and a green Luan emerged from Grotto Heaven behind him, and a terrifying storm immediately swept across the world. In the cry of Qing Luan, wind blades fell one after another. In an instant, it was like a downpour, attacking the Xiao family below indiscriminately. The angry lion, facing Lin Shang'an's terrifying divine ability attack, Xiao Zan also displayed his strongest divine ability martial arts. The phantom of the mad lion roared towards the Qingluan in the sky of fireworks. Boom! The next moment, as the divine ability of the two Grotto Heaven Realm powerhouses collided, a deafening roar resounded throughout half of Liyuan City. 
After city lord Lu Tianan noticed this movement, his figure immediately rose into the sky from the city lord's mansion. There are many cultivators in Liyan city. They all looked at the Xiao family with horrified eyes, obviously frightened by the movement. After all, Lin Shangan is a veteran of the Grotto Heaven Realm, and his cultivation level is a full third level higher than Xiao Zan. With all your strength, Xiao Zan's divine ability could only last for less than three breaths before it was completely exploded by Lin Shangan's Qingluan. The terrifying impact caused Xiao Zan to spurt out a mouthful of blood, and he couldn't help but fly backwards into the distance. Lin Shangan took advantage of this opportunity and shot toward Xiao Chen again. Wind blades came from all directions, blocking Xiao Chen's escape route in an instant, and could kill Xiao Chen completely in the next moment. This scene made the eyes of everyone in the Xiao family burst into tears, and each one of them rushed toward Xiao Chen crazily. However, only the person involved looked calm and looked at Lin Shangan with disdain. Because at this moment, an extremely terrifying energy erupted from the inner courtyard of the Xiao family, and the murderous intent seemed to freeze the entire world in an instant. Old guy. Dot are you looking for death? As the sounds of these words echoed, it was as if an invisible big hand grabbed Lin Shangan in an instant. Let him freeze in midair, fixed two feet away from Xiao Chen. And next to Xiao Chen, Kayin's alluring figure appeared like a ghost. The black hair on his head was dancing wildly in the wind, and red flames surrounded his body. And what's different from before is that the lower body that was supposed to be the snake's tail has now turned into white legs. The slender feet stood in the sky, exuding a faint fluorescence. It is enough to make most women in the world jealous and crazy, and it can also make countless men in the world obsessed with her. The unparalleled beauty of Medusa, she looks so beautiful like this. Tong. Universal Truth Realm Strongman. Different from the shock of Xiao Zan and others, Lin Shangan was shocked when he saw Kayan. There was no amazement in his eyes at all, but instead they were filled with endless fear. Because with the appearance of Kai Yan, the space around him seemed to solidify, making him unable to move. In this horrifying situation, only the strong ones above the universal truth realm can communicate what the power of heaven and earth is doing. I didn't expect that the woman in front of me was so terrifying. Ant, go to hell. Kayan completely ignored Lin Shangan's fear. When the other party felt that his soul was dying, she raised her right hand and shook it in vain. A terrifying power of heaven and earth also erupted, and Lin Shangan was submerged in red flames. There was only an extremely shrill scream like the soul sound of hell, that curled up in response. Such a terrifying scene immediately plunged the entire Xiao family into deathly silence. Chapter 14. Heavenly Venerable, remember it next time. Dead. Dead? Seeing Lin Shangan, who was so arrogant just now, now his whole person was completely reduced to a ball of ashes. Whether it was Xiao Zan, Xiao Mingyi and others, or Wang Long, Lin Ming and others, they were all dumbfounded at this moment. His pupils were constantly trembling, as if he had seen something terrible, and his body was trembling slightly. Lin Shangan. The existence that could kill them all was now being killed like ants. How shocking this scene was to their souls. As expected of Queen Medusa, this kind of strength is too terrifying. Looking at Queen Medusa floating next to Xiao Chen, Xiao Zan couldn't help but murmured in shock. With such a person by Xiao Chen's side, he doesn't have to worry about the other person's safety. However, Medusa's snake tail turned into two legs. Could it be that the other party's cultivation level has reached Saint Realm? Thinking of the records about the snake people in ancient books, Xiao Zan's body trembled again and his eyes flickered. I wiped it, and in the blink of an eye it was all gone, not even a hair was left? When the entire Xiao family fell into deathly silence, Xiao Chen only came back to his senses at this time. Seeing that Lin Shang'an was dead and there was nothing left of him, he suddenly felt as if he had lost something, and there was a look of grief on his face. This is a strong man from Grotto Heaven Realm. Calculated, this guy is equivalent to a rank 5 monster, and his body should be worth a lot of points after death. To die like this now without even being a scumbag is simply erasing the value of his life. It's all because he was fascinated by Kayin's legs just now. He was so distracted that he couldn't stop Kayan in time. It's such a waste of natural resources. Sir, what happened? 
Seeing Xiao Chen suddenly let out a cry of sorrow, Kayan thought something serious had happened, and quickly turned her head to look at Xiao Chen and asked. It's nothing, I just feel that this guy died so tragically that not even a hair was left behind after his death. After hearing Kay Yin's question, Xiao Chen coughed dryly. The dead are great. In the future, you still have to show some respect to them when you kill people. It's best to leave them a whole body so that I can save them. Oh Natofu, Wu Liang that heavenly venerable, remember that next time. After saying that, Xiao Chen showed a look of compassion, which made Kay Yin couldn't help but be stunned for a moment. Young master wants to recycle their bodies, right? Recalling that Xiao Chen could recycle items before, Kayan asked with some sincerity. Ahem, you straight girl. Xiao Chen suddenly coughed twice to cover up his embarrassment after Kai Yan revealed his thoughts. Kayan didn't know what straight girl meant, and thought Xiao Chen was praising her for being smart. The corners of his mouth couldn't help but curve, and then he looked at the others. These ants. Dot are all their corpses left intact? As these words fell indifferently, Wang Long and Lin Ming's faces turned green, and each of them collapsed on the ground frightened by the colorful smoke. Your Excellency, please spare my life. We are willing to surrender to the Xiao family, and we hope that you will spare our lives. With the desire to survive erupting, Wang Long and others begged frantically, completely losing their prestige. The eyes of everyone in the Xiao family also fell on Xiao Chen, and they did not suggest anything. Obviously, the power of life and death was given to Xiao Chen to decide on his own. Well, let's keep the whole body intact. After all, life is not easy, so when you die, you should be more considerate. Hearing this, Xiao Chen glanced at Wang Long and others, and ordered with an unusually indifferent voice, without any sympathy on his face. If he hadn't transmigrated here today, he would have cheated and picked up Queen Medusa. I'm afraid that the entire Xiao family will be reduced to ruins, so the group of people in front of them will die without mercy. No. Martial artists are prohibited from fighting in Li Yan City. If you kill us, the city lord's palace will definitely punish you. After Xiao Chen finished speaking, Wang Long, Lin Ming and others roared in terror and even moved out of the city lord's mansion in an attempt to save their lives. They never thought that they would be sanctioned by the city lord's government if they tried to destroy the Xiao family. In this begging for mercy, Kayan raised her hand slightly. A ball of red fire containing terrifying energy also burned in her hand. Next moment. The colorful smoke crushed the fireball, and countless sparks spattered out wildly, turning into pythons in an instant. He roared and rushed towards everyone. Stop, fighting is prohibited in Li Yan City. Do you want to rebel? Almost as soon as the fire snakes jumped out, a voice exploded like thunder. The city lord Lu Tianan also descended on the Xiao family's void with overwhelming anger. City lord, the Xiao family not only killed our elders, but now they also want to destroy us. Seeing Lu Tianan rushing to Xiao's house, Lin Ming and others were like drowning people, grabbing the last life-saving rope and shouting hysterically at each other. Puff puff, but before Lin Ming could finish his words, the fiery snakes were like life-threatening chains, piercing through the members of both Wang and Lin families in just a few moments. The words of Lin Ming and others stopped suddenly, and their bodies fell stiffly to the ground. A group of powerful men in the revolving core realm, as well as many monks in the spiritual aperture realm, were all killed on the spot at this moment. Such a horrifying scene made Lu Tianan stunned. Someone actually dared to kill all the top leaders of Wang and Lin's family in front of him, the city lord. Did he, the city lord, take him seriously? As this? Killed too? Just when Lu Tianan was filled with anger and was about to ask why the Xiao family was like this, a cold voice echoed. A terrifying murderous intention was locked on him, making the hairs on his body stand up in trembling. This moment. Lu Tianan's figure froze directly in the void, as if he had fallen into an abyss. It seems that if he dares to make any strange move, he will definitely end up with a corpse. He is the lord of Liu Yin City and is not an enemy of the Xiao family. Xiao Chen smiled bitterly when he heard this, then waved his hand and said, This woman is really murderous. Lu Tianan will rush over, he must have noticed Kei Yin's aura, and killing him will only cause a lot of trouble. After all, Lu Tianan was a city lord, and his death would alarm the imperial power. Now that Kayan is no longer in the form of a snake, there is no need to cause more trouble. 
After Xiao Chen finished speaking, Kayan dissipated her energy. What a scary woman. This is definitely a strong man above the universal truth realm. He can immobilize me with just his qi machine. Feeling that the surrounding space returned to normal, Lu Tianan's whole body was soaked in cold sweat. Unexpectedly, after he became the lord of Liuyan City, this was the first time he would be so close to death. Who is this woman, and why does she obey the Xiao family's orders? City Lord Lu, the Wang and Lin families took advantage of the crisis and tried to join forces to destroy the Xiao family. Fortunately, my Xiao family has noble people to help me, so I managed to kill the two major families, and they all deserved their death. You have no objection to this, right? When Lu Tianan was shocked and confused, Xiao Chen raised his head and said indifferently. Kayan also locked her eyes on Lu Tianan, causing the hairs all over Lu Tianan's body to tremble and explode. No, the Wang Lin family blatantly violated the regulations of the city lord's palace and led people into the Xiao family without authorization in an attempt to bring harm to other families. Now they are destroyed by the Xiao family. It's all their own fault. Feeling that the life and death crisis was coming again, Lu Tianan said quickly without thinking. Does he dare to have an opinion? If he dared to say no, he would probably have to lie down the next moment. Since the city lord is so sensible, we, the Xiao family, can't disobey him. Xiao Chen smiled lightly when he heard this, with a hint of seriousness at the corner of his mouth, and looked at Xiao Mingyi and others. Elders. Since city lord Lu also feels that the two Wang and Lin families deserve to die, I would like to ask you to lead a trip to completely eliminate the two Wang and Lin families. In addition, I would like you to lead people to inspect the markets and properties of the two families. If anyone dares to stop him, I will let my senior sister take action. Chapter 15 If your heart is tempted, you must seize the opportunity. Hiss, after hearing what Xiao Chen said with an expressionless expression, Lu Tianan couldn't help but take a deep breath. The blood pressure in the body increased rapidly at this time, and Xiao Chen almost yelled in anger. What he meant by what he just said. It was said that the Wang Lin family's intruders would not be spared the death of their invaders, but it did not say that the Xiao family would destroy the Wang Lin family and also take away other people's wealth and businesses. This little devil of the Xiao family actually hit the snake with ease, and he didn't even take him as the city lord seriously. Don't be angry and be angry. Now even if Lu Tianan was given ten courages, he would not dare to refute Xiao Chen. Xiao Zan, Xiao Mingyi and others all looked excited. In the past, the Xiao family was trembling with fear during the civil war in Liuyan City, but from now on they can finally feel proud. And all this is thanks to Xiao Chen. City Master Lu, my Xiao family suddenly encountered misfortune today, and I have no intention of entertaining City Master Lu. Please don't take it to heart. Seeing Lu Tianan's depressed and ugly expression, Xiao Chen paused and said with a faint smile. There was no concern at all whether Lu Tianan would go berserk on the spot. Although the city lord's mansion had helped the Xiao family in the past, it was all to check and balance the two major families of Wang and Lin. Now, for the sake of this face, he had done his best to let Kayan not do anything to her. As for leaving the other party to chat, that's not necessary. Lu Tianan looked very ugly when he heard this, and knew that Xiao Chen was about to see off guests. However, he did not dare to say anything more and could only leave the Xiao family with an aggrieved look. If nothing unexpected happens, from now on, the Xiao family will dominate Liuyan City. Unless the great Qian dynasty is willing to send people to sit in the city lord's palace, how can a small city in Wangzhou be qualified for the royal family to send people? So from now on, even the city lord's mansion will have to act based on the Xiao family's expression. And Xiao Mingyi and others didn't talk nonsense. Dang even took many strong men from the Xiao family and rushed to the two major families without stopping. A bloody storm will take place in Liuyan City, but this kind of thing is too common in this world. This time we can have a great harvest. After Lu Tianan left, looking at Wang Long and others lying dead on the ground, Xiao Chen had an excited look on his face. By destroying the two major families in Liuyan City, a lot of resources should be obtained. Chenner, it's thanks to you this time that the Xiao family was able to survive. Xiao Zan came to Xiao Chen's side, holding his chest, and said with emotion and joy. If it weren't for Xiao Chen's incredible luck and the recognition of a mysterious and powerful man, 
the Xiao family would be in ruins today. It is even more impossible for people like them to survive standing here. However, today we killed the supreme elder of the Lin family in Tiandu city. I'm afraid the Xiao family will still have more troubles in the future. Before that, we must discuss countermeasures. After sighing with emotion, Xiao Zan frowned and said worriedly. A supreme elder of the Lin family in Tiandu city died. In the past few days, it was discovered that Lin Shang'an was missing. Then he found out that the Xiao family had destroyed the Wang and Lin families. You must be reminded of something. Although with the help of Queen Medusa, the Xiao family is not afraid of the Lin family in Tiandu city, but behind the Lin family is Tai Yi Sword Sect. This is the top sect in the Wangzhou region. Looking at the great Qian dynasty, it is not a weak force. There are strong men from the universal truth realm in the sect. Once the Xiao family gets into trouble with the Tai Yi Sword Sect, I'm afraid the matter will get bigger and bigger, and the Xiao family's living environment will become even more difficult. After all, Queen Medusa cannot stay in the Xiao family all the time because of her sensitive status. Therefore, they must come up with a foolproof strategy to ensure that nothing happens to the Xiao family. No need to worry. Next, I will find ways to enhance the Xiao family's heritage, and also completely cover up Kayin's aura. Hearing Xiao Zan's words, Xiao Chen smiled lightly. Although Kayin's legs have now transformed into a human form, her appearance is no different from that of a human being. But because of the different blood vessels in the body, the breath is still a little different. Some strong men who have dealt with the snake people may be able to detect this subtle difference. Therefore, this is still a flaw in Kayin. Obviously Xiao Zan had also thought of this, so he seemed very worried at this time. Ha ha ha, since you are so confident, then you will feel relieved as a father. Hearing Xiao Chen's two words, Xiao Zan's whole body was suddenly shaken and he immediately started laughing. With so many things happening suddenly today, he now has blind confidence in Xiao Chen. It seems that as long as the other party is confident, nothing will happen. When Kayan heard this, her eyes showed surprise, and she was obviously curious about what method the other party would use to cover up the special snakeman aura on her body. By the way, your senior sister suddenly transformed into legs. Could it be that your cultivation level has reached Saint Realm? After laughing loudly, Xiao Zan seemed to have thought of something and quickly pulled Xiao Chen and asked in a low voice. But it seemed impossible. There was no movement just now, which made him a little confused. Senior sister just took a special elixir to temporarily transform her body into a human form. Her cultivation level has not reached the saint realm. Xiao Chen smiled helplessly after hearing this. If Kayan really breaks through to the saint realm, the movement will be enough to alarm tens of thousands of miles around. How can the Xiao family still be so stable? Yes, saint realm is so easy to break through. Xiao Zan was slightly startled when he heard this, and then a strange color flashed in his eyes, and he pulled Xiao Chen and warned him quietly. You brat, after your senior sister transformed into a human form, you can be considered a rare beauty in the world. If your heart is tempted, kid, you must seize the opportunity. Kayan seemed to obey Xiao Chen's advice and helped the Xiao family twice today. Therefore, Xiao Zan also has a great affection for Kayan. If the other party can be turned into a daughter-in-law, the Xiao family can firmly hold this thigh. After all, this is Queen Medusa, the one who is expected to become the Saint Realm. If you can truly become a member of the Xiao family in the future, the entire Xiao family will be prosperous because of it. Can such a Queen Medusa not be moved? Well, hearing Xiao Zan's words, Xiao Chen was startled and looked at Kai Yan. The other party seemed to have heard Xiao Zan's words, and his originally cold face turned red for the first time. But after looking at Xiao Chen, his eyes averted slightly, and then he turned his head as if nothing had happened. Pretending not to overhear the conversation between the two. It seems that your senior sister is very fond of you. Otherwise, she wouldn't be so protective of you. The Xiao family is not a pedantic family, even if the other party is from the snake clan. But as long as you like it, we have no objection. Seeing Xiao Chen and Kai Yan looking at each other, Xiao Zan began to persuade with a fatherly expression. This made Xiao Chen a little embarrassed. Although he had already decided in his heart to capture Kayan, the Queen of Medusa, he was still a little depressed when Xiao Zan opened his mouth to point it out. After this little episode, 
With the help of everyone in the Xiao family, Xiao Chen successfully rescued the bodies of Wang Long and others, and even seized a large amount of resources. This allowed Xiao Chen's points to break through the 70,000 mark on the spot. They even found several good earth rank items from Lin Chang'an's space ring, which can be used to enhance the Xiao family's heritage. Chapter 16 What's going on? Could it be that the estrus period has arrived? This time I can try the synthesis function inside the wing. Looking at the many materials placed in front of him, Xiao Chen had a look of anticipation on his face. Many of the materials obtained this time were related to formations. For example, there are broken array disks, damaged array diagrams, and some array base materials. Several of them have reached the earth rank level, and there are more than a dozen profound rank materials, but Xiao Chen has not exchanged these for points. After all, he still has a chance to synthesize it for free. If he can synthesize these materials into treasures, the Xiao family's foundation will also skyrocket. When the idea came to mind, Xiao Chen did not hesitate and immediately chose the integrated union material. Ding! Congratulations to the host for successfully completing the integrated union material and obtaining the Earth Rank Supreme Grade Formation, Senluo Blood Prison Formation. As the system prompt sounds, in a flash of bright light, all the materials disappeared, leaving only a blood red array disk. Young Master actually has such a method. Kayan, who was also in the wing, was shocked when she saw this scene. Although she has seen some weapon refiners refine weapons, she can also refine many materials into a treasure. But it was the first time in her life that Xiao Chen could integrate all the incomplete things with a wave of his hand. Even a saint rank weapon refiner cannot do this kind of method that can transform decay into magic. But Mr. Xiao did it. Could it be that he is the reincarnation of a supreme great emperor? It actually synthesized the earth rank supreme great array disk. It seems that the synthesis function is quite abnormal. While Kayan was shocked and guessing, Xiao Chen looked at the bloody array disk with a look of amazement on his face. An intact earth rank supreme grade formation disk can be worth hundreds of thousands of spiritual crystals at least. If there is enough power support, it can even obliterate Nirvana realm experts. But such a valuable treasure is composed of many wastes. If this were to be known to outsiders, it would probably attract countless people to covet him. But earth rank is not enough. Maybe you can try upgrading. As the thoughts in his mind turned, Xiao Chen immediately made a decision. Ding. Will the host consume 30,000 points to upgrade the Senluo blood prison formation from earth rank supreme grade to heavenly rank supreme grade? As if sensing Xiao Chen's thoughts, the system also asked at this time. Do I need 30,000 points to upgrade? After hearing the system prompt, Xiao Chen's eyes flickered slightly. A perfect supreme grade heavenly rank item requires at least hundreds of thousands of points to be redeemed by the system. But if you spend 30,000 points to upgrade, you can get a supreme grade heavenly rank array disk, which is definitely a huge profit for Xiao Chen. Upgrade. The next moment, Xiao Chen didn't hesitate at all and immediately chose to upgrade the array. Ding! The system has deducted 30,000 points and is upgrading the array disk for the host. As the system prompts fell, a burst of dazzling white light burst out, immediately covering the Senluo blood prison formation. Immediately afterwards, under the gazes of Xiao Chen and Kayan, the Senluo blood prison array shook violently. An even more terrifying formation aura suddenly erupted from the formation plate into the sky, and the entire Xiao family was violently shaken. The hairs on Kei Yin's body stood up even more, and she looked at the Senluo blood prison formation disc in horror. The whole person feels like facing a powerful enemy. Unexpectedly, it only took a blink of an eye. Just now it was just an earth rank formation disc, but now it has become a rare heavenly rank formation disc, which made her feel a strong sense of crisis. This gave her a strong feeling. If this array plate is activated at full strength, even if she is in peak condition, she will be severely injured if she is not careful. The young master is really terrifying. Not only can it easily help others repair their injuries, but it can also help others cleanse their marrow and cut their veins to achieve breakthroughs in cultivation. Now, it can also synthesize discarded items into treasures. What's even more outrageous is, after the other party synthesizes the treasure, it can also be upgraded. Young master. 
What kind of existence can be so contrary to common sense? Various thoughts kept flashing through her mind. Kayan stared at Xiao Chen, and even her body was trembling slightly. There was even more admiration and curiosity in his eyes, and even his breathing became a little rapid at this time. She didn't notice it at this time, but it was just less than a day. As she got to know Xiao Chen better, it was like there was magic in him, attracting her step by step. Here's another beautiful photo of Queen Medusa, it should look better than the ones in the previous chapters. With this formation disc protecting the Xiao family, the Xiao family will be able to protect themselves even if Kayan doesn't come to help. Looking at the supreme grade heavenly rank array in front of him, fully deployed to kill the powerful celestial human realm, Xiao Chen had a satisfied smile on his face. Even if Xiao Zan and others cannot activate the formation with all their strength, if they are just defensive, unless the powerful heavenly beings take action. Otherwise, even a strong universal truth realm player would have difficulty breaking through the formation's defense. After the thought fell, Xiao Chen put away the array disc. This thing. When he is about to leave the Xiao family, he will find an opportunity to give it to Xiao Zan to control. The problem of the Xiao family's background has been solved. Now it's time to solve Kay Yin's flaw. After muttering something, Xiao Chen looked at Kay Yin. Only then did she realize that Queen Medusa was sitting casually on the carpet in the wing, holding her chin in her hands and looking at him infatuatedly. That pink and tender face, that rising and falling chest. Xiao Chen was confused for a while. What's the situation? Why does Kayan look like she's going to eat him? Could it be that the estrus period has arrived? Miss Kayan, are you feeling unwell? After being stunned for a moment, Xiao Chen asked implicitly with doubts. He remembered it being recorded in the books. Snake people have a special physique after their body matures. At any special period, it is easy to have impulses and want to have intercourse between yin and yang. Therefore, within the area of the Great Qian Dynasty, there are rumors that snakes are inherently obscene. Although it is said that Queen Medusa has a cold nature and never has any contact with male creatures. But if the other party is normal, he should also have some kind of impulse. In this situation, could it be that the body's primitive impulse has exploded? What will the other party do to him next? No, Kayin's expression changed when she heard this, and then she turned her head. But being caught staring at a man like this made her feel a little embarrassed even though she was Queen Medusa. Damn. What was she thinking just now? How could you think of? Wanting to rub Xiao Chen into your body so that they can blend in with each other? For 300 years, this was the first time she had such thoughts about the opposite sex. Could it be that her seemingly cold heart has always longed to be melted by a man? It would be better if I didn't. Seeing Kayan looking a little embarrassed. Xiao Chen didn't dwell on the topic, so he changed the subject with some sincerity. Since there is nothing wrong with your health, just take off your clothes first so that I can. What? Xiao Chen hasn't finished speaking yet. Kei Yin's expression changed again, and she raised her head in disbelief. Xiao Chen actually asked her to take off her clothes? In the wing, there is a man and a woman alone, and they still need to take off their clothes? What is this for? Chapter 17 So there was a vacuum inside Kayan just now. Do not misunderstand, seeing Kayan's sudden reaction, Xiao Chen coughed and quickly explained. I mean, you go behind the screen and take off your inner armor, and then I will synthesize and upgrade it for you. This will help you cover up your breath. After a lot of effort, Xiao Chen finally understood Kayan. So that's it. After hearing Xiao Chen's explanation, Kayan's face turned slightly red and her expression became a little embarrassed. Unexpectedly, she was wrong again. Could it be that her heart was too obscene? It was the same snake-like nature that she had in the past, but it was suppressed by her. Now after meeting Mr. Xiao, his true nature has begun to revive? With her mind full of random thoughts, Kayan was confused for a moment. I wish I could dig a hole on the spot and bury myself in it. I never expected that the majestic Queen Medusa would have such a shameful and embarrassing day. Are you okay? Xiao Chen on the side felt that Kei Yin's aura was disordered, and his face turned red, embarrassed, and annoyed. He looked like he was about to lose control of his emotions. He quickly asked. I'm fine. After hearing Xiao Chen's question again, Kei Yin finally got out of her state of shame. After taking a deep breath to adjust her mood, Kei Yin stood up and walked behind the screen in the room without saying much. 
Then, across the screen, he began to take off his inner armor. It feels so exciting. If you have clairvoyant eyes, you can appreciate it. Hearing the rustling sound of undressing coming from behind the screen, Xiao Chen couldn't help but sigh while sitting cross-legged on the carpet. Sir, do you just need to take off your inner armor? Just when Xiao Chen was a little restless, Kai Yan asked in an awkward voice. What's the meaning? After hearing Kai Yan's words, Xiao Chen was stunned on the spot. Could it be? Kai Yan plans to take off all her clothes to upgrade him? Even. Kachazi? No, Kai Yan had a snake tail on her lower body before, so she didn't seem to need to wear any tea seeds. So, was there a vacuum inside Kai Yan just now? Sir, are you listening? When Xiao Chen's heart became even more restless, Kai Yin's voice came over again in an awkward tone. Ahem, no need, just in her armor. Hearing Kai Yin's question again, Xiao Chen came to his senses and immediately responded awkwardly. He's not some crazy beast, so it's safer to do the right thing. As for the mystery of Kai Yin, he will be able to find out in the future as long as the time is right. But if we act too hastily now, there may be some side effects. After Xiao Chen finished speaking, a piece of fiery red inner armor floated out from behind the screen. Finally it floated in front of Xiao Chen's eyes. A body fragrance that smells as good as an orchid is constantly escaping from the inner armor, making Xiao Chen's blood boil. Even as the inner armor fell into his hands, Xiao Chen could still feel a trace of residual warmth. These are all stimulating Xiao Chen's nerves, making him think again. Fortunately, Xiao Chen had extraordinary concentration. After suppressing all the distracting thoughts in his mind, he began to identify the inner armor. Queen Medusa's personal inner armor is made from the snake scales shed by Queen Medusa's snake tail, combined with silkworm gold wire and red gold jade. It has a terrifying defensive power comparable to the heavenly rank spirit soldiers. However, due to being burned by the Earth's core fire for thousands of years, the current material has been damaged by 68%. Recycling can be exchanged for 47,800 points, and complete restoration requires 18,600 points. Looking at the information that appeared in front of him, Xiao Chen had a look of shock on his face. Although I had a feeling that this personal inner armor would be something extraordinary, I didn't expect that it was actually made by Kayan using her own scales. Its quality has even reached the heavenly rank level, and even if you try harder, you can touch the saint rank level. But now this inner armor is 68% damaged. It's hard to imagine what kind of impact Kayan has experienced before. Looking at the partially burnt inner armor, Xiao Chen couldn't help but sigh in his heart. Sir, can my inner armor, dot can still be repaired? Across a screen, she sensed that Xiao Chen was staring at her inner armor in a daze, and Kayan couldn't help but ask an embarrassment. This was the first time her underwear had been touched by the opposite sex. Ahem, no problem at all, just leave it to me. Hearing the sudden sound of Kayan, Xiao Chen couldn't help but tremble. Then I realized it. A celestial human realm powerhouse like Kai Yan can sense his actions even without looking at him. Fortunately, I didn't get carried away by the fragrance on my inner armor, and I almost did something indecent on the spot. After suppressing the distracting thoughts in his heart, Xiao Chen also took out something. Blood Jade Monster Stone. This is a relatively special profound rank supreme grade ore that can cover up and confuse the blood aura of living creatures. I didn't expect to find such good things among the trophies. However, the grade of this bloody jade monster stone is still a little weak, and it needs to be upgraded. If not, but there is no way to cover up Kayin's unique snake human aura. As soon as his thoughts fell, Xiao Chen gave the order. Ding! The system has deducted 10,000 points and is upgrading the blood jade monster stone for the host. After consuming 10,000 points, the quality of the blood jade demonic stone was upgraded to a low-grade heavenly rank. Then Xiao Chen didn't hesitate at all, and gave the synthesis command to the system. Ding! The system has deducted 18,000 points and is preparing two materials for the host integrated union. When the system beep sounded again, the dazzling white light shone in the room again. The bloody jade monster stone turned into a ball of liquid and was directly submerged into Kayin's inner armor. Buzz! There was a buzzing sound. Kayin's inner armor burst out with a strange red light, like a beast waking up from its slumber. 
The terrifying aura immediately filled the entire wing, and the screen almost flew out. Fortunately, Kayan had quick hands and quick eyes, and quickly stabilized the screen, so that her figure was not exposed. As expected of the system, as long as the points are given in place, there is no such thing as failure. Looking at the inner armor that has been restored to a brand new condition, the quality has reached heavenly rank supreme grade. Xiao Chen couldn't help but sigh. No matter how powerful a weapon refiner is, there is always a risk of failure as long as the weapon is being refined. But as long as the points in the system are in place, things will definitely transform successfully. This is the abnormality of cheating. Sir, has the inner armor been repaired successfully? When Xiao Chen was feeling emotional, Kai Yan, who was hiding behind the screen, immediately asked with some anxiety. Well, I'm lucky, I got it right in one step. I not only repaired this inner armor for you, but also incorporated a blood jade demonic stone, which is enough to cover up the snake man aura on your body. As long as you don't meet a strong person from the saint realm, even a strong person from the celestial human realm will not be able to tell whether you are a snake or a human from your breath. After hearing Kei Yin's words, Xiao Chen responded with a smile. Immediately afterwards, he caught the inner armor with both hands and was about to send it back. Xiao Chen seemed to have thought of something again, and then continued after a pause. By the way, your lower body has just turned into legs, and you don't have any suitable clothes yet. I just made a few pieces for you by the way, but their quality is not as high as this inner armor. If you don't mind, just wear it first. Finished. Xiao Chen spent some points. I exchanged a few pieces of clothing in the system mall and sent them back behind the screen together with the inner armor. These include three red skirts, some sexy black silk and lace kucha, plus two pairs of high heels and some black safety pants. Chapter 18 Young Master, when you gave me something like this, did you want me to wear it for you? How many more clothes did the young master refine for me? Hearing Xiao Chen's words, Kayan covered her chest at the screen and couldn't help but be stunned for a moment. I didn't expect that the young master would be so considerate. He knew that she didn't have any clothes after she transformed, so he specially helped her make some more. Wrong. She obviously had a red short skirt before she transformed. How could she not have suitable clothes to wear? Could it be that Xiao Chen made her the pants she needs to wear underneath? When these thoughts emerged, Kayan, who was half a beat slow to react, finally woke up. But when her thoughts turned and she felt it was impossible. The red inner armor that had been upgraded by Xiao Chen also fell behind the screen along with several other pieces of clothing. Hardly any second thought. As soon as she received the clothes, Kayan put on the inner armor, which made her feel less embarrassed. This quality. Actually reaches heavenly rank supreme grade? Feeling that this piece of inner armor was transforming, Kayan's body shook violently at this moment. There was even more emotion in his eyes. It took her decades to find the right material to forge this inner armor. I thought that due to the erosion of strange fire, this inner armor was about to be scrapped. Unexpectedly, Xiao Chen not only helped her repair it, but also helped her upgrade it to a low-grade quality. Such selfless dedication, coupled with the help from the front, is truly a blessing. Feeling the warmth of Xiao Chen that seemed to remain on the inner armor, Kei In's usually cold and indifferent heart was warmed. In this life, I will never let you down. After secretly making an oath in her heart, Kayan looked at several other pieces of clothing. Look around. The most eye-catching thing is the two pairs of high heels, which are as beautiful as works of art. Kayan can't help but fall in love with them as soon as she sees them. In her perception, the size of the shoe matched her feet. I think Mr. Xiao must have secretly looked at her after her snake tail turned into legs. Thinking of this, the corner of Kei Yin's mouth curled up slightly. Her transformed legs were perfect. She felt very proud to be able to attract Xiao Chen. But the next moment, when she saw several other items on it, the expression on Kei Yin's face froze instantly. The shyness that was about to fade away came back at this moment, and his face turned slightly red at this moment. These are human underwear. Looking at the lace kachazi that was pulled open in her hand, the area that could be wrapped in front was not as big as the palm of her hand. The most important thing is that this thing is translucent, and there is a snake-shaped pattern on it, which makes Kayin's expression very exciting. Are all human pants so fancy? With such a translucent thing, doesn't wearing it mean that it's not wearing it? Sir, are you? 
Dot are you sure this is wearable? Looking at the lace bitter tea seeds in her hand, Kayin's expression changed, and finally she couldn't help but ask. She was only wearing a skirt, if she were to wear this thing again. If the fighting moves too violently, wouldn't it be possible to lose everything on the spot? Xiao Chen was slightly startled when he heard this, but he immediately came to his senses and quickly explained. Well, the fabric of those lace panties is very soft and skin-friendly. It's very suitable for girls to wear inside. Just wear safety pants outside. Put it on underneath and put on some safety pants? After hearing Xiao Chen's words, Kayan couldn't help but be stunned. He looked at several other pairs of square underwear. These should be the safety pants that Xiao Chen was talking about, right? It doesn't look like it will be exposed, and it does feel very safe. But she has doubts again. Why do you still wear this translucent one underneath? Isn't it better to just wear this pair of safety underwear? You can't show this thing to others when you wear it. It feels like taking off your pants and farting in vain. Could it be that Mr. Xiao gave her this thing because he wanted her to wear it and show it to him in the future? After thinking of this possibility, Kayin's body shook violently. A shy image of Queen Medusa. Miss Kayin, doesn't it fit you? Xiao Chen didn't know what Kayin was thinking about right now. After noticing that there was no movement behind the screen, he coughed dryly and couldn't help but ask. But there shouldn't be any that don't fit. After all, he used the identification function to identify Kayin's measurements. Then exchange it for suitable items from the system mall, which is absolutely the perfect and best ratio for being close to your skin. He is still confident about this. Ah, no. Kayin, who was immersed in random thoughts, was startled by Xiao Chen's question and blurted out the question without thinking. Sir, you gave me something like this, do you want me to wear it for you to see? After saying this, Kayan immediately realized something was wrong and almost died behind the screen again. Damn it. What happened to her today? How could such shameful and unreserved words come out of her mouth? These are not words that the Queen of the Snake Tribe can say. Will young Master Xiao mistakenly think that she is actually cold on the surface, but secretly she is a slut who likes to seduce men? Not only Kayan cried because of her stupidity, but even Xiao Chen was shocked when he heard this. Has the favorability level increased so drastically? Kayan actually wants to show him wearing lace underwear. Is this something he can observe at this stage? Damn it. Happiness comes too suddenly. Should he accept it tactfully, or accept it hard to get? I'm not sure how to answer this. It all depends on the queen herself. After a moment of silence, Xiao Chen coughed dryly and replied calmly. This problem, to say he didn't want to see it would be so false. To say that he really wanted to see it was too tasteless. So throwing the question back to Kayan to decide for herself is the most correct emergency response. Sir, I will go back and restore my cultivation first. Xiao Chen's words had just finished, and Kayan couldn't hold herself any longer. He rushed out of the wing with his clothes in his arms and returned to his own room to stabilize his mood. The force of the strong wind along the way almost blew Xiao Chen away. As this, Shy? Xiao Chen quickly stabilized his body and looked at the messy side room. The corner of his mouth couldn't help but curl up. It is unimaginable that the feared Queen Medusa could sometimes be as shy as a little girl. Sure enough, no matter how cold and indifferent a woman looks on the outside, there is another side that the world doesn't know. This is a good performance. If they are charming enough, their relationship will naturally continue to heat up. By then, it doesn't seem impossible to capture this Medusa queen. It's a pity that I didn't see Kayan wearing black stockings. It seems I can only appreciate it later. After muttering expectantly, Xiao Chen suppressed the restlessness in his heart and immediately opened the properties panel. After solving the problem of the Xiao family's heritage and Kayan, it's time to improve his own cultivation. Chapter 19 Crazy Drug Use to Break Through This is the Horror of Cheating. Host Xiao Chen Physique. Innate Tao Body Cultivation. Third Level of Spiritual Aperture. Kung Fu. The Technique of Creating the Universe Divine Ability. Heavenly Demon Shadowless Step. Coiling Dragon Fist. Ba Wang Jin. Diamond Kung Fu. Points. 16,132. There are more than 16,000 points left. These points are really free. After glancing at the properties panel, Xiao Chen couldn't help but sigh. Half a day ago. Killing Lin Shang'an, a strong man in the Grotto Heaven Realm, 
and destroying the Wang Lin family, plus some of the Xiao family's inventory, allowed his points to break through the 70,000 mark. Unexpectedly, after the operation just now, there are only more than 16,000 points left. It seems that it is urgent to speed up the collection of resources. When the thought falls, Xiao Chen did not spend points to exchange for treasures in the mall, but instead took out some elixirs. Ling Yuan Dan, a common rank 3 elixir that can greatly increase the cultivation speed of spiritual aperture realm monks. Even a low grade Ling Yuan pill with rank 3 can save a monk in the spiritual aperture realm from a month of hard training. If it were a rank 3 supreme grade Ling Yuan Dan, just one of it would be equivalent to half a year of hard work for a monk in the spiritual aperture realm. It's just that the refining of this Ling Yuan pill requires extremely strict fire conditions. Even among some powerful earth rank alchemists, few can refine supreme grade Ling Yuan Dan. And heavenly rank alchemists disdain to refine this kind of elixir, so supreme grade Ling Yuan elixir is also very rare on the market. Each one was sold to 5000 spirit crystals enough to buy a profound rank middle grade spirit weapon. What Xiao Chen is holding at this time? All of them are relatively common low grade spiritual essence pills, resources obtained after the destruction of the two families. There are 138 in total, and the Xiao family has retained 38 as a cultivation resource for the clan members. The remaining 100 are left to Xiao Chen to handle on his own. Although low grade Ling Yuan Dan can improve your cultivation, there are some impurities remaining inside because the refining is not perfect. If you take it for a long time, it will be more difficult to break through when you reach the late stage. Looking at the pills in front of him, Xiao Chen did not choose to take them. After thinking for a moment, he asked immediately. System. How many points does it cost to upgrade Ling Yuan pill from low grade to supreme grade? Ding. After testing by the system, it costs 200 points to upgrade one. After Xiao Chen finished speaking, the system responded. One requires 200 points. Xiao Chen's eyes lit up slightly when he heard the answer given by the system. This consumption is within the range he can accept. But with the points he has left now, he can't upgrade all the elixirs. System, help me upgrade 80 Lingyuan pills. When the thought came to an end, Xiao Chen immediately ordered. Naturally, the resources he uses for cultivation must be the best. As for the extra Lingyuan pills, they can be given to the Xiao family for sale. Turn it into liquid funds and then use it to purchase other supplies, thereby recycling it into points. After all, items that have been repaired or upgraded by the system will not be recovered and converted into points by the system. This also made Xiao Chen, who originally wanted to get stuck, have no choice but to give up the idea of not taking the usual path. Ding! The system has deducted 16,000 points and is upgrading 80 Lingyuan pills for the host. As the system beep sounded again, a burst of bright light erupted in the room. Among the 100 Lingyuan pills placed in front of Xiao Chen, 80 were undergoing transformation in the light. The surface of the elixir, which originally had some flaws, now becomes as crystal clear as jade, and you can even see a series of elixir lines. This is proof that the quality of the elixir reaches supreme grade and there are no impurities inside. A strong fragrance of elixir filled the room, making Xiao Chen's body tremble. Just the fragrance of these elixirs made his body's cultivation level increase. If you take these pills, your cultivation level will undoubtedly skyrocket. One supreme grade Lingyuan pill can be sold for 5,000 spirit crystals, and 80 supreme grade Lingyuan pills are worth 400,000 spirit crystals. This is enough to buy most of the Xiao family. Looking at the 80 supreme grade Lingyuan pills floating in front of me, each one is like a bright star in the night sky, and is simply different from the other 20 Lingyuan pills. This made Xiao Chen couldn't help but sigh. If there are 400,000 spiritual crystals, the resources that can be collected can be exchanged for at least 40,000 to 50,000 points. In addition to the points he consumes for upgrading, he may still earn 20,000 to 30,000 points. With such repeated operations, his points will increase and increase. This is the horror of cheating. Let's improve our cultivation first. Otherwise, if we use too many supreme grade resources in the future and don't have the corresponding strength, we will probably be destroying ourselves. When the thought fell, Xiao Chen did not hesitate at all. 
He immediately took a supreme-grade Lingyuan pill and started refining the pill to crazily improve his cultivation level. The other side. Tiandu City, Lin family. Master, something serious has happened. Half a day after Wang Lin's family was destroyed, a man ran into the inner courtyard in a panic and went directly to the study of the head of the family, Lin Yao. We received a piece of information. The Xiao family of Li Yun City, who had a grudge against young master Lin Feng, suddenly wiped out the other two major families in Li Yun City. Even the city lord's palace did not dare to stop them. It seems that there is a mysterious and powerful person helping behind the Xiao family. What? After hearing what the visitor reported, the brush in Lin Yao's hand shook violently, and he quickly raised his head. Can you know the details? For some reason, after asking this question, he felt uneasy in his heart. Two days ago, his father Lin Shang'an suddenly left the country and disappeared after learning about the Xiao family. He probably went to Li Yun City secretly. And now, something unexpected happened in Li Yun City. Could it be related to his father Lin Shang'an? The information passed was not very detailed. I only know that there are strong men from the Grotto Heaven Realm and above in the Xiao family who are fighting. In the end, the Xiao family seems to have killed the powerful enemy and also destroyed the other two major families. Damn, there is such a thing. When he heard that the Xiao family had killed a powerful enemy, Lin Yao's pupils shrank violently and he became even more uneasy. Could this so-called powerful enemy be his father? No, I have to meet the other two supreme elders and ask them to go to Li Yun City to find out what's going on. When the thoughts fall in my mind, Lin Yao walked out of the study with a gloomy face and walked into the depths of the Lin family's ancestral temple. Time seemed to fly by, and two and a half days passed by in a flash. As Xiao Chen refined the tenth supreme grade spiritual essence pill, an extremely powerful aura erupted from his body. In just two and a half days, in this kind of crazy drug-taking practice, his cultivation level broke through to the seventh level of spiritual aperture which was a full four small levels higher than before. Although his cultivation has improved, he lacks actual combat experience. It seems that we need to find opportunities to hone ourselves in actual combat before we can fully utilize this strength. Feeling the surge of cultivation in his body, Xiao Chen murmured with twinkling eyes. If he blindly pursues cultivation and ignores actual combat skills, even if he has strong cultivation in the future, it will only be superficial. By the way, Kayan is a strong person in the celestial human realm. If she is used as a sparring partner, her actual combat experience will not increase by leaps and bounds. As his thoughts turned around, Xiao Chen's eyes couldn't help but light up. Kayan was the top expert in the seven dynasties of the Eastern Wasteland, and she had experienced countless fights in her life. If he could compete with such a strong person, his progress would undoubtedly be the fastest. What's more, there will inevitably be physical collisions during sparring, which is a great opportunity to enhance feelings. With a plan in mind, Xiao Chen immediately walked out of the wing. Chapter 20 Young Master, Yun Shi wants to stay and help you bathe. Master, you are finally out of seclusion. Xiao Chen just opened the door. He saw Yun Shi standing pretty outside the door, which made a look of astonishment appear on his face. Have you been keeping watch here? Hearing Yun Zai's surprised words and seeing the other party's tired look, Xiao Chen asked in surprise. Could it be that something happened to the Xiao family again in the past two days? The head of the family said that he should pay close attention to the safety of the young master to prevent any accidents when the young master is in seclusion, so Yun Shi will stay outside the young master's room. Yun Shi replied with some embarrassment, looking at Xiao Chen with admiration and respect. Because of the young master's presence, the Xiao family was not only able to turn all kinds of dangers into good fortune, but also dominated the entire Li Yun city. Even the city lord's mansion now depends on the Xiao family's expression. As Xiao Chen's personal maid, her status in the Xiao family has also increased, which makes Yun Shi feel very grateful. Silly girl, the young master is practicing in seclusion in his own family. What accident could happen suddenly? Xiao Chen smiled lightly when he heard this and rubbed Yun Zai's head. Prepare some bath water, and then go back and rest. Feeling Xiao Chen's gentle movements, Yun Shi smiled sweetly and immediately went to work. Not long after, Yun Shi prepared the bath water, and Xiao Chen immediately walked into the side room. 
Okay, let's go back and rest first. Looking at the bath water dotted with petals, Xiao Chen showed a satisfied smile and immediately signaled to Yun Shi that he could go out. Master, Yun Shi wants to stay and help you bathe. After hearing Xiao Chen call her out as before, Yun Shi suddenly plucked up the courage to speak after a moment of silence. What? When Xiao Chen heard this, he staggered and almost fell to the ground. Young master is used to washing alone, you should go back and rest first. Xiao Chen turned around helplessly and said in an awkward voice. Although Yun Shi is relatively mature, her body has grown even at the age of 16. That plump and round body is inferior to Kayan. The reset version of Yun Zai's illustration was also made by the author. As for why the head has bunny ears, it's also a hint. The original picture is posted in the comment area. But the other person is still a little young after all. How can you help him bathe? Master, Yun Shi knows that you have always regarded me as your sister, and you have only asked me to do simple things. But Yun Shi is the young master's personal maid after all. It is her duty to wait for the young master to bathe and change clothes. Please also ask the young master not to treat Yun Shi as a younger sister. After being rejected by Xiao Chen, Yun Zai's eyes became misty and she spoke in an unusually serious voice. From small to large, Xiao Chen has always treated her as a younger sister, not because she was picked up. He was arrogant and domineering towards her and did some extraordinary things. But she is a maid after all, and even because of physical problems, she cannot practice like ordinary people. So Yun Shi has always been eager to do something for Xiao Chen, even if it is washing feet, warming the bed, bathing and changing clothes. If not, when Xiao Chen gradually became stronger and began to leave the Xiao family in Li Yun City, she was not even qualified to follow him. Silly girl, I'm not happy to treat you as my sister, do you have to be a lower class maid? Xiao Chen could only smile dumbly when he heard this, and rubbed the other person's head helplessly. Others don't want to be maids and slaves, but this girl does the opposite. She just wants him to treat her as a maid? Could it be that Yun Shi has a tendency to abuse maids? Because only by being a maid can you really serve the young master well. Can you help him wash his feet, bathe, change clothes, and even warm the bed? Hearing this, Yun Shi finally plucked up the courage and spoke with a blushing face almost choking Xiao Chen to death on the spot. You girl, you are really a brat. Why are you so entangled in these issues all of a sudden? After taking a deep breath to suppress the surprise in his heart, Xiao Chen looked at the silly girl helplessly. Could it be that the other party has just started to fall in love with him as a young master? Master, I am no longer young. Hearing this, Yun Shi seemed to be stimulated and subconsciously puffed up her proud chest. Although Yun Shi is still not as good as that big sister Medusa, as long as Yun Shi is given a little more time to develop, Yun Shi is confident that she will not lose to that big sister. Hearing Yun Zai's nonsensical remarks, Xiao Chen immediately understood what was going on. After Kayan appeared beside him, the girl felt a strong sense of crisis. She thought that in the future, in order to please Kayan, he would kick her out as a maid. That's why I was anxious to express myself so that I could always follow him. It's really a little girl mentality. Well, the young master knows that you are afraid that if there are other outstanding women around me, you will no longer be needed as a personal maid, and he will drive you away ruthlessly. I really think too much. As he spoke, Xiao Chen scratched Yun Zai's nose and continued speaking in a very gentle voice. Don't worry, the young master is not a heartless and unjust person. As long as you are still willing to stay with me, I will not drive you away in the future. As a veteran who has been working in the factory for two and a half years, he is not some ignorant idiot. Although he's not so vulgar that he can't walk when he sees a woman, he's not so cerebral that he sends the women around him away. Yun Shi is his personal maid, and she is also a stunning beauty. How could she be handed over to someone else in the future? Of course, he wouldn't let a cold and aloof lady like Medusa slip away. If he had to choose between the two, his choice would undoubtedly be to have both. After all, as a low-level person in my previous life, I could only humbly envy others. Now transmigrated to another world and awakened Goldfinger. If you are not satisfied with your life, your head will definitely be pecked by Kun. Master. After Xiao Chen revealed her thoughts, Yun Shi suddenly looked embarrassed and almost buried her head in her arms. 
Yun Shi has no intention of competing with Sister Medusa for favor. She just wants to continue to stay with the young master in the future. She is just a maid. Although she is somewhat pretty, she knows her position very well. Whoever Xiao Chen likes is the other person's freedom. As long as the other person doesn't drive her away, she won't be stupid enough to compete for his favor. The young master knows that he will not drive you away in the future, can you rest assured now? Looking at the naive and somewhat immature face, Xiao Chen rubbed the other person's head again and comforted him. But master, Yun Shi still wants to help you bathe and change clothes, and do what a maid should do. Just satisfy Yun Zai's request. Feeling the warmth from Xiao Chen's big hand, Yun Shi raised her head and said a little stubbornly. As a qualified personal maid, how could she let the young master take a bath by himself? This is definitely a dereliction of duty on her part. She had never had the courage to speak before, but now she wanted to speak for herself. What a stubborn girl. Xiao Chen shook his head helplessly when he heard this, and finally gave up the idea of continuing to dissuade him. Since you insist so much, let's come in together, but don't be scared out later. After saying something jokingly, Xiao Chen turned around to take off his clothes and take a shower. But when he turned around, he glanced at Yun Shi. Some people were curious and used the identification function to see why this girl couldn't practice. But it was this glance that stunned him. His pupils shrank even more violently, with a look of disbelief on his face. Chapter 21 If you had an invincible background, what would you want to do? The emperor's daughter who was accidentally lost by the Wang Yue ancient clan cannot practice normally until the seal is released because of the bloodline seal in her body. Once the seal is lifted, you will be blessed by the moon god, awaken the bloodline of the desolate moon demon cloud rabbit, and your strength will increase by leaps and bounds. Even when encountering a life or death crisis, the bloodline seal will erupt in a devastating attack, enough to obliterate the strong men in the ninth level of heaven and man. Hiss, looking at the information that appeared in front of him, Xiao Chen took a sharp breath. Although he didn't know what the Wang Yue ancient clan was, just the word, emperor, made Xiao Chen feel suffocated. What is? An imperial daughter? That is a title that can only be given to a descendant whose father or mother is a powerful person in the emperor realm. Almost as soon as they were born, this type of people stood at the top of the Kanglin world, regardless of talent or background. With the support behind you, it just takes a little effort. You can reach a height that ordinary people cannot reach in their lifetime. I thought that this kind of evil person would not have contact with him now. But Xiao Chen never expected that the naive maid in front of him would be the emperor's daughter of an ancient tribe? Isn't this god's joke too big? Master, what's wrong with you? Seeing Xiao Chen's sudden look of shock and disbelief, Yun Shi raised his head nervously and asked timidly. I thought she had suddenly offended the other party. Nothing, seeing Yun Zai's timid look, Xiao Chen came back to his senses and continued with his eyes twinkling. Yun Shi, the young master wants to ask you a question. If you find out in the future that you can not only practice, but also easily surpass all your peers and reach a height of cultivation that even the head of the family cannot reach. It even has the most apex level background in the world, and can overthrow the seven dynasties of the eastern wasteland in a single thought. Until then, what do you want to do? At the end of the sentence, Xiao Chen's voice became very low, even vaguely solemn. Yun Shi is now just a maid beside him, which is far different from her true identity. If her seal is lifted one day, she will know that she is a high-ranking emperor's daughter. I don't know if it's because of the psychological contrast that I felt that my previous identity was a shame, so I went dark and wanted to erase this stain. If that's the case, then the Xiao family will be in danger. Has the most apex level background in the world? Has your cultivation level reached a very high level? Hearing such a strange question from Xiao Chen, Yun Shi couldn't help but be stunned for a moment, tilted her head and thought seriously, and then replied with a serious face. Well, Yun Shi will still be the young master's maid. I will beat anyone who dares to go against the young master. Xiao Chen's lips twitched when he heard this, and he continued angrily. If you have an invincible background and are far more powerful than the young master, how can you be willing to continue to be a maid? Some people will remember the goodness of others when they are humble, just because they have never reached the height of others. You need to rely on others to help you live a better life. 
But once the status, status and strength far surpass the opponents, the mentality will also change. She would even wish to trample under her feet those who once had pressure on her, and make these people treat her in a more humble manner like she once did. Xiao Chen has been working in the factory for two and a half years and has seen many similar things. No one is willing to rely on others. This is the truest aspect of human nature. Why aren't you willing to continue being a maid? After Yun Shi was silent for a while, she raised her head and said seriously. Since Yun Shi can remember, she has never been accompanied by her relatives. She picks up food on the street every day and is often kicked out by others. It snowed heavily that year. If the young master hadn't given me a sesame seed cake, Yun Shi would have probably starved to death on the street. So Yun Shi once secretly swore that from now on, as long as the young master does not dislike me, Yun Shi will serve the young master for the rest of his life. At the end, Yun Zai's eyes became misty as if she was remembering the sad things in the past. Both hands subconsciously grabbed Xiao Chen's clothes. Just like when Xiao Chen gave her a piece of sesame seed cake and was about to leave, she grabbed him tightly. The words were not very loud, but Xiao Chen suddenly trembled, and the scene from that year also appeared in his mind. It's snowing heavily. A little girl of five or six years old was lying in front of Xiao's house. She was dirty and looked like a little beggar that no one wanted. When he went out to play in the snow and saw how pitiful the other party was, he ran back to Xiao's house and brought a sesame seed cake to the other party, and asked Xiao Zan to take Yun Shi by his side as a maid. From then on, even though Yun Shi is two years younger than him, she still rushes to help him with work every day. But no one expected that this seemingly miserable little girl would have a mysterious origin behind her. Master, when you say this, do you want to drive me away? When Xiao Chen dug up his past memories, Yun Shi raised her head pitifully, with tears already welling up in her eyes. There is no such thing as a simple if in this world, it is usually paving the way for something. Although she is still young, she also understands this truth. There must be some meaning behind Xiao Chen's words, and he was probably trying to trick her away from him. Hey, don't cry. I didn't say that I would drive you away, so don't overthink it. Seeing that Yun Shi was about to cry in the next second, Xiao Chen helplessly touched her head. It is unimaginable that this maid who is always ready to cry can actually crush anyone in the eastern wasteland. What the young master really wants to tell you is. You can't practice now just because your physique has not yet awakened. Once awakened, you will be completely transformed. At that time, your fate will also change accordingly. Maybe some clan members will come to pick you up. But no matter what changes happen in the future, remember not to regard the past when you were humble as the humiliation of your life just because of the change in status. Xiao Chen can only take precautions against anything that may happen in the future at Lenovo. This allows Yun Shi to be mentally prepared, so that if her identity changes in the future, she won't have difficulty accepting the past for a while. Master, what on earth are you talking about? What kind of physique has not yet awakened? And what kind of clansmen will come to pick me up? You said it makes Yun Shi so scared. Listening to Xiao Chen's incomprehensible words, Yun Shi grabbed Xiao Chen nervously again, fearing that he would be driven away as soon as he let go. Yun Shi has been living on the streets since he was a child. Only the young master would feel sorry for me. So in Yun Zai's heart, the young master is the person closest to me, and the people of the Xiao family are my clansmen. No matter what happens in the future, Yun Shi will never leave the young master. After saying that, Yun Shi showed a determined look on her face, seeming to express her determination. Well, master believes in you. Seeing this silly girl looking at him, Xiao Chen couldn't help but reach out and rub her head. This girl looks straight-minded, so she shouldn't be a white-eyed wolf. However, it is too early to think about this now, and there is no telling what will happen in the future. Not to mention, he has a cheat. Even if Yun Zai's bloodline awakens in the future, he will still have the ability to solve all this. After the thought came to an end, Xiao Chen turned around and took off his clothes without thinking too much. Then, amidst Yun Zai's exclamations, he entered the bathtub and took a bath. Chapter 22 The Lin family in Tiandu City, they can't make a difference. Inside the wing, the fog was hazy. Xiao Chen soaked in the bathtub with a contented look on his face, lazily enjoying Yun Shi rubbing his back. And in this hazy mist, Yun Zai's little face turned red, almost dripping with blood. 
A pair of eyes were tightly closed, looking very shy and embarrassed. It seemed that if she accidentally saw Xiao Chen in front of her, her blood would surge and she would faint on the spot. Okay, if you rub my back like this, my hair will almost disappear. Feeling Yun Shi rubbing her head, Xiao Chen said helplessly in the bathtub. Ah, I'm sorry, master, am I too stupid? Hearing Xiao Chen's casual teasing, Yun Shi apologized in embarrassment. But when she opened her eyes and saw Xiao Chen's naked upper body, her pretty face turned red to her neck. This was the first time she had served Xiao Chen to take a bath, and her heart was beating so fast that it felt like it was about to explode. Just kidding. You have done a good job. Let's stop taking a bath this time. I want to get up and get dressed. Hearing the uneasy look in Yun Zai's voice, Xiao Chen sighed helplessly and stood up from the bath after speaking. This girl is good at everything, but a little humble. If it weren't for the identity of the other party, but the result of the identification, Xiao Chen wouldn't believe that she was an emperor's daughter. Ah, Yun Shi, who had not yet reacted, saw Xiao Chen standing up suddenly and screamed in fright. The whole person was like a steam pot, with hot steam coming out all of a sudden, and two nosebleeds spurted out suddenly. Oh, you are really a dishonest person who loves to show off your strength. Feeling the movement behind him, Xiao Chen sighed helplessly. It was just a back view, and this girl had a nosebleed. If he turned around, wouldn't he faint on the spot? In desperation, Xiao Chen turned his back to Yun Shi, put on his clothes while waving his hands, and then turned around. Only then did I discover. Yun Zai's face was so red that it almost bled, and her eyes seemed a little dull, as if she was still immersed in the scene just now. Are you okay? Seeing the nosebleed dripping to the ground, Xiao Chen asked with a half smile. Ah, master, I'm fine. After hearing Xiao Chen's question, Yun Shi finally came back to her senses. After exclaiming, she quickly wiped her nose. He directly wiped his mouth full of nosebleeds. Take care of yourself and don't be brave next time. Seeing Yun Zai's embarrassed look, Xiao Chen rubbed Yun Zai's head, then turned around and walked out of the room. He didn't forget business. It is better to hand over the Senluo blood prison array to Xiao Zan first and recover the resources collected by the Xiao family in the past two days. And Yun Zai's secret can also be mentioned. However, it is not certain when the other party's seal will be lifted, so there is currently no way to deal with it. Come to the meeting hall. Only then did Xiao Chen realize that Xiao Zan, Xiao Mingyi and others were there. They all looked solemn and seemed to be discussing something. What happened? Feeling that something was not right about the atmosphere, Xiao Chen took the initiative to ask as he entered the hall. Chenner, Xiao Chen, you are finally released from seclusion. Seeing Xiao Chen's appearance, everyone looked happy and quickly stood up to greet him. Xiao Mingyi also opened his mouth to explain at this time. On the second day of your seclusion, Queen Medusa also went into seclusion like you. She said she wanted to recover her fallen cultivation. She told us not to disturb her if nothing happened. And within these two days, there are many suspicious people around the Xiao family. It seems that someone is monitoring the Xiao family's actions. Speaking of this, Xiao Mingyi's voice became a little solemn. A few of us suspect that these are the spies of the Lin family in Tiandu City. They should want to find out the details of the Xiao family so that they can launch some kind of action against the Xiao family. So we old guys suspect that the strong men from the Lin family in Tiandu City are already on their way. Maybe it will come to Liyun City in the next two days. And Queen Medusa is now practicing in seclusion, so we must take countermeasures in advance. After saying that, Xiao Zan and others nodded solemnly, but Xiao Chen smiled dumbly at this time. It's just the Lin family in Tiandu City, they can't make a difference. With that said, Xiao Chen took out the Senluo blood prison formation disc and continued in a nonchalant voice. With this array, even if the Lin family in Tiandu City invites the powerful Taiyi sword sect to take action, our Xiao family will still have the ability to kill the invading powerful enemies. Array disc? After hearing Xiao Chen's words, the eyes of Xiao Zan and others instantly fell on the formation disc. Is this an earth rank array? Earth rank formation disc. Even the lowest earth rank array can erupt with terrifying power, enough to threaten the strong men of Grotto Heaven Realm. If it is an earth rank high grade or earth rank supreme grade formation disc, 
the power of the formation when fully deployed can even severely injure or kill Nirvana realm experts. Seeing how confident Xiao Chen looks, could this be the Earth Rank Supreme Great Array? Thinking of this, Xiao Zan, Xiao Mingyi and others were shocked, and their faces showed joy. This is not the Earth Rank Array. Xiao Chen smiled faintly when he heard the words. When Xiao Zan heard the words, he was a little stunned and seemed to have thought of something. He nodded and continued. Yes, this is a heavenly rank array disc, and it is also heavenly rank supreme grade. If the power of its formation explodes with all its strength, it will be enough to seriously injure or kill the celestial human realm strong man. Wah! What? After hearing Xiao Chen's words, Xiao Zan, Xiao Mingyi and others all took a sharp breath, almost weakened and fell to their knees in front of Xiao Chen. Heavenly rank supreme grade lineup. Enough to seriously injure or kill the celestial human realm strong man. These two sets of keywords kept echoing in their minds, making their brains buzz with blood and almost explode. Celestial human realm strong man. This is the top powerhouse of the seven dynasties in the eastern wasteland, a terrifying existence that can destroy the Xiao family in a snap. Even stomping his feet can make the great Qian dynasty tremble three times, making him almost invincible in their eyes. And the formation disc in Xiao Chen's hand can actually kill the strong celestial human realm? This is undoubtedly a divine weapon to them. Although this array has the ability to severely injure or kill powerful people in the celestial human realm, whether it can do it depends on the cultivation level of the caster. Unable to unleash the full power of the array, I can only take a beating against the powerful celestial human realm. Seeing that Xiao Zan and others were so shocked that their legs were weak, Xiao Chen was afraid that their confidence would be inflated. He hurriedly said a few words of caution. You need to be strong to make iron. We all understand this. You guys don't have to worry about us old guys getting carried away. When Xiao Zan heard this, he waved his hand and smiled happily. Although with the current cultivation level of my father and elders, controlling this array cannot compete with the powerful celestial human realm. But it's more than enough to deal with some grotto heaven realm or nirvana realm experts. After seeing a few people calm down, Xiao Chen said a few words with a slight smile. Then he explained the use of Senluo blood prison formation to Xiao Zan, Xiao Mingyi and others. Of course, when Xiao Zan and others asked how they got this array disc, Xiao Chen only said that the cheap master gave it to him. By the way, these supreme grade spiritual essence pills were refined by me in seclusion for the past two days. You can take them and exchange them for spiritual crystals, which can be used to purchase more resources. After explaining how to use the Senluo blood prison formation disc, Xiao Chen took out the remaining supreme grade Lingyuan pill. Supreme grade Lingyuan Dan? Xiao Chen, you can actually make elixirs? After hearing Xiao Chen's words, Xiao Zan and others were surprised, and their eyes fell on the pill bottles. With so many pill bottles, how many have you refined? The supreme grade Lingyuan pill is very difficult to refine. Even an earth rank alchemy master needs a bit of luck to refine it. And Xiao Chen actually took out nearly 10 alchemy bottles. Could it be that the other party successfully refined nearly 10 elixirs? Not a lot. In addition to what I have used for practice in the past two days, there are still 60 supreme grade Lingyuan pills left. Seeing several pairs of eyes staring at him, Xiao Chen smiled lightly and said indifferently. Chapter 23 Xiao Chen don't let the wealth go to outsiders, otherwise, I'll take your sister Linger under my wing. Hiss, 6. 60 Supreme Grade Spiritual Essence Pills? Hearing Xiao Chen's understatement about how many pills there were, Xiao Zan, Xiao Mingyi and others took a sharp breath, and their legs almost went weak and they knelt in front of Xiao Chen on the spot. You must know that in the pill market of Liyuan City, you may not see a Supreme Grade Lingyuan pill for several years. Once you show up, you will be robbed. A supreme grade spiritual essence pill cannot be purchased without 5,000 spirit crystals. And Xiao Chen actually took out 60 supreme grade spiritual essence pills in one go. This was a cultivation resource worth hundreds of thousands of spirit crystals, enough to make all the chambers of commerce in Liyuan City a sensation. Really? Dot all are supreme grade Ling Yuan Dan, in disbelief, Xiao Zan, Xiao Mingyi and others. They all took the elixir bottle tremblingly, then opened the bottle and took a sip, then raised their heads and looked at Xiao Chen with trembling eyes. 
You really made this all? It's not that Xiao Zan and others want to doubt Xiao Chen, but this matter is really ridiculous. Refining elixirs is very cumbersome. Even a heavenly rank alchemist cannot do it if he wants to refine 60 supreme grade spiritual essence pills in two days. Furthermore, there is no alchemy furnace in Xiao Chen's wing, nor is there a large amount of matching medicinal materials. How did he refine so many supreme grade Lingyuan pills? Could it be? While their thoughts were turning, several people couldn't help but look at each other as if they had thought of something. Only then did they remember. Two days ago, I gave Xiao Chen 100 low-grade Lingyuan pills. Are these Lingyuan pills made from those pills? Yes, just as you guessed, this is purified and refined from that batch of low-grade Lingyuan Dan. Seeing the guessing expressions on several people's faces, Xiao Chen also smiled and nodded. Hiss, Xiao Chen actually has such ability, he is really the lucky star of my Xiao family. When Xiao Zan and others heard this, they took another deep breath, with expressions of ecstasy and excitement on their faces. Unexpectedly, Xiao Chen can not only help people cleanse their marrow and cut their pulses, but now he can even purify and refine elixirs twice. Not even a heavenly rank alchemist can be so perverted. In the future, if Xiao Chen is here in the Xiao family, how can there be no supreme grade elixir? Well, you guys don't get too happy too early. This will also consume a lot of resources. If there are no other resources to support it, I will not be able to purify any elixir. Looking at these people, Xiao Chen couldn't help but feel longing in his heart. Xiao Chen could only helplessly pour a basin of cold water on them. Ha ha ha, we all understand. After hearing Xiao Chen say these two words, Xiao Zan and others laughed, and then handed over a space ring. These are the various resources and items we have purchased from major chambers of commerce in the past two days, including the remaining weapons, monsters, nuclear waste pills, etc. A total of 470,000 spiritual crystals were spent. This should be helpful to you. 470,000 spiritual crystals? Hearing Xiao Zan's words, Xiao Chen's eyes lit up. Without any politeness or pretense, he took the space ring. 470,000 spiritual crystals. This should be a huge amount of wealth that can only be collected after wiping out Wang Lin's family and using the Xiao family's own liquidity. He didn't expect that the Xiao family would spend all their resources to acquire resources. This selfless approach surprised him a bit. As the spiritual sense penetrates into the space ring, various resources and items pile up. Whether it is residual soldiers, discarded elixirs, demon cores, residual medicine, etc., or even the corpses and horns of some monster beasts, traces can be found in the space ring. If it were released, I'm afraid it would pile up like a mountain. This is worth at least tens of thousands of points. After a rough evaluation in his mind, Xiao Chen immediately issued the recycling order. Ding! The system has recovered all resource items, with a total value of 73,534 points. There are more than 70,000 points. Xiao Chen felt a little surprised when he heard the prompt from the system. It seems that there should be many good things in this batch of items. Otherwise, resources worth more than 400,000 spiritual crystals should not reach such a high score. With this wave of points in his account, he can upgrade the elixir again. When the thought came to an end, Xiao Chen mentioned this matter. What? Do you want to help us purify the elixir? Xiao Zan, Xiao Mingyi and others looked ecstatic when they heard that Xiao Chen took the initiative to mention this matter. Well, you can find a way to buy some elixirs for cultivation, or elixirs for breaking through the realm. As long as the elixirs reach low grade. As long as I have enough resources, I can purify it into supreme grade elixir. By then, you will be able to use these pills to quickly improve your cultivation or achieve breakthroughs, and the safety of the Xiao family will be more secure. Xiao Chen nodded and immediately replied. Ha ha ha, you are worthy of being a descendant of our Xiao family. This character is really beyond words. Xiao Mingyi said with a happy smile on his face when he saw that Xiao Chen did not hide his clumsiness at all and spared no effort to devote himself to the family. He even wanted to ask Xiao Zan to abdicate on the spot and directly let Xiao Chen be the head of the Xiao family. By the way, I almost forgot something important. When Xiao Mingyi was sighing, the second elder Xiao Qishang on the side suddenly slapped his thigh fiercely. Then he ran up to Xiao Chen and grabbed the other person's wrist with excitement. 
Xiao Chen, you are so outstanding both in appearance and talent. The children you will give birth to in the future will definitely be good ones. As the saying goes, good news should not go to outsiders. How about? Don't you take your sister Ling'er? Puff. Hearing Xiao Qishang's words, Xiao Chen almost spit out a mouthful of blood. What kind of brain circuit is this? Because his appearance and talent are so good, you suggested that he take Xiao Ling'er in? Xiao Lauer, you are shameless. Even your own daughter is extrapolated, aren't you afraid that girl will rebel? Xiao Mingyi and Xiao Delong on the side both shouted with wide eyes. He was obviously shocked by Xiao Qishang's idea. She dares. Xiao Chen is so outstanding and sensible. If she can warm Xiao Chen's bed and give birth to a baby, it will definitely be the greatest honor in her life. After hearing the words of Xiao Mingyi and Xiao Delong, Xiao Qishang immediately blew his beard and stared. Besides, although we are both members of the Xiao family, my lineage and Xiao Chen's have been separated by several generations, and we have long been estranged in terms of bloodline. It's better to take this opportunity to get married. Maybe it can make the Xiao family's bloodline even better. It has been hundreds of years since the Xiao family was founded, and many of the descendants are now more than ten generations apart. Even marriages of the same clan cannot be considered incest. Therefore, instead of asking Xiao Chen to find a few more foreign women, it would be better to find a few women from the Xiao family from another generation. On the contrary, it can avoid some family struggles and be more conducive to safeguarding the interests of the Xiao family. Hiss. I suddenly think this idea is feasible. After Xiao Qishang's fallacy, Xiao Mingyi and Xiao Delong's eyes lit up. Why didn't they think of this? Instead of taking advantage of foreign women, it would be better to take advantage of good girls from their own family. With the talent and qualifications Xiao Chen has shown, even if she works as a concubine next to her in the future, she will still get unimaginable opportunities. By then, they will be able to have very outstanding descendants, and even their grandchildren will be proud of themselves. Ha ha ha, Xiao Chen, what the second elder said makes sense. What do you think of my girl? She looks even more graceful than her mother, and her bloodline is six or seven generations away from yours. If you two get married, it will be perfect. When the thought falls, Xiao Mingyi was also proud of Wang Po's selling melons, and he came to Xiao Chen with excitement and promoted. Damn it, I don't have a daughter, so I can't take advantage. Xiao Delong, the third elder on the side, was very depressed when he saw this scene. He only had three useless sons, which made him feel very lucky in the past. With three consecutive children being male, his lineage is expected to flourish. But now he is so depressed that he can't say anything about such a good thing. Is it possible to make a reservation first and then he can go back and try to have a baby? Chapter 24 How could such a young kid reach the seventh level of spiritual aperture? He watched Xiao Mingyi and Xiao Qishang, one on the left and the other on the right, selling their daughters to him. The corner of Xiao Chen's mouth couldn't help but twitch a few times, with a look of helplessness on his face. The eldest elder's daughter is named Xiao Meyer. She is two years older than him. She looks like a royal sister, but her temper is a bit hotter. Regardless of body shape or appearance, except for supreme grade like Kayan, few people can beat her. The second elder's daughter is named Xiao Ling'er, who is also two years older than him. She has a soft, cute and pure face, and she has a girl next door feel. Except for being slightly smaller in stature, she was no worse than Xiao Meyer in other aspects, and her breasts were even bigger than hers. No matter where he goes in Liyan City, he can attract many people to look back. Even the previous owner was often attracted to him. If Xiao Meyer and Xiao Ling'er knew that they were being promoted by their father, they would probably be so embarrassed that they would want to kill each other for justice. Every member of the Xiao family will be killed without mercy. Just when Xiao Chen was about to politely refuse, an old voice sounded coldly. Immediately afterwards, as a ray of light fell into the Xiao family, a roar shook the Xiao family like a thunderstorm, and there was an alarming movement in the Xiao family's front yard. Who is it? How dare you raid our Xiao family? Seeing this sudden change, the expressions of Xiao Zan, Xiao Mingyi and others changed, and they rushed out of the meeting room roaring. Anger, accompanied by murderous intent, swept across like a storm. Xiao Chen also turned cold for a moment and walked out of the meeting hall without saying a word. These guys really deserve to die if they dare to raid the Xiao family at this time. 
when several people rushed out of the meeting hall. When he arrived at Xiao's front yard in a few leaps, he could see that the newly repaired courtyard had once again been destroyed into ruins by this kind of raid. Many clan members were even injured and fell to the ground. This scene made Xiao Zan and others' eyes burn with anger. And above the Xiao family's gate, two old men stood floating in the air. A grotto heaven appeared behind everyone, and the vast aura was like a mountain, giving people an unshakable feeling. Even below the two of them, more than a dozen Xuandan realm experts exuded terrifying auras. He stared at everyone in the Xiao family like a jackal, with a cruel and bloodthirsty light in his eyes. These are the two supreme elders of the Lin family in Tiandu city, and the family's dozen or so powerful Xuandan realm elders. Except for the head of the family, Lin Yao, the other senior members of the Lin family can be said to have come out in full force. Such a terrifying force is enough to sweep across the entire Liyuan city. Are you from the Lin family in Tiandu city? Looking at the seriously injured members of the Xiao family, Xiao Zan raised his head with cold eyes and shouted with murderous intent in his voice. There are forces that can send such a strong lineup and attack the Xiao family from the very beginning. Apart from the Lin family in Tiandu city, they couldn't think of anyone else. You Xiao family actually dare to use despicable means and join forces to kill the supreme elder of my Lin family? After Xiao Zan finished speaking, the two old men headed by him directly ignored Xiao Zan's questions, and one of them even asked in a serious voice. The person who spoke was named Lin Xiaoshan. He possessed the sixth level of Grotto Heaven Realm and was the strongest member of the Lin family in Tiandu City. The other person's name is Lin Zhaofeng, and like the deceased Lin Shang'an, he was at the Grotto Heaven 5th level. After rushing to Liuyan City without stopping, they did not kill the Xiao family immediately, but rushed to the city lord's mansion in Liuyan City. Afterwards, during some threatening questioning, Lu Tianan asked some things. After learning that the strong man from the Grotto Heaven Realm who invaded the Xiao family two days ago was none other than the supreme elder of the Lin family in Tiandu City. The group of people rushed to Xiao's house with murderous intent and hurt people without any scruples. After all, according to what Lu Tianan said, that day, the Xiao family united with a strong man from the Grotto Heaven Realm, and it took a lot of effort to kill Lin Shang'an. The mysterious strong man was seriously injured as a result and had to hide in Xiao's house for recuperation. So this is a great opportunity for them to destroy the Xiao family and avenge Lin Shang'an. Using despicable means, and joining forces together? After hearing the old man's words, Xiao Zan, Xiao Mingyi and others' eyes narrowed, and they could see each other's doubts when they looked at each other. On that day, Lin Shang'an was clearly killed by Queen Medusa with one move. How come it reached the ears of these guys, but he was killed by a joint effort? Could it be that these guys were deceived? It seems that someone wants these guys to die, or wants these guys to die in the hands of the Xiao family so that the Xiao family will get into more trouble. In this way, we can use the help of other forces to completely eradicate the Xiao family from Liyuan city? When Xiao Zan and others were doubtful, Xiao Chen couldn't help but flash his eyes and secretly guessed in his heart. The person who can deceive these fools is probably city lord Lu Tianan. When the thought came to an end, Xiao Chen glanced in the direction of the city lord's mansion, with a slight sneer on his lips. No matter what the purpose of the city lord of Liuyan city was in the beginning. Being able to trick this group of people into coming to Xiao's house can be regarded as saving them a lot of effort. There was such a big movement and no one came out. When Xiao Zan and others' expressions became exciting, Lin Zhaofeng glanced at Xiao Zan and others coldly, and his words continued to echo in the Xiao family with murderous intent. It seems that the Grotto Heaven Realm powerhouse behind you is seriously injured and is recovering in seclusion. Without the help of another strong person, you, the second level of Grotto Heaven, and these few old, weak, sick and disabled people are still trying to compete with my Lin family? Boom! When the words fell, Lin Xiaoshan and Lin Zhaofeng didn't intend to test them anymore. At this moment, they both exploded in cultivation, and the terrifying momentum swept away like a storm. In the Xiao family, no matter men, women, old or young, no matter pigs, dogs or beasts, no one will be left alive. As this killing order resounded throughout the Xiao family, more than a dozen elders of the revolving Dan realm also exploded in cultivation. 
One by one, like bloodthirsty monsters, they began to rush towards the inner courtyard of the Xiao family. Lin Xiaoshan and Lin Zhaofeng, the senior figures of the Xiao family in front of them, were enough to crush and kill them. And their group of elders massacred the entire Xiao family. A bunch of trash who are being treated like dogs also want to destroy our Xiao family? It's really ridiculous. Seeing Lin Xiaoshan and others starting to take action, Xiao Chen raised his head with a sneer and looked at the group of people with cold eyes. A piercing killing intent also filled Xiao Chen's body. Seventh level of spiritual aperture. When Xiao Chen revealed his murderous intent. Not only Lin Xiaoshan and Lin Zhaofeng were frightened when they sensed the subtle fluctuations in Xiao Chen's cultivation. Even Xiao Zan and others looked shocked. Two days ago, Xiao Chen was only at the third level of spiritual orifice, but unexpectedly, he has now reached the seventh level of spiritual orifice. In just two days, he broke through four minor realms in a row. Even the most evil genius in the great Qian dynasty cannot achieve such an abnormal cultivation speed. Xiao Chen. Dot has the appearance of a saint. How can such a young kid reach the seventh level of spiritual aperture? There must be some kind of chance in this child. Lin Xiaoshan and Lin Zhaofeng looked at each other, and they could see the speculation and horror in each other's eyes. But almost in the next moment, the eyes of both of them became extremely ferocious, like bloodthirsty monsters in the abyss. If such a young spiritual aperture realm expert were allowed to leave the Xiao family alive today, then the Lin family in Tiandu City would cease to exist in the future. This son must die after reading the other person's eyes. Lin Xiaoshan and Lin Zhaofeng didn't hesitate at all, and instantly turned into afterimages and headed straight for Xiao Chen. Since you all can't wait, let me try this. Seeing the two Grotto Heaven Realm powerhouses approaching rapidly, Xiao Chen showed no panic on his face and casually launched the Senluo Blood Prison Formation Disc. Chapter 25 I asked you to defend, but you actually attacked Divine Ability? Senluo Blood Prison Formation, rise up and destroy the Eight Wastelands. As Xiao Chen formed a seal with his hands, he pressed it on the Senluo Blood Prison Array. The strange blood red light shimmered and exploded in an instant. The formation patterns were like spider webs, radiating to the entire Xiao family in an instant. The figures of Lin Xiaoshan, Lin Zhaofeng and others were suddenly stagnated by the impact. This is. Earth Rank Array. Feel this terrifying array power. Lin Xiaoshan and Lin Zhaofeng shouted in surprise, obviously not expecting that the Xiao family would have such a trump card. But what about the Earth Rank Array? Facing absolute strength, it's just a mantis arm blocking the wheel. In a sneer. Lin Xiaoshan and Lin Zhaofeng once again exploded with true energy, and two beast shadows, a tiger and a python, appeared behind them in Grotto Heaven. As the tiger python roared, two divine abilities shot down at Xiao Chen and others with terrifying power. Who told you this is the Earth Rank Array? Xiao Chen just sneered slightly when he heard this, and formed seals with his hands again at this time. Xiao Zan, Xiao Mingyi and others all have a tacit understanding. In an instant, like stars circling the moon, seals were formed around Xiao Chen, and the vast amount of true energy crazily sank into the formation. The formation patterns that originally filled the sky and earth exploded into even more terrifying formation power at this moment. This is actually a heavenly rank array? Everyone, please get out of the formation's coverage area. Feeling the power of the formation that suddenly surged several times, the expressions of Lin Xiaoshan and others changed drastically. When his cultivation level exploded, he quickly stopped his body, turned around and retreated without hesitation. If it were an earth rank array, they could still compete together. But if heavenly rank array, even if the other party's cultivation level is not as good as theirs, it is still enough to unleash a terrifying attack. Late, seeing Lin Xiaoshan and others retreating violently, Xiao Chen sneered and changed the seal technique again. Senluo suppresses the prison, and the sea of blood is boundless. As these words fell, the Senluo blood prison formation suddenly shook, and endless blood light shone throughout the Xiao family. Chains burned with bloody flames, like the tentacles of the abyss demon god, and pierced through Lin Xiaoshan and others in an instant. Quick, defend with all your strength. Seeing the terrifying attack erupting from the Senluo blood prison formation, 
Lin Shaoshan and Lin Zhaofeng roared and immediately used divine ability to blast the chains all over the sky. At this time, the elders of the Lin family who were in the revolving core realm also had crazy bursts of cultivation. One after another divine ability killer moves were also launched with all their strength. Fuck. I asked you to defend, but you actually used divine ability to attack? Seeing that more than 90% of the Lin family's elders in the revolving core realm actually used their divine ability to attack, they planned to cooperate with their explosive formations. Lin Xiaoshen and Lin Zhaofeng were so angry that their defenses were broken. Even the two supreme elders were not sure that they could receive the attack from the formation. How dare a bunch of weak scum in the revolving core realm come up to resist? Boom! Almost when Lin Xiaoshen roared. The chains also roared together with everyone's divine ability, and the ear-splitting roar resounded through Liyan City like thunder. The attacks of the dozen or so strong men in the revolving core realm of the Lin family were ruthlessly blasted away by the chains. More than a dozen powerful people in the revolving core realm were all like dolls, being ruthlessly thrown away by the impact. Each and every one of them spurted blood, obviously suffering heavy injuries. Lin Xiaoshen and Lin Zhaofeng, two strong men from the Grotto Heaven Realm, could barely block the bloody chains together. But under the impact of the formation attack, both of them were pushed to a disadvantage. Go to hell. Seeing that the dozen or so powerful men in the revolving core realm were seriously injured, there was no sign of pity on Xiao Chen's face. After sneering, the seal in his hand changed again. The chains burning with blood-colored fireworks were like blood-colored spears with eyes, and they caught up with the dozen elders in an instant. The gazes of Lin Xiaoshen and Lin Zhaofeng directly penetrated the chests of these dozen people. No. Kill so many elders of my Lin family, your Xiao family will be destroyed. Lin Xiaoshen and Lin Zhaofeng were both stunned when they saw more than a dozen elders of the Xuandan realm in their family died tragically in the attack of the formation. The impact of divine ability, which was still able to sustain a stalemate, completely collapsed at this moment. The two beast shadows were ruthlessly blasted by the blood-colored chains, and both of them spurted out blood on the spot during the impact. And when the body shape is rolled back, Lin Xiaoshen and Lin Zhaofeng did not dare to stay and fight to the death, and quickly rushed into the distance with the help of this recoil. As long as they can return to the Lin family, they can use Lin Feng's connections to persuade the powerful Taiyi Sword Sect to come forward. By then, with Taiyi Sword Sect's powerful foundation, even if the Xiao family has a heavenly rank array, it will only end up being destroyed. And the Xiao family's heavenly rank array will also become their trophy. But just when they rushed out, a red figure appeared in front of them strangely like a ghost. Immediately afterwards, before Lin Xiaoshan and Lin Zhaofeng could see clearly who this person was, a terrifying cultivation aura erupted like a volcano. There are no words. After Kayan appeared in the void, she raised her hand and pointed lightly at the two of them. Two sparks flew out immediately, and the next moment they turned into sword light, piercing towards the two of them. Universal Truth Realm Strong Man Feeling that the surrounding space seemed to be frozen, Lin Xiaoshan and Lin Zhaofeng shouted in horror. Except for those who are above the universal truth realm, even those in the nirvana realm cannot do this. Could this be the mysterious strong man behind the Xiao family? But didn't the Lord of Flowing Cloud City say that this was a wounded Grotto Heaven Realm powerhouse? Is this also called the Grotto Heaven Realm? All kinds of thoughts flashed through my mind before I had time to ask for mercy. Those two sword lights penetrated through their chests, completely ending their sinful and oppressive lives. In less than half an hour, all the powerful men from the Lin family in Tiandu City who invaded the Xiao family were turned into cold corpses. Hiss. Dot are they all dead? Seeing this scene in front of them, Xiao Zan and others were shocked. She is worthy of being Queen Medusa of the Snake Tribe, her movements are so terrifying. It turned out to be just in time. Seeing the figure floating in the sky, Xiao Chen also had a smile on his face. With such a strong man guarding him, ordinary cows, ghosts and evil spirits are not afraid of him. Let her wear this, she's really wearing it right. Seeing Kayan wearing a dress that wrapped her hot body, and her two slender legs wearing the suspender stockings he gave her, her whole body exuded a mature and charming feeling. Xiao Chen's eyes lit up slightly, and he couldn't help but sigh. 
Queen Medusa's new outfit is so stunning that it doesn't cost her her life. She really deserves to be Queen Medusa. She can be stunning in anything she wears. Sir, I'm keeping the whole body this time. Seeing Xiao Chen staring at her from below, Kayin's figure flashed slightly and came directly in front of Xiao Chen. Seemingly noticing that Xiao Chen was admiring her beautiful legs, Kayin immediately opened her mouth to divert Xiao Chen's attention. Chapter 26 Not only can the dogs not survive, but the eggs must also be shaken away. Well done. After hearing Kay Yin's words, Xiao Chen immediately looked away, paused and then continued. Your outfit is really attractive. Queen Medusa's new image, are there any stickers in the comment section? The words fell. Kay Yin, who originally had a relatively cold expression, actually had a blush on her pretty face. He lowered his head in embarrassment, but the corners of his mouth curved slightly. This shy look like a little girl made Xiao Zan and others look stupid for a while. Who would have thought that the majestic Queen Medusa of the Snake Tribe would blush and be shy after Xiao Chen praised her casually? This scene simply refreshed their understanding. After Xiao Chen praised Kayan, he came to the bodies of Lin Xiaoshan and others, with a look of anticipation flashing in his eyes. Oh Natofu, the infinite that heavenly venerable. Looking at the dead bodies on the ground, Xiao Chen clasped his hands together in a gesture of compassion. Although you all deserve to die, it is not good to die in peace. This young master is here to save you. After saying that, he issued a recycling command to the system. Two Grotto Heaven Realm experts and a dozen or so revolving core realm experts. The corpses of these people should be worth a lot of points. If they were all to be cremated, their value would be wasted. Waste must be reused and recycled. Ding! The system has recovered all the corpses, with a total value of 26,450 points. It's actually worth more than 20,000 points, these people deserve to die. After hearing the system prompt, Xiao Chen's eyes lit up slightly, with a look of surprise on his face. A strong man from the Grotto Heaven Realm. It is equivalent to an Earth rank item. Of course, it cannot reach the high grade level, so it can only survive at about 5,000 points and a strong person in the Shwandan realm. If the cultivation level reaches the ninth level of Shwandan, even if the body is relatively well preserved, it is equivalent to the profound rank supreme grade. At best, it's worth a thousand points. Therefore, two Grotto Heaven Realm experts and a dozen or so Shwandan realm experts are worth more than 20,000 points, which is pretty good. By the way, there are also these guys' space rings. There may be a lot of resources in them. After disposing of the bodies of these people, Xiao Chen put away the remaining nodges from these people, with a look of anticipation on his face. Next moment. Xiao Chen didn't hesitate at all. His spiritual sense immediately penetrated into the Naji and began to take stock of the resources in the Naji. As expected of the senior figures of the Lin family in Tiandu City, all of them are extremely rich. Look at the space inside the ring. There are not only earth rank techniques and earth rank divine ability, but also all kinds of mysterious weapons, even heavenly and earthly treasures and monster materials. Xiao Chen's face showed a look of ecstasy. The combined net worth of these dozen people is more than the resources they have received in the past few days. Some items can be reserved for synthesis or upgrade, and others can be exchanged for points. Look at the space inside the ring. There are many elixirs suitable for cultivation in the Grotto Heaven Realm or the Revolving Dan Realm, and there are also many mysterious weapons that have reached profound rank or earth rank. Even for some very good divine ability skills, Xiao Chen didn't intend to exchange them for points. With a little use, these things can become the foundation of the Xiao family. Ding! The system has recovered all the designated items, with a total value of 78,630 points. Xiao Chen also looked excited when he heard the prompt from the system. If you include the points he earned before, his points are already nearly 200,000. These guys are really money-giving boys. Xiao Chen. How was the harvest? Seeing Xiao Chen put away the ring, with an excited look on his face, Xiao Zan and others came over and asked. Not bad. With this amount of resources as support, the Xiao family's strength will rise several levels. After hearing the questions from Xiao Zan and others, Xiao Chen turned around and said with a smile. It seems that this time the Lin family in Tiandu City has taken advantage of our Xiao family in disguise. Xiao Zan smiled lightly when he heard this, 
but his brows still looked a little solemn, and he paused for a moment before continuing. But this time, so many senior members of the Lin family in Tiandu City have died, and the grievances between the two families can no longer be resolved. The other party will definitely retaliate crazily after receiving the news. If they ask the powerful Taiyi sword sect to take action, I'm afraid our Xiao family will be in even greater trouble in the future. Although the Xiao family has Medusa, a strong person, no matter how many strong people are sent by Taiyi sword sect, the Xiao family will have enough confidence to deal with it. But as the strong ones become more powerful, the world they come into contact with will undoubtedly become wider, and the other party may recognize Queen Medusa. Until then, that would no longer be a personal grudge, but would involve him being involved in a racial whirlpool. It doesn't matter. When Xiao Chen heard this, he waved his hand and whispered with a serious look. I will make them have no time to separate themselves and come here to cause trouble for the Xiao family. Hearing Xiao Chen's profound words, Xiao Zan and others immediately made some guesses, and their pupils shrank violently. Chenner, do you want to kill the Lin family in Tiandu City? Feeling a little unbelievable, Xiao Zan couldn't help but confirm. The idea of them is go to cope with all changes by remaining unchanged, first stick to the Xiao family and delay its development slowly. When the Xiao family becomes stronger, all troubles will be vulnerable. After all, it has only been a few days, and the Xiao family's strength has grown by leaps and bounds. Not only have several people achieved breakthroughs in cultivation, but there is also a heavenly rank array that can hold on to the golden soup, and there is even Queen Medusa sitting in charge. In addition, Xiao Chen has a mysterious inheritance. If they can buy some time to develop, the Xiao family's strength will undergo a transformation. By then, even Tai Yi sword sect will be unable to do anything to them. But they never expected that Xiao Chen's thoughts were contrary to theirs, and he actually wanted to go to Tiandu City to destroy the Lin family? That's right. Our Xiao family is not a soft persimmon that can be manipulated by others. The Lin family has tried to destroy our Xiao family two or three times. If we don't send their family to hell, how can our Xiao family live in peace? Xiao Chen said with a serious voice when he heard the words, not hiding the murderous intention in his heart at all. To solve the problem, you have to deal with it at the root. It is not a good thing to be passively beaten all the time. Since this Lin family does not know how to live or die, then we must completely destroy him. When everyone in the Lin family is dead, he doesn't believe that Taiyi sword sect will fight with the Xiao family to the end for the Lin family. I will set off tomorrow and head to Tiandu city with Kayan. Before that, I will help the Xiao family upgrade some martial arts elixirs, and by the way, help some core clan members cleanse their marrow and cut their veins. Father and several elders will protect the family with peace of mind. As Xiao Chen's cold voice echoed, the surrounding temperature dropped to freezing point. Since the Lin family in Tiandu City made him completely murderous, not only would the other party not be able to survive as a dog from now on, he would even have to shake the eggs away. Hiss. We're leaving tomorrow. After hearing Xiao Chen's decisive decision, Xiao Zan and others took a sharp breath. However, after a few people were silent for a while, they did not say anything to dissuade them. After all, with Queen Medusa here, no one should be able to threaten Xiao Chen unless a strong person of the same level takes action. If the Lin family in Tiandu City could be wiped out, the trouble could be completely solved. Chenner, although this trip is not risky, you must be careful in everything you do. Xiao Zan patted Xiao Chen's shoulder with a solemn expression. He was very proud of having such a decisive son. Yeah, I will. Xiao Chen nodded when he heard this, and then, as if he thought of something, he spoke to Xiao Zan and others. You can give me some inherited skills of the Xiao family first. I plan to help you all improve them before I leave. Chapter 27 Tonight. Let Meyer, Ling, Er, seduce him. You can actually improve your martial arts. After hearing Xiao Chen's words, Xiao Zan and others couldn't help but take a deep breath and looked at Xiao Chen in disbelief. Just now, their focus was on destroying the Lin family, and they did not pay attention to Xiao Chen's words. Hearing Xiao Chen mention this matter again at this time, everyone's hearts were filled with turmoil. It is not easy to improve martial arts skills. It requires a profound accumulation of martial arts, and the attributes of the skills must match. 
even old guys like them, who have been practicing for decades, can only improve some yellow rank martial arts. The Shao family's inherited martial arts is at a high profound rank level. Even a Nirvana realm expert with matching attributes may not be sure that he can improve and upgrade it. Unexpectedly, Xiao Chen would have the confidence to say this. It's not a big problem. When Xiao Chen heard this, he just smiled lightly and replied. These four words meant that everything was under control. Ha ha ha, my son Xiao Chen. Dot has posture of the great emperor. With Chen'er in the Xiao family, why worry about not rising up? Hearing Xiao Chen's confident answer, Xiao Zan was so excited that he laughed wildly. After helping them cleanse their marrow and cut their veins, and purify their cultivation elixirs. They need talents and resources, but they just lack higher martial arts skills. Unexpectedly, Xiao Chen can even improve his martial arts skills now, and his only shortcoming has been made up for. If the Xiao family can't rise, it will be really useless. Xiao Mingyi, Xiao Delong and others on the side were also so excited that they were trembling slightly, looking at Xiao Zan with envy. To be able to give birth to such a son, Kumba is really promising. Unlike some of them, none of the things they ejaculate can be used. If Xiao Chen becomes my son-in-law, the rest of my life will be glorious. Looking at Xiao Chen in front of them, Xiao Mingyi and Xiao Qishong both had this idea in their minds. Then his eyes kept flickering, as if he had made up his mind. Tonight. Let Mayor, Ling, Er, seduce him, when thoughts fall. Xiao Mingyi and Xiao Qishong breathed rapidly, their eyes met and then quickly turned away, leaving Xiao Delong with a puzzled look on his face. Young master can actually improve his martial arts. Kayan on the side also seemed a little uneasy after learning about the conversation of several people. She suddenly had a strong intuition that if Xiao Chen was given enough resources, he could even improve emperor-level martial arts. This means, from now on, she will follow Xiao Chen. As long as she collects enough resources, it will not be difficult to break through the Saint Realm. Even the more powerful emperor realm is not impossible to reach. After this thought came to an end, Kayin's breathing was also a little rapid, and she stared at Xiao Chen with brilliant eyes. Xiao Chen didn't pay attention to the strange looks from several people. After taking the Xiao family's inherited martial arts from Xiao Zan, Xiao Chen turned around and returned to his private room. We will leave for Tiandu City tomorrow, and we have to rush for the next thing. Kayin saw Xiao Chen turn around and go back to the room without saying a word, so she followed him. In addition to protecting Xiao Chen, she also wanted to see how Xiao Chen improved his skills. After returning to the wing, Xiao Chen ignored Kayan and opened the properties panel. Host. Xiao Chen Physique. Innate Dao Body Cultivation. Seventh Level of Spiritual Aperture. Kung Fu. The Technique of Creating the Universe Divine Ability. Heavenly Demon Shadowless Step. Coiling Dragon Fist. Ba Wang Jin. Diamond Kung Fu. Points. 198,632, as expected. I have almost 200,000 points. Now I can spend them as much as I want. Looking at the points on the attribute panel, Xiao Chen showed a satisfied smile. Immediately afterwards, without the slightest hesitation, Xiao Chen took out the technique. In addition to the inherited skills given to him by Xiao Zan, this pile of skill scrolls also contained those obtained by killing Lin Xiaoshan and others. Among them are two fire attribute skills, and their grades reach earth rank low grade. There are also six fire attribute skills at the profound rank level. These are all auxiliary skills that can be used for synthesis. System, synthesize all the skills in front of you. After glancing at these skill scrolls, Xiao Chen immediately gave instructions to the system. Ding. The system has deducted 3,500 points and is synthesizing all the skills in front of the host for the host. As the system prompt sounded, a burst of dazzling white light shone. Ancient runes, like dancing sparks, kept flying out of the scroll. Under the gaze of Xiao Chen, the integrated union continues to gather together. What a miraculous method. Young master can actually directly extract the martial arts charm contained in the exercises. Seeing this scene in front of her, Kayan was shocked on the spot. I thought that Xiao Chen still needed to read the exercises one by one and integrate all the martial arts with his strong understanding. 
Unexpectedly, Xiao Chen could extract the charm of all martial arts with just a wave of his hand. What exactly is this all-powerful means? This is the first time she has seen such an incredible thing in hundreds of years of life. She is now 100% sure that Xiao Chen must be the reincarnation of the Supreme Great Emperor. Ding! All the martial arts skills have been synthesized. Congratulations to the host for obtaining the Earth Rank Supreme Grade Martial Arts, Sky Fire Burning Heart Technique. When the system prompt sounds again, all the martial arts charms are integrated union completed. A more powerful fire attribute technique was also imprinted on a scroll. Nearly 10 martial arts techniques can be synthesized into more advanced techniques by spending a few points. This function of the system is so powerful. Looking at the fire attribute technique in front of him, Xiao Chen had a look of satisfaction on his face. Low cost, high return. This is the core of turning waste into treasure. But Earth Rank Supreme Grade is not enough, we have to upgrade it again. With a slight flicker in his eyes, Xiao Chen immediately ordered an upgrade. Although the Xiao family has the Earth Rank Supreme Grade technique, which allows Xiao Zan and others to cultivate to the Nirvana realm. But Xiao Chen's ambitions don't stop there. He wants to create an invincible family, and the higher the level of his skills, the higher. Ding! The system has deducted 35,000 points and is currently upgrading the Skyfire Burning Heart technique on the host. As the white light burst out again, fire attribute runes appeared again. Immediately afterwards, in Kayin's shocked eyes, shadows continued to evolve in the flickering runes, and a more mysterious martial arts charm also burst out. Young master, dot are you trying to deduce martial arts? Seeing this unprecedented martial arts deduction method, Kayin's small mouth immediately opened into an O-shape, and she could almost fit a small egg inside. Xiao Chen's endless methods time and time again simply refreshed her knowledge in the past hundreds of years. This is really opening heaven's axe on the chrysanthemum platform, it's hard to keep your eyes open. Ding! The upgrade of, heavenly fire burning heart technique, has been completed, and the grade has reached heavenly rank supreme grade. When the system beep sounded again, the white light dissipated and the skill scroll fell into Xiao Chen's hands. Easily, a heavenly rank technique was born. The feeling of cheating is so cool. Seeing that this skill was enough for many forces to grab, Xiao Chen also had a satisfied smile on his face. This heavenly rank supreme grade technique is enough to make the Xiao family rise. In the future, when he has enough points, he will upgrade it to saint rank level martial arts. Next. Dot you have to upgrade your divine ability and the pills for training. When the thought falls, Xiao Chen ignored Kayan who was beside him and was so shocked that his face was flushed, his breathing was a little short and his legs were weak. He took out a lot of pills and started upgrading in the same way. Chapter 28 Whether you can seize the opportunity depends on whether you are sensible or not. Sunset Dusk When Xiao Chen was upgrading the skill pills in the side room, Xiao Mingyi and Xiao Qishang were not idle either. The two met their daughter almost at the same time and told each other their plans. What? You want me to seduce brother Xiao Chen? Separated by several courtyards, Xiao Mayer and Xiao Ling'er both looked at their father with shocked faces, obviously not knowing whether the old guy in front of them had taken the wrong medicine today. He actually asked them to seduce his own family brother? What's the look in your eyes, girl? You must know that Xiao Chen is now the true dragon of the Xiao family. In the future, he will definitely be able to step into the evil existence of Saint Realm. I don't know how many stunning beauties will kneel down and lick him in the future. Only while he has not yet soared to the Nine Heavens can you have a chance in the Xiao family. Besides, there are several generations between you and him, and there is no moral or ethical relationship. If you can combine with Xiao Chen, you will be able to fly like a dragon and see a wider world in the future. And in the past few days, there have been two killings in the Xiao family. I believe you also know something about it. If Xiao Chen hadn't stepped forward to turn the tide, our Xiao family would have been crushed by powerful enemies. By then, the men of the Xiao family will surely die, and you women and children may also suffer inhuman torture. So in a sense, Xiao Chen is your savior. As the old saying goes, kindness is more important than heaven, so you should show it with your body. If your father and I weren't such a bad old man, I would have pounced on Mr. Chen and promised myself to him. Your mother gave birth to you to be so smart. 
In the past, I thought it was just to show off, but old man, I understand now. This is to make you a little more worthy of that boy Xiao Chen. Two different rooms, almost the same rhetoric, made Xiao Mayer and Xiao Linger's heads buzz. Under this almost brainwashing statement, an idea came to their minds. Is it possible, is Xiao Chen the biological child of this old guy? I will help you create opportunities tonight, and then a man and a woman will be alone in the same room. Whether you can seize the opportunity depends on whether you are sensible or not. After explaining everything with serious words, Xiao Mingyi and Xiao Qishang left their respective daughter's rooms. Finally done. That night, Xiao Chen looked at the upgraded elixirs in front of him and couldn't help but have a satisfied smile on his face. These kinds of elixirs. It includes the essential elixirs required for cultivation in the revolving pill realm and grotto heaven realm. They are not only used for healing and cultivation, but also for breaking through realms and detoxifying. He even combined a lot of Xuanbing and divine ability. He spent a total of 150,000 points. As for these resources, apart from giving some to the Xiao family, he plans to keep the other part. After all, he also needs resources for his own cultivation, and it is impossible to contribute all of them to the family. Host. Xiao Chen Physique. Innate Tao Body Cultivation. Seventh Level of Spiritual Aperture. Kung Fu. The Technique of Creating the Universe Divine Ability. Heavenly Demon Shadowless Step. Great Wild True Dragon Fist. Five Elements Heaven Shaking Seal. Nine Turn Golden Body Cover. Points. 28,368, there are only more than 20,000 points left. Looking at the changed attribute panel, Xiao Chen couldn't help but lament that he didn't have enough points. In less than one night, the 200,000 points were reduced by nearly 90%. If these points were converted into resources, they would be enough to buy most of Liuyin City. The journey of spiritual practice really burns money. However, under the burning of this kind of points, his attributes changed very obviously. Especially in the column where divine ability is located, many divine abilities have undergone transformation. The heavenly rank supreme grade divine ability is the heavenly rank supreme grade divine ability that he combined with the Panlong Fist and Bawang Jin, as well as some fragments of other divine ability martial arts. The Five Elements Heavenly Ranking Seal utilizes the divine ability of five different attributes, and then upgrades it to the heavenly rank supreme grade divine ability after synthesis. As for the nine turn golden body cover, it is heavenly rank supreme grade divine ability that Xiao Chen uses Vajra Kung Fu combined with some body refining techniques, and then upgrades after synthesis. These three heavenly rank divine abilities alone cost him 80 or 90,000 points. However, with the upgrade and transformation of divine ability, his strength also skyrocketed. All this effort is worth it. It's time to go out and upgrade the talents of some core tribesmen. When the thought falls, Xiao Chen immediately stood up and walked out of the wing. Unexpectedly, several people were already standing in the courtyard. These people were none other than Xiao Zan and Xiao Mingyi, the senior executives, but Xiao Delong also had a young man on his hands. He appears to be in a coma. You. This is. Seeing the unconscious young man in Xiao Delong's hands. It seemed that he was his son Xiao Ming, a mediocre person with average talent in the Xiao family. Xiao Chen suddenly asked with some confusion, could it be that this guy made some mistake? Ha ha ha, didn't you say you wanted to help some core tribe members cleanse their marrow and cut their veins? I just knocked this little brat unconscious and brought him here. This will also prevent this brat from knowing things he shouldn't know. After hearing Xiao Chen's question, Xiao Delong suddenly laughed. Xiao Ming is the less talented among his three sons. If Xiao Chen could be given a massage, it would change this kid's inferiority complex. Seeing Xiao Ming fainting like a dead pig, Xiao Chen immediately felt a little speechless. This father was really tough. He is no longer afraid of beating his own son into a fool. It doesn't have to be that way. As long as they are core members of the Xiao family and their character has passed the assessment, just bring them here directly. Doing this will make them suspicious. If they go to get to the bottom of it later, I'm afraid it will be easier to make some mistakes. After shaking his head helplessly, Xiao Chen immediately suggested. All creatures that he has used the system's abilities will have a soul contract planted by the system invisibly. This will prevent the other party from having any thoughts of harming him, 
and fundamentally eliminate the possibility of the other party harming him. Therefore, as long as the other person has been baptized by Xiao Chen, he is almost a loyal believer of him, and there is no need to spend a lot of time to be wary. Ha ha ha, although this little brat's character is not bad, it's always right to be careful in everything. After hearing Xiao Chen's suggestion, Xiao Delong smiled awkwardly. Chen -er, are things going smoothly? Although Xiao Zan on the side was a little speechless, he didn't say much at this time. Instead, he asked Xiao Chen. Not bad. When Xiao Chen heard this, he also knew what Xiao Zan was referring to, and immediately responded with a faint smile. This time I helped the family improve several core martial arts, and the grades have all been upgraded to the heavenly rank level, which is enough for you all to practice to the celestial human realm. Hiss. Heavenly rank level. Before Xiao Chen finished speaking, Xiao Zan and others took a sharp breath, with disbelief on their faces. Ha ha ha, our Xiao family also has the heavenly rank technique, and this rise will be unstoppable. In their inner excitement and ecstasy, Xiao Zan and others couldn't help laughing. Besides, I also helped you purify the elixir, which should allow the three elders to break through to the grotto heaven realm and help the family cultivate more than a dozen powerful people in the revolving Dan realm. I even allowed my father to improve his cultivation by several small realms in a short period of time. Seeing the ecstatic expressions of Xiao Zan and others, Xiao Chen added after a pause. With that said, Xiao Chen took out several skill scrolls and a dozen pill bottles, and handed them to Xiao Zan's hands. When Xiao Zan, Xiao Mingyi and others saw these pill techniques in front of them, their bodies were shaking with excitement. Although Xiao Chen said it lightly, they knew how valuable these things were. If exposed to the outside world, each item would be enough to cause a sensation. It is also a precious treasure that the Xiao family has lost all their money and cannot afford to buy. But now they not only have it at their fingertips, but there are more than one of these treasures. All of this is thanks to Xiao Chen. Chen Er, what you did to the Xiao family will never be forgotten by the Xiao family. Finished. It seemed that words could not express this kind of gratitude. Xiao Zan even wanted to pay homage to Xiao Chen at this moment. Even Xiao Mingyi and Xiao Qishang followed Xiao Zan and bowed down. This move immediately shocked Xiao Chen, and he quickly stopped the actions of several people. Chapter 29 This is indeed my biological father. He was beaten unconscious for real. Father, you don't have to be like this. This is what I should do. After raising his hand to stop the actions of several people, Xiao Chen waved his hand with a smile. Although it is true that he came here via transmigration, the Xiao family has been his roots in this world since he came to this world. Moreover, a person's strength is not truly powerful after all. Only when the people around him are strong together can he truly be proud of this world. Otherwise, if something unfortunate happens to him in the future, there won't even be anyone around him who he can rely on. That's really sad. There is nothing that should or should not be done. After Xiao Chen finished speaking, Xiao Zan suddenly shook his head and said with emotion. Although you are a member of the Xiao family, you have incredible opportunities. You could have used a little favor to end the Xiao family's kindness in raising you, and from now on Long Yu Jushin will cut off all cause and effect. But you didn't do that. Instead, you dedicated yourself to the Xiao family. We old guys see all this and remember it in our hearts. After a pause, Xiao Zan patted Xiao Chen on the shoulder and continued in a very firm voice. We can't promise you anything here, but the Xiao family will never hold you back in the future. If you encounter any trouble in the future, the Xiao family will burn the last drop of blood for you. Xiao Mingyi, Xiao Delong and others on the side, although they didn't say anything, their eyes said everything. Xiao Chen was so kind to them, even if he asked them to die in the future, they would never complain. Xiao Chen fell silent after listening, and couldn't help but feel a little ripple in his heart. His initial thoughts. He just wants to invest in the Xiao family and create an invincible family so that he can control the world in the future. But as he got more in contact with Xiao Zan and others, he also developed a sense of belonging to this family. The Xiao family is indeed worthy of his cultivation. Okay, no more sensational words, whatever you want to do next, we will fully cooperate with you. Seeing Xiao Chen suddenly froze on the spot, looking very touched, Xiao Zan smiled lightly and patted him on the shoulder. 
Well, the remaining resources I have are enough to transform three or four people. As for the quota, it is up to you to decide. Xiao Chen nodded when he heard this and then changed the topic. Ha ha ha, we have decided on this matter a long time ago. Each of our three elders has a quota, so I knocked this kid unconscious and brought him here. After Xiao Chen finished speaking, Xiao Delong laughed immediately. Then he carried the unconscious Xiao Ming to Xiao Chen. When Xiao Chen heard this, his eyes fell on Xiao Ming, and then he turned on the identification function to check. Marshall Dao is a talented yellow rank middle grade, no wonder he feels inferior in the Xiao family. After checking Xiao Ming's talent, Xiao Chen didn't make any ink marks at all. He squatted down and pressed the opponent's chest, and then gave an order to the system. System. Upgrade his talent to high earth rank. Ding. The system has deducted 6,800 points and is upgrading the talent of the character Xiao Ming. As the system prompt tone fell, a dazzling white light also shone. Just for a moment, Xiao Ming's martial Dao talent was upgraded from yellow rank middle grade to earth rank high grade. That's it. I have already helped him cleanse his marrow and cut his veins once. His talent should have reached the earth rank level. As long as I teach you well in the future, you will be able to cultivate to the Nirvana realm. Looking at Xiao Ming who was still unconscious, Xiao Chen took back his right hand with a faint smile. Ha ha ha, I will definitely discipline this kid more in the future. I won't let you down for your hard work today. Xiao Delong laughed when he heard this and lifted Xiao Ming up again. However, when he saw that Xiao Ming was about to wake up, he struck the opponent's neck with a knife, which made Xiao Chen's mouth twitch. This is indeed his own father, and he was beaten unconscious for real. There are two more people coming next. While speaking, Xiao Chen looked at Xiao Mingyi and Xiao Qishang, and then a look of confusion appeared on his face. Each of these three elders has a quota, and they must all be their own children. The three elders had already beaten their son unconscious and brought him over. Why were the children of the other two elders missing? Ahem, both of our places are for our respective daughters. But because they are girls, it is not convenient to knock them unconscious and carry them in their hands. So we all knocked him unconscious and threw him in their wing. The next thing I can do is to trouble you, Xiao Chen, to go to their boudoir and help them cleanse their marrow and cut their veins. Seeing Xiao Chen's confused look, Xiao Mingyi and Xiao Qishang also woke up, and the former said awkwardly after coughing dryly. After saying that, his eyes were still a little dodgy, as if he had done something bad. When Xiao Chen heard this, he fell silent again. For some reason, he had an unknown premonition. It seemed like these two people were plotting against him, but that didn't seem to be the case. After all, both Xiao Mingyi and Xiao Qishang were secretly planted with contracts by the system, and there would be no thoughts of harming him. However, looking at the weird looks of the two of them, I always felt that something was wrong. Okay, let's go to Sister Xiao Meyer's place first. Shaking his head, Xiao Chen didn't bother to think too much and immediately responded. After saying that, Xiao Chen turned around and left, planning to go to Xiao Meyer's wing. No, you should go to my daughter's place first. At this time, Xiao Qishang, who had been silent until now, suddenly said something, which confused Xiao Chen again on the spot. He could only turn around and look at Xiao Qishang with a puzzled face, hoping that the other party would give a reason. Ahem. My daughter's wing is a little closer to here, so I'd better wash that girl's marrow and cut her veins first. Xiao Lauer, you fart. When Xiao Chen heard this, before he had time to say anything, Xiao Mingyi couldn't hold himself any longer. The distance between these two people's rooms and Xiao Chen's courtyard is only 70 feet symmetrical. How come your daughter is so close? Shameless Xiao Lauer. He actually wants to be the first to get there, how can he succeed? Xiao Mingyi, you only have one chance, and I won't let it go to you. Xiao Qishang was not afraid at all when Xiao Mingyi shouted loudly, he immediately rolled up his sleeves and started to do it. If Xiao Meyer was ignorant, it would mess up Xiao Chen's mood. Or maybe the other party is too aggressive and has lost interest in Xiao Chen. What will his daughter do next? Therefore, whoever is first in line will have a greater chance. This is a good opportunity to turn Xiao Chen into a son-in-law. No matter what, you can't just take advantage of this old guy. Why are you still arguing? Seeing the abnormal looks of Xiao Mingyi and Xiao Qishang, 
Xiao Chen couldn't help but frown, and a look of suspicion appeared on his face. It's just cleaning the marrow and cutting off the pulse. Which one is different first? What's so controversial about this matter? Okay, okay, you two are old and disrespectful guys. It's up to Chenner to decide which wing he wants to go to first. How is it appropriate to argue like this in front of a junior? Xiao Zan, who was on the side, could not tell the truth and shouted angrily. After the words fell, when Xiao Mingyi and Xiao Qishang saw that Xiao Chen was a little suspicious, they both had sad smiles on their faces and did not dare to argue anymore. Inexplicable. Seeing the two people's surprise, Xiao Chen touched his nose and walked towards Xiao Meyer's wing with a speechless expression. Old boy, I hope your daughter doesn't screw up. Looking at Xiao Chen's leaving figure, Xiao Qishang gritted his teeth and whispered to Xiao Mingyi. He he, no, Xiao Mingyi smiled obscenely upon hearing this, with a proud look on his face. I spent a lot of effort to convince that girl what to do. This thing is absolutely foolproof. As long as Xiao Chen lifts the quilt and sees. Cough cough cough. As he spoke, Xiao Mingyi seemed to realize that he had let something slip, and he coughed a few times to cover it up. Anyway, children and grandchildren will have their own blessings. Whether this can happen or not depends on their luck. Xiao Qishang showed contempt when he heard this. He didn't expect this old boy to be so unrestrained. Why didn't he think of this? What a missed opportunity. However, given his daughter's well-behaved nature and her fondness for Xiao Chen, she probably would have taken the initiative. Xiao Delong on the side obviously realized something when he saw the two of them sneaking around. There was a sad expression on his face, he only regretted that he had not given birth to a daughter, and now he could not even participate in this good thing. What do you need these handles for? As he became more and more depressed as he thought about it, he slapped Xiao Ming on the head, which made him feel a little better. Chapter 30 What's the difference between this and cheating? The night is like water. It didn't take long for Xiao Chen to walk to Xiao Meyer's courtyard, and then he went outside the wing and knocked on the door a few times. But after a while, there was still no movement inside, which made him frown. Could he still be in a coma? Thinking of Xiao Mingyi's words just now, Xiao Chen couldn't help but frown. After hesitating for a while, he still chose to push the door open and enter. Although it is very immoral and has no lower limit to break into a girl's boudoir late at night. But he came here to do serious things, and the other party's father also agreed. As long as you don't do anything outrageous, nothing will happen to you. As the door was pushed open, the scent filled the nostrils. The various crystal pendants in the room shimmer with hazy light, giving it a beautiful and dreamy feel. However, Xiao Chen came here to do business and had no intention of admiring these accessories. After opening the bead curtain, he came to the big bed. Looking at the large quilt on the bed, it seemed to be covering a person, only the outline of a human figure was exposed. It should be Xiao Meyer who was knocked unconscious. Image of Xiao Meyer. However, the quilt cover was tight, not even a hair was exposed. You still have to confirm. After muttering something, Xiao Chen lifted the sheets. After confirming that the other party is really Xiao Meyer, I plan to upgrade the Martial Dao talent for the other party. Next moment. As the red sheet was lifted by Xiao Chen, a burst of hazy white light, with two touches of bright red, almost blinded his eyes. Hiss. What the hell is this? Seeing this blood-soaking scene in front of him, Xiao Chen's head was buzzing on the spot. Damn it. Xiao Meyer is not wearing any clothes? Could it be that Xiao Mingyi knocked the other party unconscious and then asked the maid to take off his clothes? Are you really not afraid of something happening to your daughter when you deceive her like this? Hmm. When Xiao Chen was holding the sheet in confusion, Xiao Meyer suddenly opened her eyes at this moment. Their eyes met, and the room was dead silent. Next moment. As a scream rang out, Xiao Meyer pulled the sheet away and wrapped her proud thing tightly. What? I'm actually here to help you cleanse your marrow and cut your veins. I didn't expect it to be like this. You believe me. I really don't mean any harm. Seeing Xiao Meyer looking at him nervously with a shameful expression, Xiao Chen suddenly explained incoherently. Damn, I believe in the system's contract too much. He thought Xiao Mingyi and others would not harm him, so he didn't think too much or take precautions. Unexpectedly, he was tricked by this old guy. Even his own daughter was thrown into his face, was this his biological father the one he was specifically targeting? 
It's not your fault. I sleep by myself. I like not wearing clothes. Seeing Xiao Chen's helpless look, Xiao Mayer didn't get angry, but said with a face of shame. In fact, it was her father who gave her the idea that something like this happened. Let her lie on the big bed without any clothes and pretend to be unconscious, and then wrap her whole body tightly with a sheet. Xiao Chen will definitely check after entering the door, and nine times out of ten, he will lift her sheets. This can then create a misunderstanding that will bring the two people closer together. After such a charming incident, if she takes the initiative in the future, it is really possible for them to get together. Xiao Meyer was a little resistant at first, but she was brainwashed by her father for a long time. In addition, Xiao Chen was already very outstanding in the Xiao family, and now he has become the person with the highest status in the Xiao family. If you can have such a man as your partner, your future life will not be any worse. So Xiao Meyer agreed to do this amidst all the odds. Speaking of it, she still felt a bit despicable, so she didn't have the shame to blame Xiao Chen for this matter. Like, sleeping naked? Hearing Xiao Meyer's words, the corner of Xiao Chen's mouth twitched. Speak the truth. He used to have this special habit in the summer. Unexpectedly, a beauty like Xiao Meyer also has a special hobby of sleeping naked. No, shouldn't she have been knocked unconscious? Why are you sleeping again now? Brother Xiao Chen, what do you want to do next? Just when Xiao Chen's thoughts were turning and he realized something was wrong, Xiao Meyer also spoke at this time. That kind of royal sister-like voice carries a kind of nervousness and expectation. Coupled with the situation, the scene, and the specialness of the words, it all makes people think a lot. How does Sister Meyer want to solve it? Xiao Chen raised his brow slightly when he heard this, and he didn't look panicked at all. He just asked with a half smile. Xiao Meyer's temper is a bit hot. Could it be that he wanted to beat him up or gouge his eyes out? Although this is an inadvertent incident, I also showed you my body. Sister's requirements are not high. If brother Xiao Chen wants to start a family from now on, just let my sister be your concubine. Xiao Meyer said these words with great shame in her heart. Xiao Chen couldn't help but widen his eyes immediately, and even wondered if he heard it wrong. Unexpectedly, Xiao Meyer's request was to be his concubine? What is the difference between this and flipping? Don't worry. Although we are called sister and brother, our clan bloodlines have become estranged, so it will not have any impact on the children. When Xiao Chen was shocked, Xiao Meyer added this sentence, which made Xiao Chen's head buzz. Now let's talk about children. Isn't the development a bit too fast? Isn't it a bit abrupt? Seeing that Xiao Chen was stunned, Xiao Meyer asked awkwardly. This is the first time in her 21 years of life that she has been so bold with a man. The most outrageous thing is that the other party is three years younger than her and is still a member of her tribe. If she hadn't been so thoroughly brainwashed today, she wouldn't have had the courage to say these words. If brother Xiao Chen can't accept it for a while, sister will have plenty of time to wait for you slowly in the future. After a pause, Xiao Meyer added, Let's talk about these things later. Xiao Chen also came to his senses at this time, coughed dryly and waved his hand. I want to cleanse your marrow and cut your veins now. The great elder should have told you. If there's nothing important, let's start now. Suppressing the restless thoughts in his heart, Xiao Chen said in a low voice. Sister understands. After hearing Xiao Chen's words, Xiao Meyer nodded. Next moment, she looked nervous and ashamed, wrapped herself in a sheet and straightened her proud body, indicating to Xiao Chen that he could take action next. You. What are you doing? Seeing Xiao Meyer's seductive movements, there was also a large expanse of snow that could not be covered, and even the deep ravine. Xiao Chen almost went berserk on the spot, very meow. He is a strong-blooded man, are you really not afraid of being ravaged by him if you are so seductive? If he hadn't come to Xiao Meyer's wing today, he wouldn't have known that this clan sister who usually had a hot temper could be so flawless when she got really excited. Is this still a great beauty that is difficult for ordinary people to pursue? Why do you want him to execute the other party on the spot now? Chapter 31 I. Swear to the death not to be Lu Shawi. Is there something wrong with my cooperation? Seeing Xiao Chen's big reaction, Xiao Meyer asked in surprise. Even though she took such initiative, Xiao Chen still looked broken. Does it mean that? Don't you have to be naked? Hearing Xiao Meyer's words, Xiao Chen's mouth twitched and he spoke helplessly. 
I didn't ask you to cooperate like this. Something might happen if you act like this. After saying that, Xiao Chen could only change his gaze and try to calm down the unknown fire in his body. Such a tempting scene, really. If you look at it one more time, it will explode, if you look at it again, it will melt. If Xiao Meyer provoked him like this again, he couldn't guarantee that she wouldn't go out of her way. My father said that when you clean someone's marrow and cut their pulse, you must press on their chest. Although there are differences between men and women, you have already seen me naked, and I am destined to be your concubine from now on. So it doesn't matter if I ask you to press my chest again, I'm mentally prepared now. Seeing the painful look on Xiao Chen's face, Xiao Meyer looked a little ashamed, but still very considerate. Anyway, I've already risked my life, so there's no harm in being more proactive. After all, what her father said was right, Xiao Chen is a monster, and he will definitely take off for nine days in the future. If she doesn't seize the great opportunity to get close to him while he's still young, she might not even be qualified to let him take another look in the future. Puff. Hearing Xiao Meyer's ridiculous remarks, Xiao Chen couldn't hold himself any longer at this moment. The evil fire in his body also boiled to the extreme, making him feel like his body was going to explode. A supreme grade beauty has taken the initiative to do this. If he doesn't come up, it will seem a bit hypocritical, and it will also delay others and make himself even more frustrated. In my previous life, I was submissive and could only humbly envy others. I will transmigrate here in this life. If I still live a miserable life, then what will I do if I transmigrate here? I swear to death, I won't do anything like Lu Xiaowei. As the thoughts in his mind fell, Xiao Chen suddenly raised his head, revealing a wolf-like gaze. Sister Mayor, to truly cleanse your marrow and cut your veins, you have to do this. After saying that, Xiao Chen roared and rushed forward. Xiao Meyer was so frightened that she exclaimed. An hour later, I didn't expect that just two days after Transmigrate came here, there would be stunning beauties rushing to transfer. Looking at Xiao Meyer, whose delicate body was dripping with sweat and fainted from exhaustion, Xiao Chen said with a sigh on his face. Originally, I wanted to restrain myself and not want to touch Xiao Meyer. However, I couldn't hold it back in the end. If Kayan found out about this, I wonder if she would alienate him. Damn. I'm really a scumbag eating from the bowl and looking at the pot. Shaking his head to suppress the distracting thoughts in his heart, Xiao Chen immediately despised himself. However, he was not a dedicated person to begin with. From the first day he came to transmigrate, he had already set a goal for himself. In this life, he not only wants to become the strongest man in the Kanglin world, but he also cannot miss the woman he likes. Instead of being a hypocrite who is dedicated on the outside but dirty inside, it is better to be a free playboy from the bottom of his heart. So at this moment, Xiao Chen directly chose to release his nature. As for Kayan, this great beauty, we can only slowly match her up in the future. When his thoughts were open-minded, Xiao Chen looked at Xiao Meyer and then used his identification function. My cultivation is only at the fifth level of Kai Yuan, and my talent is only at the low profound rank level. After checking Xiao Meyer's attribute information, Xiao Chen immediately issued instructions to the system. The system will upgrade Xiao Meyer's talent to Earth Rank Supreme Grade. Xiao Chen originally wanted to upgrade her to Heavenly Rank, after all, this was also the first woman he possessed. However, thinking that I only have about 20,000 points left, and I have to help Xiao Ling'er upgrade the Martial Dao talent later, I can only wait for the opportunity to upgrade in the future. Ding. The system has deducted 8,600 points and is upgrading the talent of the character Xiao Meyer. As the system prompt tone fell, a dazzling white light also flashed and erupted. Xiao Meyer was still asleep in almost a moment. Her talent soared from profound rank to earth rank supreme grade. Even the essence remaining in her body was refined, and her cultivation level easily broke through to the seventh level of Kai Yuan. Done. Now it's time to go to Xiao Ling'er's wing. I hope nothing will happen again. Looking at Xiao Meyer who was sleeping soundly, Xiao Chen didn't wake her up. After murmuring, he covered the other person with quilt, got up and walked out of the room. After sleeping with Xiao Meyer, wouldn't it be necessary to call him father-in-law when facing Xiao Mingyi from now on? Thinking about this thing gives me a headache, and I don't know how to solve it. There was also an hour's delay. 
I don't know what's going on with Xiao Ling'er. She must have fallen asleep after waiting for so long, right? It took me an hour to come out. It seems like it's done. When Xiao Chen walked out of Xiao Meyer's courtyard, several figures emerged from the bushes outside the courtyard. Xiao Mingyi looked at Xiao Chen leaving and murmured with some joy. Although he didn't know the specific situation in the courtyard, the man and the woman stayed in the room for an hour. If nothing happened, no dog would believe it. Now that the two of them are in love, as long as Xiao Meyer is not stupid enough to betray each other, she will definitely be able to fly to the branches and become a phoenix in the future. The rest of his life was finally settled, and all his hard work was finally not in vain. Look at what you are doing to this old guy. If Xiao Chen sees you in the future, he will have to call me father-in-law. Xiao Qishang on the side said a little sourly. Now Xiao Chen has just met Xiao Meier, a beautiful woman, and may be a little disappointed when he sees Xiao Ling'er. If Xiao Ling'er fails to seize the opportunity, it will be a real loss to his lineage. Ha ha ha, that little girl of yours is no worse than my mayor. Besides, you just ran to give me advice. I'm sure we'll get married in pairs next. Hearing Xiao Qishang's sour words, Xiao Mingyi couldn't help laughing wildly, his face smiling like a chrysanthemum in bloom. This made Xiao Qishang's teeth itch, and he could only pray secretly in his heart that his daughter would be better. Damn, two disrespectful guys, cheating on their own daughter like this. Xiao Delong, who was following from the side, saw Xiao Mingyi's proud face and Xiao Qishang's expectation. He was so jealous that his back molars almost broke. Damn it. Among the three elders of the Xiao family, he is the only one who does not have a daughter. I used to think it was nothing, but when I saw that Xiao Mingyi had become Xiao Chen's father-in-law. He even wished he could turn his son into a girl and send it to that boy Xiao Chen, so that he might be able to call him father-in-law. It's really fate that makes people suffer, and it's so painful to lose a great son-in-law. Xiao Chen did not notice Xiao Mingyi and others staying there at this time. When his head felt a little mushy, he also came outside Xiao Ling'er's room. Looking at the dim light inside, he raised his hand and knocked on the door. Chapter 32. One after another, it's my luck today. Is he brother Xiao Chen? The door is unlocked, you can just come in. Xiao Chen had just knocked on the door when a crisp voice came from inside the room, making Xiao Chen stunned for a moment. I didn't expect that Xiao Ling'er would be waiting in the room after such a long time. Then I'm coming in. After pondering for a while, Xiao Chen opened the door and walked in without thinking much. Inside the wing, there is also a faint fragrance that hits the nose, making people feel that their blood is a little bit impatient. In the dim light, at a glance, Xiao Chen saw Xiao Ling'er sitting in front of the bed, looking as shy as a bride waiting for her husband to enter the room. This shy appearance, coupled with the beautiful face, made Xiao Chen slightly startled. She is indeed another beauty of the Xiao family. This appearance and figure are not inferior to Xiao Meyer in any way, and even the giant thing that is about to come out is slightly better. Image of Xiao Ling'er. Sister Ling'er knows I'm coming? Feeling that the atmosphere was a bit awkward, Xiao Chen coughed dryly and spoke. Well, my father told me in the evening. Brother Xiao Chen wanted to come over to help me clean my marrow and cut my pulse, so I waited for Brother Xiao Chen in the wing. I didn't expect that the wait would last an hour. Xiao Ling'er nodded when she heard this and replied with a bit of sourness. There are two beauties in the Xiao family. One is Xiao Meyer, and the other is her. Unexpectedly, before coming to her wing, Xiao Chen had already gone to Xiao Meyer's place and stayed there for an hour. This made Xiao Ling'er, who had always liked to compare with Xiao Meyer, suddenly feel like she was being overpowered by Xiao Meyer. Ahem, something happened and there was a delay. After hearing Xiao Ling'er's somewhat resentful words, Xiao Chen coughed twice and changed the subject. Since Sister Ling'er knows the purpose of my coming, let's start now without further ado. As long as Xiao Ling'er is dealt with, he can go back to sleep. He has not forgotten that he has to rush to Tiandu City tomorrow to completely wipe out the Lin family. Are you in such a hurry? Xiao Ling'er was startled when she heard this, and then thought of Xiao Qishang's explanation, her pretty face turned red at this moment. After saying that, under Xiao Chen's slightly puzzled eyes, Xiao Ling'er suddenly took off her clothes. This scene made Xiao Chen's pupils shrink violently, and there was a roar in his mind. What the hell? What are you doing? 
When his head was in a mess, Xiao Chen covered his head with a collapsed expression. An hour ago, Xiao Meyer wanted to take the initiative to come up, but she was still wrapped in a sheet, but Xiao Ling'er took off her clothes as soon as she came up. Doesn't this allow people to live? Aren't you going to wash your marrow and cut your veins? Seeing Xiao Chen's collapsed look, Xiao Ling'er raised her head with shame and suddenly asked with some confusion. Yes, I want to help you wash your marrow and cut your veins, but I didn't tell you to take off your clothes. Looking at Xiao Ling'er's innocent face, the scene was confusing. After Xiao Chen took a deep breath to calm down, he replied helplessly. If you don't take off your clothes, dot how can you wash your marrow and cut your veins? After hearing Xiao Chen's words, Xiao Ling'er pulled up her clothes and covered her chest, and asked with a face of shame and confusion. She remembered her father and told her several times. Xiao Chen's marrow cleansing and pulse cutting method is special in a hundred million ways, and he has to do male-female things with the other person. And he had discussed with Xiao Zan that he would betroth her to Xiao Chen in the future. Although she is not the official wife, it is enough to clear her name. And Xiao Qishang also gave special instructions. Tell her not to be too shy, and to take the initiative when the other person comes in. Anyway, she will have to experience it in the future. If she is defeated by Xiao Meyer, then she will really fail in the future. After being brainwashed by such remarks and dissatisfied with Xiao Meyer, Xiao Linger gave up. But now, Xiao Chen's reaction seems a bit wrong? Who said that cleansing marrow and cutting pulses is like this? Isn't this Chun Chen just being a hooligan? Xiao Chen couldn't help but twitch the corner of his mouth when he heard this. Xiao Linger must have been deceived by Xiao Qishang. These two elders of the Xiao family, do you all like to trick your daughter like this? After being planted with a contract by the system, the two elders' fanaticism towards him has reached the point of fanaticism. Even his daughter wished that he would be lucky enough to make these people feel prosperous? But, if you don't take off these clothes, how can you do things between men and women? After hearing Xiao Chen's words, Xiao Ling'er was so shy that she almost exploded. She raised her head and asked with an innocent face. Okay, do things between men and women. Hearing Xiao Ling'er's innocent question, Xiao Chen's blood pressure couldn't help but rise. When did he need to perform male-female acts in order to cleanse his marrow and cut his veins? What did Xiao Qishang, the second elder, explain? Sister Ling'er, you let your father trick you. Actually, as long as I can get in touch with you, I can help you cleanse your marrow and cut your veins. There is no need to do anything male-female. After suppressing the restlessness in his heart, Xiao Chen could only explain the truth. Wa. What? Xiao Ling'er was stunned on the spot when she heard this, and she became a little at a loss. Then I just. You. Showed you my body, and now you are telling me this? After saying that, mist began to fill Xiao Ling'er's eyes, and she raised her head and stared at Xiao Chen with a delicate and innocent expression. That helpless expression, coupled with that beautiful face, and the disheveled upper body. It's enough to make any man feel pity after looking at it. Hearing Xiao Ling'er's words, Xiao Chen didn't know how to answer for a moment. Sister Ling'er, how do you want to solve it? After a moment of silence, Xiao Chen asked tentatively. Now that I've shown you Sister Ling'er's body, from now on I can only pledge myself to you. I hope that brother Xiao Chen will not let his sister down. Xiao Ling'er raised her head with a tearful smile after hearing this. After saying these words with a shy look, she let go of her hands and rushed towards Xiao Chen. Brother Xiao Chen, it's time for us to get down to business. After saying that, before Xiao Chen could say anything, Xiao Ling'er blocked Xiao Chen's mouth. Under this offensive, Xiao Chen's pupils couldn't help but dilate. Sure enough, I still have to score twice. An hour later, one after another for free, today is a lucky break. Looking at Xiao Ling'er who fell asleep, Xiao Chen was also surprised. Although a bit passive tonight, but no matter what, these two people will be his weak point from now on, and he will not recognize others after lifting his pants. When thoughts fall, Xiao Chen's mouth curved slightly. Kaiyuan 6th level, profound rank middle grade qualification, cultivation level is a bit better than Xiao Meyer. After using the appraisal function to check Xiao Ling'er's attributes, Xiao Chen immediately gave the system an instruction to upgrade his talent. Ding! The system has deducted 7,800 points and is upgrading the talent of the character Xiao Ling'er. 
As the system prompt tone fell, the dazzling white light also lit up. In just the blink of an eye, Xiao Ling'er's talent was upgraded from profound rank middle grade to earth rank supreme grade, and her cultivation level broke through two minor realms in a row and reached the eighth level of Kaiyuan. It's done. Let's go back and have a rest. We'll set off early tomorrow morning. After covering Xiao Ling'er with the quilt, Xiao Chen left the wing and walked towards his courtyard. Today's ridiculous things kept echoing in my mind, and the idea of becoming stronger quickly emerged in my heart. In this world, the strong can do whatever they want, but the weak are destined to lose everything. If you cannot become a truly strong person, the good things around you will be short-lived. Only by becoming stronger quickly can he hold on to everything. Chapter 33 Queen Medusa panicked and forced herself to attack. Ha ha ha, it's done. Another hour, Boy Chen is really awesome. Xiao Qishang, who was watching outside the courtyard, couldn't help laughing wildly when he looked at Xiao Chen's leaving figure. As expected of his good daughter who was always peeing and pooping, she finally did not disappoint his old father tonight. I didn't expect that an old boy like you would succeed. But after all, I am still one step behind my daughter. From now on, Mr. Chen must call me father-in-law first. You, this old man, must be behind me. Seeing Xiao Qishang's embarrassed look, Xiao Mingyi on the side said that he was trying to steal the spotlight. You fart, it's up to Chen to decide who he wants to call first. It's not like your daughter takes down boy Chen first, he has to call you this old guy first. After hearing Xiao Mingyi's words, Xiao Qishang immediately retorted. Hey, Mr. Xiao, are you itchy? I'll loosen the soil for you. Seeing Xiao Qishang's arrogant look, Xiao Mingyi immediately sneered and geared up, and then rushed towards the opponent with a strange smile. A childlike fight ensued between the two men. When Xiao Delong on the side saw this scene, his face couldn't help but twitch. The daughters of these two damn old guys fell in love with Xiao Chen, and they all started squealing. Xiao Chen didn't have the heart to pay too much attention to these three disrespectful guys. However, when returning to his courtyard, Xiao Chen suddenly found a figure standing quietly in the center of the courtyard. This person, as Kai Yan, Miss Kayan hasn't rested yet. Seeing Queen Medusa looking up at the bright moon, Xiao Chen approached and asked in surprise. The moonlight is very beautiful tonight, so I couldn't help but take a few glances, it's just that the Xiao family just seemed a little uneasy. After hearing Xiao Chen's words, Kayan said inexplicably, and her voice seemed to be full of jealousy. This made Xiao Chen stiffen slightly, and his expression became a little guilty. Not calm? Is this a hint? There's too much movement tonight? Hiss, could it be that Queen Medusa has been spying on him with her spiritual sense tonight? Thinking of this problem, Xiao Chen panicked a little. It felt like he was caught and raped in bed, but the next moment he couldn't help but froze. It's not right. There was no special relationship between him and Kayan, so why did he make himself feel so guilty? Isn't this purely a disease? Men. Must be calm and take the initiative. It is said that Queen Medusa has a cold nature. I never thought that Miss Kayan would fall in love with her. When the thoughts fall in my mind, Xiao Chen just smiled lightly and resolved the invisible embarrassment. But although the moonlight is beautiful, don't delay resting. After saying that, Xiao Chen didn't stop for long and walked straight into the side room. Although he intends to win over Kayan, there is no need to pursue her too much. To explain everything too humbly will make you more passive. Just let everything take its course. Master, do you think I'm too cold? Seeing Xiao Chen walking back to her room, Kayan's eyes couldn't help but dim. As a snake human, she has a cold nature. And Xiao Chen is the one person in her life who can make her mood fluctuate, and even make her want to protect her for the rest of her life. So after she realized that Xiao Chen was having an affair with two women, she felt a little uncomfortable. Then I stood in the courtyard looking at the moon and meditating. But after some calm thinking, she realized that she was not qualified to interfere with Xiao Chen. After all, not only was her life saved by the other party, she also received a great favor from the other party and was able to repair and upgrade her inner armor. Which human woman the other party likes is their freedom and pursuit. It was impossible for her to interfere in any of Xiao Chen's private life like a queen. Could it be that? I have to be like those two people, be more proactive and gentle, so that the young master will like me? When thoughts become confused, 
This thought came to Kayin's mind, which made her pretty face blush slightly. Queen Medusa, who is a snake tribe, wants to make her take the initiative towards a man. This difficulty for her is no less than breaking through the saint realm. No, the young master is not an ordinary man. If it were me, I would never take the initiative. Maybe he won't be able to occupy a place in his heart in this life. I can't miss the right son, the son, because of my coldness and arrogance. I must learn to take the initiative to cater to him. During this self-strategy, Kayan also raised her head suddenly, with a look of determination on her face. As the reincarnation of the Supreme Great Emperor, the young master has never seen any woman in his previous life. Even if I think about it, I don't like women who are jealous of each other. I will be accompanied by more excellent women in the future. So I want to occupy a place in Xiao Chen's heart. You can only make yourself better, and you can share more things with each other, and you can't be jealous over trivial matters. Otherwise, she and Xiao Chen will go further and further apart. After thinking about this, Kayan felt enlightened and her eyes became brighter. Although this decision is a bit ridiculous, it was enough to make the old snake tribe member feel extremely ashamed and humiliated, but she believed that she would not regret this decision in the future. Starting from tomorrow, I will take the initiative. After suppressing the thoughts in my heart, Kayan resisted the idea of going in to seduce Xiao Chen, and then returned to her private room with a thoughtful look on her face. She had to think carefully about how to take the initiative without being rude and at the same time draw closer to Xiao Chen. It's really nerve-wracking. At the same time, the Lin family in Tiandu City. Although it was almost late at night, but Lin Yao's study was still brightly lit, and he looked very restless and impatient. During the two days when Lin Xiaoshan and Lin Zhaofeng led many elders to Liuyin City to destroy the Xiao family, he was always in a state of unease for some reason. It seems that something will happen during this trip. Therefore, when Lin Yao didn't know whether the trip was going well or not, Lin Yao couldn't calm down at all. Master, Lu, there is news from Li Yin City. Just when Lin Yao felt more and more uneasy, a man rushed in in a panic and threw himself on the ground like a dog eating shit. The Supreme Elder and the others, dot are all dead. Boom. As the man finished speaking, thunder exploded in Lin Yao's mind, and his aura became chaotic. What did you say? Lin Yao rushed directly to the man and lifted him up, his eyes instantly filled with bloodshot eyes. Those are two Grotto Heaven Realm powerhouses, and a dozen or so Schwanden Realm powerhouses, enough to sweep across the entire Liuyin city. How could they all be dead? At the end of the sentence, Lin Yao yelled out on the spot, spitting directly into the man's face. You can't blame him for being so out of sorts. After all, they are more than 90% of the top experts in the Lin family. Once they die, it will be a devastating blow to the Lin family. Master, this is absolutely true. Being picked up by Lin Yao on the spot, the man's legs were so frightened that he continued with a trembling voice. It is said that two supreme elders led their men into the Xiao family, and suddenly there was a bloody light rising into the sky from within the Xiao family. It seemed to be a terrifying heavenly rank killing array. After that, the supreme elder and others were no longer seen. Heavenly rank formation? After hearing the man's report, Lin Yao felt as if his body had been drained. His hands weakly let go of the man, and he collapsed to the ground on the spot. The Lin family is finished. The three great Grotto Heaven Realm elders and a dozen or so elders of the Revolving Core Realm all died in just a few days. He is the only head of the entire Lin family, and there are a bunch of deacons who can't support the situation. How can they defend the Lin family in Tiandu City? No, the Lin family is not over yet. Lin Feng is still here. He may be able to save the Lin family. Thinking of his son Lin Feng, an inner disciple of Tai Yi Sword Sect. Lin Yao stood up tremblingly and immediately sent a message to Lin Feng. If he could please the elders of Tai Yi Sword Sect, he could use the fact that the Xiao family has the heavenly rank formation as bait. Maybe we can use the power of Tai Yi Sword Sect to destroy the Xiao family, and the Lin family can find a chance to survive in the cracks. Chapter 34 Yun Shi? Why are you hiding under my quilt? Finally I can rest. Back in the private room, Xiao Chen walked straight to the big bed, stretched out and lay down on it. But at this same moment, an exclamation came from the bed. This made Xiao Chen's expression freeze on the spot. Is there someone under the covers? Feeling something strange underneath him, 
Xiao Chen thought there was an assassin and grabbed him underneath him with his backhand. Then, when another exclamation sounded, Xiao Chen caught a ball. It is warm, soft and elastic in the hand. The size is just right to cover his entire palm, and it also has a grainy feel in the center. Damn, this feels a bit familiar, could it be? Feeling fucked up in his heart, Xiao Chen stood up and lifted off the quilt. One was wearing thin pajamas and had an exaggerated figure. The cute girl, who looked nervous and ashamed, also appeared in front of Xiao Chen. Yun Shi? Why are you hiding under my blanket? Xiao Chen looked at the cute girl in front of him with a collapsed expression, and almost covered his head and shouted his brother's slogan. This peach blossom tribulation is never over, right? I just took care of Xiao Meyer and Xiao Linger, and suppressed Kayan with her aura, but I didn't expect that Yun Shi would come here again? I. I want to help the young master warm the bed. Seeing Xiao Chen's unhappy look, Yun Shi couldn't help but shrink his head clasped his hands and replied nervously. Here is another picture of Yun Zai's black version, also made by the author. The original picture is in the comment area, I don't know if it can be displayed. Hearing Yun Zai's cute answer, Xiao Chen was stunned. It has just entered autumn, and the weather has not yet felt cool. Even if you take off your clothes, you will not be frozen to death. Besides, he has the cultivation level of the seventh level of spiritual aperture, does he need a maid to come over and warm the bed? Give you another chance to reorganize your language. What do you want to do when you come to my room at night? After gently knocking the other party on the head, Xiao Chen asked pretending to be a little angry. Well, don't be angry, young master. I actually wanted to come over to sleep with you. Yun Shi sighed softly and covered her head, then lowered her head and said with a flushed face. She also knew a little bit about what happened tonight. Unexpectedly, Xiao Chen, who had a normal relationship with Xiao Mayer and Xiao Linger before, would show off his power tonight and directly teach the two women to scream. The strange sound made her blush, and she couldn't help but sympathize with Xiao Mayer and Xiao Linger. At the same time, I was thinking. This must be caused by Xiao Chen being young and full of energy and having too much anger to vent. As a personal maid, she did not help Xiao Chen to properly guide her but instead caused Xiao Meyer and Xiao Linger to suffer. This was her dereliction of duty as a personal maid. So feeling tormented and entangled in her heart, Yun Shi boldly ran to Xiao Chen's room, intending to use her gentleness to calm Xiao Chen's anger. What are you thinking about, girl? Before Yun Shi finished speaking, Xiao Chen knocked the other person angrily again. Go back to your room and go to sleep. We'll talk about waiting for you later. In fact, Yun Shi is already considered an adult woman in this world. But in Xiao Chen's eyes, it's still a bit small. The most important point is. The bloodline seal on Yun Zai's body will not only protect the opponent's safety, but also seal the opponent's primordial yin. Once a man wants to do something like that to Yun Shi, the blood seal will be triggered on the spot. That kind of terrifying attack power can obliterate the celestial human realm. Even if he is protected by the mark of a famous sword, he can still hold on for three seconds even if he fights to death, so this girl still needs to be raised first. When he becomes stronger in the future, what is his will eventually be his? Master, do you dislike me? After being rejected by Xiao Chen on the spot, Yun Shi smacked her lips and tears immediately filled her eyes. Like an abandoned child, that look can really break your heart. I see you are thinking wildly again. Seeing Yun Zai's appearance, Xiao Chen covered his head. This personality is probably caused by the lack of love when I was a child. I feel like I am about to be abandoned by others just a word. Okay, stop looking so heartbroken. Master, let me hold you to sleep tonight. After looking at this exquisite face, Xiao Chen didn't have the heart to drive it out, and then added a little dotingly. But the young master is a little tired tonight, so he just holds you to sleep. Don't be careless. He couldn't really touch Yun Shi, so Xiao Chen had to say this. But his popularity with women is too strong. All the beauties of Supreme Grade were leaning against her with all their strength. It seems that from now on, he must have an ancient kidney body, otherwise he will be sucked dry by these people without even having six kidneys. Thank you, Master. After hearing Xiao Chen's words, Yun Shi kissed Xiao Chen fiercely, and then hugged Xiao Chen tightly. Greedily sucking in the scent of Xiao Chen's body, his heart was beating hard. 
she could finally sleep with Xiao Chen, which she never dreamed of. As long as she pleases the young master more in the future, the young master will definitely like her more. The next morning, Xiao Chen slowly woke up from his sleep. When he opened his eyes, he found a small face leaning toward his face with a pouted mouth. You girl, you are really as big as a brat. Seeing Yun Shi closing her eyes and about to kiss him, Xiao Chen said angrily. Ah, master, are you awake? Hearing Xiao Chen's words, Yun Shi was startled, and her pretty face turned red instantly. Unexpectedly, he wanted to kiss Xiao Chen secretly, but was caught on the spot. It's really embarrassing. Okay, get up and wash up. The young master has something important to do today. Looking at the love-minded Yun Shi, Xiao Chen said something in a soft voice, got up, changed clothes and walked out of the room. After a short rest, it was a bloody storm. He didn't forget to send the Lin family off. It's so big. No wonder the young master said I'm still a little small. No wonder they screamed so miserably last night. Watching Xiao Chen walk out of the wing, Yun Shi muttered with shame as if she remembered something. Then she quickly got up and went to do what she should do. As soon as Xiao Chen walked out of the room, he saw several figures already standing in the courtyard. Ha 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 ha, Xiao Chen, you look good. You should have rested well last night. Before he could see who these people were, Xiao Mingyi appeared in front of him. You old boy, why are you standing so far forward, blocking Xiao Chen from coming out? Seeing Xiao Mingyi approaching him, Xiao Qishang was not willing to be outdone and immediately went up to pull him away. Looking at Xiao Zan and Xiao Delong, the corners of their mouths couldn't help but twitch. Even though he is already several decades old, he still likes to be in the limelight. The two elders seem to be in a good mood. Seeing this familiar face, Xiao Chen also looked depressed. Even his daughter gave him a warm bed without hesitation. These two people were really crazy about him. Ha ha ha, the sparrows were chirping last night, and there seems to be good news to come, so today. Hmm? Why do you feel so cold? After hearing Xiao Chen's angry question, Xiao Mingyi laughed and was about to say something. But before he could finish his words, a sudden chill came down his back. The laughter of the two people stopped suddenly, and they quickly turned around and looked towards the center of the courtyard. They saw a woman in hot and sexy clothes, with an exquisite and charming face, staring at them faintly. Chapter 35 It seems that my Xiao family is about to produce a reckless hero. Hiss. Queen Medusa. Seeing Kei Yin's cold eyes, both of them were frightened and their expressions became a little restrained. With their qualifications and experience, naturally, it is not difficult to see that Kei Yin cares about Xiao Chen, and maybe she also wants to be her concubine. But the two of them did a little trick last night, and Xiao Chen got two more women. One by one, they all got in front of Queen Medusa. This woman must have wanted to kill them all on the spot. However, this chill was only fleeting. After seeing Xiao Chen looking at her, Kayan calmed down her breath the next moment. Although she felt a little uncomfortable, she would not embarrass these people. A little scare is enough, if it is unreasonable. I'm afraid it will make Xiao Chen feel disgusted. Good morning, master. After scaring Xiao Mingyi and Xiao Qishang, Kayan showed a faint smile to Xiao Chen. That kind of gentle and elegant gesture made Xiao Mingyi and others slightly startled. Sure enough, women are fickle creatures, and Queen Medusa is no exception. Only when dealing with people you care about will you reveal your gentle and quiet side. Morning, feeling the change in Kayan, Xiao Chen also smiled lightly. Chen'er, please be careful when heading to Tiandu City next. If you encounter any crisis, remember to focus on saving your life, and don't be too strong for the moment. Feeling that the atmosphere was a bit awkward, Xiao Zan stood up and spoke out at this time. As he spoke, he reached out and patted the other party's shoulder, then handed a scroll into Xiao Chen's hand. This is the geographical map of Wangzhou. You can use it next. I'll be careful. Xiao Chen immediately took the scroll and nodded cautiously. He is not a reckless man. He would not be stupid enough to think that with Kayan protecting him, he could do whatever he wanted in the Wangzhou area. If he really encounters a life or death crisis, he will definitely let Kayan take him away first. After all, you only have one life, and living is what matters. Miss Kayan, Chenner is counting on you on this journey. Xiao Zan nodded happily, then looked at Kai Yan, and spoke very sincerely. 
Judging from the look in the eyes of this Queen Medusa, she might be one of his daughters-in-law in the future. So Xiao Zan's eyes. It was with a touch of encouragement and kindness, which suddenly made Kayan slightly stunned. I will, as if sensing the meaning of Xiao Zan's eyes, Kayan immediately responded with some restraint. She didn't care about the other members of the Xiao family in this courtyard, but Xiao Zan was young master Xiao's father. Even as Queen Medusa, she cannot lose due respect. Next, after some pleasantries, Xiao Chen was ready to set off. But when he picked up the map and looked at it, Xiao Chen suddenly felt a headache. He can't fly yet, and he doesn't have any flying tools. It's a bit troublesome to go to Tiandu City. It would be great if there was a flying boat. As his mind was spinning, Xiao Chen couldn't help but mutter. Unfortunately, the most inferior flying boat can only be built with earth rank materials, and its cost is far higher than that of ordinary treasures. Even the Lin family in Tiandu City couldn't get a flying boat. It is even a rare treasure in Liyuan City. Master, hold my hand, I will take you to fly. Just when Xiao Chen felt depressed, Kayan suddenly stood beside him and spoke softly. After saying that, he extended his left hand, making Xiao Chen slightly stunned. Actually, so proactive? Thank you, Miss Kayan. After a moment of silence, Xiao Chen smiled lightly and then extended his hand. It's cold and tender for a while, just like soft and fragrant jade. Xiao Chen couldn't help but feel a little strange. The moment they held hands, Kayin's body trembled slightly, and her expression became a little unnatural. Of course, she didn't reject this feeling, but she felt a little nervous and shy. Although this was not the first time she had skin-to-skin -skin contact with Xiao Chen, the strange feeling still made her feel uneasy. Sir, if you don't mind, please call me Kayin from now on. Calling Miss Kayin seems awkward. After a moment of silence, Kayin said coldly. It not only shocked Xiao Chen, but also scared Xiao Zan and others. Unexpectedly, this cold Queen Medusa would actually let people call her by her real name. Is this hinting at something? Hurry up! The next moment, before Xiao Chen could say anything, Kayin added something, and her cultivation started to move accordingly. The vast true energy enveloped Xiao Chen, and the two of them rose into the sky in an instant. With her cultivation level now restored to the third level of universal truth, even if she doesn't have to hold Xiao Chen, she can still take him flying. But after figuring everything out last night, in order to promote the relationship between the two, Kayan mustered up the courage and chose to hold Xiao Chen's hand. It seems that our Xiao family is about to produce a reckless hero. The aura of Queen Medusa is too strong. No one can shock her except Xiao Chen and the head of the family. It seems that I need to warn Mayer and Ling'er not to be jealous of her. Seeing Xiao Chen and Kayan leaving, Xiao Mingyi and Xiao Qishong not only sighed. Thinking of Queen Medusa's captivating look just now, the two of them couldn't help but shudder. Well, there is a picture. Here is a picture of the Queen's bunny girl outfit when she was a girl. Time flies by like a white horse, two days are fleeting. The Lin family in Tiandu City was already in panic, and Lin Yao had aged ten years in the past two days. Master, the young master is back and is in the meeting hall now. When Lin Yao was thinking about how to stabilize the Lin family's various industries as quickly as possible. A deacon walked into the study excitedly. There is also good news. The young master is back with his master. What? After hearing the middle-aged man's words, Lin Yao stood up suddenly, with a look of excitement on his face. Lin Fang's master. However, the inner sect elder of Taiyi Sword Sect has reached the seventh level of Nirvana. Looking at the entire Wangzhou region, he can be considered a strong man. If this person helps the Lin family, he might be able to destroy the Xiao family in Liyuan City. Even if you lose. Depending on the opponent's position within Taiyi Sword Sect, Taiyi Sword Sect can also use stronger players. By then, even if the Xiao family has the heavenly rank formation as their trump card, it will only be reduced to ashes in front of Taiyi Sword Sect. Let's go. Come with me to meet Master Funger. When the thought came to an end, Lin Yao walked quickly towards the meeting hall and almost fell over. Chapter 36 I can give you a chance. Chamber. Lin Feng sat on the chair with a gloomy expression, and couldn't help clenching his fists tightly. He never expected that in just a few days, bad news would come to the Lin family. 
not only his grandfather Lin Shang'an, but also two other supreme elders, and even more than a dozen Xuandan realm elders. They all died in Liuyan City. Almost overnight, the Lin family existed in name only. And the root of all this is actually because of him. If he hadn't deliberately killed the young master of the Shao family in Liuyan City during the Taiyi Sword Sect test some time ago, his grandfather would not want to help him eliminate future troubles, and the Lin family would not suffer a devastating blow. He didn't expect that the consequences he planted impulsively would cost the Lin family such a heavy price. Funger, you are finally back. Just when Lin Feng's expression turned ferocious, Lin Yao also came to the meeting hall at this time. Father, Lin Feng's heart trembled when he saw that Lin Yao had aged more than ten years in just a few days. The hatred for the Xiao family in his heart soared to the extreme. As this Funger's master? Lin Yao had no intention of talking nonsense to Lin Feng. His eyes fell on the old man in blue beside him, and then he knelt down without any nonsense. Lin Yao, the head of the Lin family, hereby sincerely asks your majesty to uphold justice for our Lin family. The Xiao family of Liuyan City relied on their possession of sky-high price treasures. Not only did they kill Lin Feng's grandfather over a disagreement, but they also killed all our elders who came to seek justice. After saying that, Lin Yao raised his head, his eyes flashed coldly, and then he took off a na ring from his body. The Xiao family is so cruel and unkind and should be destroyed by righteous people. Lin Yao is willing to use 80% of the Lin family's wealth as reward and I sincerely ask your majesty to seek justice for our Lin family this time. After saying that, Lin Yao bowed his hands and presented the ring. Master Lin doesn't have to be like this. Seeing the Naji in Lin Yao's hand, the old man in blue's eyes lit up slightly. Then he stood up and helped Lin Yao up, then put away the ring without leaving any trace. Lin Feng is my direct disciple. Now that the Lin family has encountered such changes, I cannot turn a blind eye. Since the Xiao family in Liuyan City is so cruel and unkind, I will go and wipe it out of the world, as a way to comfort the elders of the Lin family. After saying that, a powerful cultivation aura immediately erupted in the meeting hall. This made Lin Yao so moved that his body trembled and a look of pleasure appeared on his face. As long as the powerful Taiyi Sword Sect takes action, the Xiao family can basically be declared destroyed. Ha <laughs> ha! If you want to erase the Xiao family from this world, old guy, your tone is quite serious. Also at this time, as a voice echoed with a sneer, two figures appeared strangely outside the hall. Who? Hearing these sudden words, Lin Yao and others' expressions suddenly changed, and they looked outside the hall. I saw a man and a woman standing quietly in the inner courtyard of the Lin family. It was Xiao Chen and Kayan. In fact, they arrived at Tiandu City half a day ago, but for the sake of caution. It took some time to find out about the Lin family. After learning that the Lin family has now sealed the door, it not only suspended all the properties under its name, but also recalled all the strong family members. Even Lin Feng, the young master of the Lin family, traveled thousands of miles back to the Lin family from Taiyi Sword Sect. Xiao Chen guesses, the Lin family probably wanted to use Lin Feng's connections to ask the powerful people of Taiyi Sword Sect to turn the tide. So after thinking for a while, he and Kayan broke into Lin's house. Unexpectedly, they happened to hear the old guy's boastful words. It's you, Xiao Chen. After seeing Xiao Chen and Kayan clearly, Lin Feng's pupils suddenly shrank violently and he shouted in disbelief. This guy was. A few days ago. He had obviously destroyed his Dantian and was seriously injured, but now he appeared here with a look of nothing, plus the Xiao family suddenly had the heavenly rank formation. Could it be that this guy got some incredible opportunity that gave the Xiao family the capital to counterattack the Lin family? It's actually you, and the old man in blue obviously recognized Xiao Chen. Not long ago, he was the one who presided over the competition between two people in the entry-level assessment of Taiyi Sword Sect. After Lin Feng severely injured Xiao Chen and crippled him, he withstood the pressure to protect Lin Feng, and finally accepted Lin Feng as his disciple. I didn't expect that I would bump into this kid when I came to Lin's house this time? We meet again, seeing the horrified looks on their faces, Xiao Chen showed a stern smile. The grudges of the past few days should be settled. Boom. Almost as soon as these words were spoken, Kai Yan, whose face was covered with gauze, 
also burst into cultivation at this moment. The terrifying pressure collapsed like a mountain, making Lin Feng and others feel as if the sky suddenly collapsed. His face turned pale at this moment, and his pupils shrank into needle shapes on the spot. Tong. Universal Truth Realm Strong Man. Feeling this overwhelming and terrifying pressure, the old man in blue shouted in a sharp voice. A strong man of this level, in their Taiyi sword sect, would not exceed the number of five fingers. Every one of them can be said to be the foundation of the sect. And a strong man of this level can kill him easily. Sir, do you want to keep the whole body? Staring at Lin Feng and others faintly, Kayan asked in a cold voice. The young master's enemy is her enemy. Especially that young man, who dared to injure the young master some time ago, and even dared to destroy the young master's dantian. The young master must have suffered a lot for this. If she could, she would definitely crush this guy to ashes, otherwise she would be sorry for the suffering the young master has suffered. Well, let's keep the body intact. Xiao Chen nodded indifferently when he heard this, and replied without any fluctuation in his voice. Today, the Lin family must leave no chickens or dogs behind, and even dig three feet into the ground to scatter the ashes of their ancestors. As Xiao Chen finished speaking, Kayan also raised her right hand. The red flame, as strange as blood, also burned from her hand at this moment. Your Excellency, spare your life. I am the inner elder of Tai Yi Sword Sect. I offended you a few days ago due to confusion. Now I am willing to apologize. I hope you can let me go. Seeing Kayan raising her hand to block this space, a terrifying life and death crisis exploded in her heart. The old man in blue looked horrified at this moment. As he spoke, he handed over the space ring that Lin Yao gave him, as well as another Na ring that he wore on his right hand. These two space rings. One contains 80% of the Lin family's resources, and the other contains all of my net worth. I am willing to hand over both Na rings to you. I hope that you will let me leave here for the sake of Tai Yi Sword Sect. If Your Excellency has any instructions in the future, I will also be willing to do my best for you. While speaking, the old man in blue bowed down to Xiao Chen, making both Lin Yao and Lin Feng dumbfounded. He had just accepted their benefits and threatened to completely wipe out the Xiao family. As a result, the real owner appeared. This old guy turned against him faster than flipping through a book and even gave up his dignity to save his life? Ha ha, I'll kill you. These resources are still mine. Hearing the words of the old man in blue, Xiao Chen couldn't help but sneered, his voice a little mocking. But I can give you a chance. If you kill them and wipe out all the Lin family, I will not kill you. The cold words with a touch of cruelty echoed in the Lin family, causing the expressions of Lin Yao and others to change drastically. Chapter 37 I only said, I won't kill you. I didn't say she won't kill you. Master, don't listen to him, he must be lying to you. Your Majesty, you cannot give up on our Lin family, our Lin family is. After Xiao Chen finished speaking, Lin Feng and Lin Yao couldn't help but scream in fear. Xiao Chen obviously wants them to kill each other. Even if Li Hai really kills them, he will still end up dead. I just want to live, I can't blame you anymore. Before Lin Feng and Lin Yao finished speaking, Li Hai suddenly raised his head and his expression became extremely ferocious. When the cold voice came out, his cultivation also exploded. Next moment. Li Hai looked like a ghost, his hands directly strangled the two people's necks. As Lin Yao and Lin Feng looked at each other in disbelief, Li Hai broke their necks in an explosion of true energy. The father and son, Lin Yao and Lin Feng, both died with their eyes open at this moment. Sir. I have already taken care of these two blind things for you. Next, I will slaughter the entire Lin family to completely eliminate future troubles for you. After killing Lin Yao and Lin Feng, Li Hai raised his hands in a low voice, his posture almost humble at this moment. After saying that, before Xiao Chen could say anything, Li Hai walked straight out of the hall. The muscles all over his body were tense, and his nerves were extremely tense. If he could stay away from the woman in front of him, he would have a chance to use the escape method divine ability. By then, even if this woman is a strong person in the universal truth realm, she will not be able to keep him completely. It's so clean and tidy, you old guy is really a character. As soon as Li Hai finished speaking and was about to walk out of the hall, Xiao Chen sneered. 
This indifferent and cold voice made Li Hai stiffen. An ominous premonition also broke out in my heart. Kill him. Sure enough, when Li Hai sensed something was wrong, Xiao Chen immediately gave Kayan instructions. Didn't you say you wouldn't kill me? Hearing Xiao Chen say these three words, Li Hai's hair trembled and exploded, and he yelled hysterically. His cultivation level exploded at this moment, and his figure immediately shot towards the sky. I only said, I won't kill you. I didn't say she won't kill you. Xiao Chen sneered when he heard this, and his words were a bit mocking. This kind of person who knows how to tolerate and is cold-blooded and decisive. If the other party is allowed to leave here alive, it will definitely become a big problem in the future. Originally, Xiao Chen wanted to use this guy's hands to cleanse the Lin family with blood, to prevent Kei Yin's hands from being stained with too much sin and blood. After that, he asked Kei Yin to kill the other person, but after seeing this guy's reaction, he didn't dare to let him live for a few more seconds. What's more, this guy was one of the culprits who caused the original body to be deposed, and he was also the one who severely injured Xiao Zan with a palm a few days ago. Unless this man dies, the resentment in his heart cannot be completely dissipated. Boom! Almost as Xiao Chen's words echoed, Kei Yin's cultivation reached its peak. A strange red light suddenly filled the entire Lin family, and the spiritual energy of the world within ten miles suddenly boiled. Fire pythons continuously rose into the sky from the ground below, and then roared towards Li Hai. This move. Kei Yin used almost all her current strength, leaving no room for Li Hai to resist. No, if you kill me, you will be punished by Tai Yi Sword Sect. Seeing the fire pythons coming to kill, Li Hai let out a hysterical roar, and a protective shield was formed during the explosion of cultivation. Try to block this wave of offensive. But before he could finish his words, the fire pythons overwhelmed him. The roar was like thunder, shaking most of Tiandu City. The thousand-acre manor where the Lin family was located continued to collapse under the impact, and instantly turned into a sea of fire. Such amazing movement. Immediately, many strong men in Tiandu City suddenly raised their heads and looked at the Lin family manor with horrified eyes. Master, they are all dead, and in the center of this sea of fire. Kayan carried out a charred corpse with a wave of her hand. This was obviously Li Hai who was killed by her with one blow. Of course, not just Li Hai, but also the Lin family. With this move of divine ability, they were all wiped out. It's just that the cultivation level of these people is too low, and they can only be wiped out in ashes under such an attack. It is impossible to leave intact corpses. System, recover this body. Looking at the Lin family reduced to ruins in front of him, Xiao Chen gave instructions to the system in an indifferent voice. For his enemies, his heart can be as cold as an abyss and he will not have any mercy. After all, if you cut the weeds without eradicating the roots, they will grow again when the spring breeze blows. He didn't want to leave any hidden dangers that would kill him and his clan members in the future. Ding! The system has been recovered. Congratulations to the host for earning 6,800 points. With a flash of light, Li Hai's body disappeared, leaving only two space rings. Sir, there is too much noise here, we must leave first. The next moment, when Xiao Chen put away the two space rings, Kei Yin's voice sounded very solemn. Before Xiao Chen could say anything, Kei Yin grabbed Xiao Chen's hand. The burst of cultivation turned into a stream of light and quickly disappeared into the sea of fire. Barely half a day. The fact that the Lin family was destroyed by a strong man caused a sensation throughout Tiandu City. However, the city lord's palace only ordered the entire city to be on alert and did not send anyone to investigate and eliminate who was responsible. After all, the Lin family is only a second-rate family in Tiandu City and is not qualified to make a big splash in the city lord's mansion. What's more, to be able to destroy the entire Lin family in a moment, the person who takes action must be a strong man from the universal truth realm. This kind of strong man is almost invincible in Tiandu City. As long as the other party didn't want to massacre the city, the city lord's mansion would not dare to pursue it. This is a world where the strong are respected. As expected of the elder of Tai Yi Sword Sect, he is really extremely wealthy. In an inn in the south of Tiandu City, Xiao Chen's spiritual sense penetrated into Li Hai's Naji and saw the mountains of resources inside. I couldn't help but sigh. 
not to mention the various resources used for cultivation, there are hundreds of thousands of spiritual crystals alone. The total net worth should be worth 1 million spiritual crystals. Next, Xiao Chen used his appraisal ability to recycle all the unused items and exchange them into points. As for some useful elixirs, you can use points to upgrade them to supreme grade. After some operations, the points originally exceeded the 100,000 mark, but were suddenly consumed to the bottom again. But in this operation, not only did he synthesize and upgrade a heavenly rank supreme grade soft armor, he also synthesized and upgraded several earth rank level elixirs. For example, the Zan Ni Dan, which is used to increase the Grotto Heaven Realm and break through the Nirvana Realm, and the Panling Pill, which is used by Nirvana Realm experts to improve their cultivation. These are pills that are enough to make many powerful people go crazy. The next step is to use these resources and convert them into more points. Seeing that there were less than a thousand points left, Xiao Chen sighed, stood up, and spoke to Kayan who was also in the wing. Follow me to the Xi'an Chamber of Commerce. Xi'an Chamber of Commerce. It's Tiandu City. No, it's the largest chamber of commerce in the Great Qian Dynasty. The headquarters has a celestial human realm strongman sitting there. Although Tiandu Cheng is just a branch, the resources it contains are unimaginable. As long as you have enough spiritual crystals, you can almost have all the training resources below Saint Realm. What Xiao Chen wants to buy this time is a very precious heavenly rank elixir. It's called Fu Ling Zi Dan, Chapter 38 who gave you the courage to mock the young master. This is a very precious heavenly rank elixir that can restore the cultivation of strong people who have been injured and fallen. Certainly. Resurrection Purple Pill is also divided into rank 7 and rank 8. Each rank corresponds to a major realm. The higher the rank, the stronger the recovery effect will be. The Purple Pill of Resurrection that has reached rank 7 supreme grade can allow the Universal Truth Realm Master to recover all fallen cultivation levels. The Purple Pill of Resurrection that has reached rank 8 supreme grade can allow Celestial Human Realm Masters to recover all fallen cultivation levels. And in the system mall. Although there are pills of this type, he cannot unlock the heavenly rank product area because of his insufficient cultivation. Even if he had enough points, he couldn't redeem them. What's more, the price of redeeming the corresponding items in the system mall is usually several times the recycling price. If you want to redeem a rank 8 supreme grade resurrection purple pill, you cannot redeem it without hundreds of thousands of points. Therefore, Xiao Chen could only settle for the next best thing and find a way to collect an elixir on his own. As long as he can find a resurrection purple pill, even if it is the lowest rank 7 low grade, Kayan can be restored to his peak condition. After all, there is a systematic upgrade function, and with enough points, you can upgrade to the supreme grade level. Immediately afterwards, after Xiao Chen finished speaking, Kayan followed Xiao Chen out without asking any questions. Now she is 100% obedient to Xiao Chen. No matter what the other party is going to do, as long as it is not to destroy the snake people, she will follow him unconditionally. Half an hour later, Xiao Chen and Kayan walked around for a while before arriving at the entrance of Xi'an Chamber of Commerce. Along the way, the streets and alleys of Tiandu City were discussing the Lin family's destruction, and there were many rumors that it was the devil's fault. All kinds of rumors smearing the person who made the move made people in Tiandu City panic. Even Kayan, the always calm Medusa, almost killed several storytellers. Because some of those storytellers are trying to attract people's attention. She actually said that she was an ugly girl who failed to woo and was rejected by the young master of the Lin family, so she destroyed the Lin family in a rage. Fortunately, Xiao Chen caught Kai Yan in time and the storyteller saved his life. However, although these remarks were a bit outrageous, Xiao Chen was not very disgusted by them, and was actually a little happy in his heart. The more versions of these rumors exist, the more they confuse the truth. When it reaches Tai Yi Sword Sex ears, it will probably be delayed for some time. If the other party wants to know immediately whether it is related to the Xiao family in Li Yan City, he must have to spend a lot of time investigating before he can make a judgment. During the turning of thoughts, Xiao Chen and Kayan had already arrived at the lobby of Xi'an Chamber of Commerce and directly stated the purpose of their trip without any nonsense. What? You want to buy Heavenly Rank Elixir? Resurrection Purple Elixir? 
After hearing Xiao Chen say what he wanted to buy, the maid in charge was shocked on the spot. Heavenly rank elixir. This can be said to be an extremely rare treasure. Each one is priceless, and can easily cost hundreds of millions of spiritual crystals. Even the city lord of Tiandu city may not be able to afford it. The most important thing is that these kinds of things are almost all rare treasures in Tiandu city. Every time it appears, it will only be auctioned. There are very few heavenly rank items that can be sold individually. Could this guy in front of me be here to cause trouble? What? What's the problem? Seeing the maid's surprised reaction, Xiao Chen frowned and said helplessly. He suddenly had an ominous premonition, and it looked like he was about to be ridiculed. Ha ha ha, is this kid's head broken? He actually wants to buy heavenly rank items? As we all know, once there is a heavenly rank treasure in Tiandu City, it will be sold at auction. Where did this kid come from? He came to the public hall to buy heavenly rank. As expected. When Xiao Chen's thoughts fell, several people around him burst into laughter, and one of them even had a mocking look on his face. He sneered with an exaggerated expression. His eyes kept wandering back and forth on Kei Yin's body, as if he wanted to attract the other person's attention in this way. Although Kei Yin's face was covered with a veil, judging from the other person's figure and skin color, it is not difficult to tell that this is a supreme grade beauty. As the third young master of the Wan family in Tiandu City, he has never seen many women with a figure as supreme as Kayan. Queen Medusa looks so beautiful with her face covered. Presumptuous. Who gave you the courage to mock the young master? Before this person finished speaking, Kayan's eyes suddenly turned cold. As these two sentences fell, a terrifying coercion swept away instantly, and the young man in purple was swept away on the spot. Even everyone within a radius of 10 feet except Xiao Chen. Under the explosion of this coercion, everyone was pressed to the ground, and they could only raise their heads and look at Kayan with a horrified expression. A strong man in Nirvana realm. Feeling this terrifying pressure, the young man in purple was so frightened that he peed on the spot. He had only experienced this level of coercion from his grandfather and the commander of Tiandu City. Who would have thought that this woman with a stunning figure would have a cultivation level above the Nirvana realm? Oh, why bother? Looking at the people around him who were lying on the ground, Xiao Chen sighed helplessly. If he can still be ridiculed for buying something, does he have the aura of a protagonist? What happened? Just when Xiao Chen was sighing, a figure rushed out of the Chamber of Commerce. In just a moment, he arrived in the hall. This person is none other than the deacon elder of Xi'an Chamber of Commerce's branch in Tianducheng, named Cloud Mountain. With a powerful cultivation level in the sixth level of Nirvana, he is considered the top powerhouse in Tiandu City. After feeling the explosion of momentum, he thought a powerful enemy was coming. He was so frightened that he put away his gun during the battle, put on his clothes and rushed over immediately, his eyes immediately falling on Kai Yan. Hiss. Tong, the strong man of Universal Truth Realm? Feeling the vast and abyss-like aura on Kei Yin's body, a look made the hairs on his body tremble and stand up. Cloud Mountain couldn't help but scream in shock at this moment. Even the Lord of Tiandu City, who is in the Nirvana 9th level, cannot make him feel such a sense of life and death crisis. This is definitely a Universal Truth Realm powerhouse. Hiss. Dot she is actually a strong person in the Universal Truth Realm? After hearing Cloud Mountain's words, everyone lying on the ground around them took a sharp breath at this moment. And the young man in purple turned pale. He fainted immediately after looking at him, fearing that Kayan would notice him and kill him with just one look. I don't know that Cloud Mountain has failed to welcome you, so please calm down. Feeling numbness in his scalp, Cloud Mountain immediately clenched his fists at Kayan. Although he has the Xi'an Chamber of Commerce behind him, he faces a strong man above the universal truth realm. As a last resort, you still don't dare to anger the other person. How dare these people laugh at the young master? It's up to you to decide. After hearing Cloud Mountain's frightened words, Kayin's expression did not waver at all, but she glanced at the man in purple and the others indifferently. If she didn't want to cause more trouble to Xiao Chen, she would have raised her hand to kill these ants. Come here. Kick these short-sighted people out of the Chamber of Commerce and put them on the blacklist. After hearing this, Cloud Mountain got excited and asked people to blast those people out. These blind things almost caused him great trouble. 
Master, I wonder if you are satisfied with this punishment? After doing all this, Cloud Mountain also looked at Xiao Chen and asked in a flattering voice. To be called a master by a strong man from the Universal Truth Realm, the young man in front of him definitely has a great background. Maybe they are the descendants of the top forces in the Great Qian Dynasty. I thought that the woman in red in front of me was the most terrifying person in the room, but I didn't expect that this young man in black was. Chapter 39 The hemp rope is cut at the smallest point, and bad luck always seeks out the unfortunate. Let's talk somewhere else. Xiao Chen waved his hand after hearing this and did not pursue this nonsense. He's just a pushy, mean-mouthed young man, and there's no point in trying to kill him just because of a taunt. Thank you for your understanding, sir. Cloud Mountain breathed a sigh of relief when he heard this, and immediately led the way and led the two of them to the VIP room. Along the way, during some simple greetings, Xiao Chen also stated the purpose of the trip. Master Xiao wants to buy the Purple Pill of Restoration? Even Cloud Mountain was shocked when he heard Xiao Chen's target for this trip. As expected of a young master who is accompanied by a strong man from the Universal Truth Realm, this opening is such a precious heavenly rank elixir. It seems that the power behind Xiao Chen must be very powerful. What? Is there a problem? Seeing that even a strong person like Cloud Mountain was making a fuss after hearing this, Xiao Chen couldn't help feeling a little speechless. To be honest, sir, the kind of elixir you want to buy is not available in our small place. Even the Xi'an Chamber of Commerce headquarters may not have this kind of elixir. Cloud Mountain smiled helplessly upon hearing this. The purple pill of restoration is extremely special, and it is also a heavenly rank pill. Because it can restore the cultivation level that has been injured and fallen, and the refining of this elixir is also quite demanding. Therefore, no matter where it is, once the resurrection purple pill appears, it will be sold out immediately. And because of the special nature of this kind of thing, it is difficult for Xi'an Chamber of Commerce to obtain it. Generally, if a strong person obtains it, they will treat it as a treasure to prepare for emergencies. Unless the other party doesn't know the goods or is desperate, few strong people will sell the purple pill of restoration. This also led to, since the establishment of the Xi'an Chamber of Commerce for so many years, the total number of soul restoring purple pills auctioned off does not exceed 10. After hearing Cloud Mountain's answer, Xiao Chen couldn't help but be speechless. It seems that they still overestimated the Xi'an Chamber of Commerce and underestimated the rarity of the resurrection purple pill. Unexpectedly, this kind of elixir is so rare in the great Qian dynasty. Then are there any resurrection purple pill prescriptions for sale? After frowning, Xiao Chen asked unwillingly. If there is a prescription for the resurrection purple pill, it can be synthesized through system functions as long as the corresponding spirit medicine can be found. However, the elixir recipe is often more precious than the finished elixir. If he wants to get the recipe for the resurrection purple pill, he is afraid that he will have to pay a higher price. Master Xiao has a high opinion of our Xi'an Chamber of Commerce. Each of these heavenly rank elixir recipes is a rare treasure. Maybe there is a collection at the headquarters of the Alchemist Guild, but it would be more troublesome for the Xi'an Chamber of Commerce to get this kind of thing than to get a resurrection purple pill. Hearing this, Cloud Mountain smiled bitterly and shook his head. Immediately afterwards, when Xiao Chen's face turned ugly, Cloud Mountain seemed to remember something again. Suddenly he slapped his thigh fiercely and said with some excitement. By the way, there is a person who should have this kind of elixir, and this person is in Tiandu City. Hearing Cloud Mountain's words, Xiao Chen's eyes lit up and he immediately looked at him. Cloud Mountain didn't give in, and continued after a pause. This person is Morong Fu, the lord of Tiandu City. About 13 years ago, old city master Morong suffered a heavy blow unexpectedly, and his cultivation level fell from the second level of universal truth to the first level of Grotto Heaven. In order to restore Morong Bo's cultivation, Morong Fu did not hesitate to spend all his money to buy a soul-restoring purple pill. It's a pity that before returning to the city lord's palace, Morong Bo was assassinated again. Although I was lucky enough to save my life, my meridians and dantian were also destroyed, so this purple pill of restoration will no longer be of use. After talking about the origin of the resurrection purple pill in one breath, Cloud Mountain couldn't help but feel a little sad on his face. 
In those days, when Morong Bo was still a strong man in the universal truth realm, the status of the city lord's mansion was at its peak. Even a powerful force like Taiyi Sword Sect would not dare to offend Tiandu City easily. They even intend to win over the other party and form an alliance with them to fight against other forces. However, Morong Bo did not want to participate in the competition between other forces, so he kindly declined the invitation from the leader of Taiyi Sword Sect. Didn't expect it to be soon. He suffered heavy losses when entering the Great Wilderness Mountains, but luckily returned to the city lord's palace and was assassinated again. The lord of Tiandu City, who once had a powerful force for thousands of miles around, can now only be reduced to a useless man in a wheelchair. Hiss. This is a good thing. After hearing what Cloud Mountain said, Xiao Chen's eyes suddenly lit up and a look of ecstasy appeared on his face. As unfortunate as this story sounds, it's an opportunity for him to profit from it. Good thing. When Cloud Mountain heard this, he looked at Xiao Chen in confusion. He didn't know what the latter was gloating about. Is it possible, Xiao Chen has a grudge against Tiandu City City Lord's Mansion? Ahem, is this soul reviving purple pill still in his hand? Seeing Cloud Mountain's weird look, Xiao Chen coughed dryly and changed the subject. I'm here. Cloud Mountain frowned when he heard this. He had nothing to hide and continued in a low voice. It's just that 13 years have passed, and the Soul Resurrection Purple Pill in Morong Fu's hand has only reached rank 7 middle grade. No matter how it is sealed over the years, the potency of the medicine will be lost. The efficacy is at most equal to that of the low grade rank 7 restoring purple pill, and it may not be as good as the low grade rank 7 restoring purple pill. It doesn't matter. Xiao Chen waved his hand when he heard this and said indifferently. In fact, the level of this elixir is low enough, and the potency is also lost. In this way, his chances of getting it will undoubtedly be greatly improved. Ha ha ha, since the young master is determined to get the purple pill of restoration, you might as well go to the city lord's mansion and ask. Seeing Xiao Chen's indifferent look, Cloud Mountain couldn't say anything more, so he just gave a few friendly reminders. It's just that even if the power of the resurrection purple pill is lost, the city lord's mansion will not hand it over easily. As far as I know, the city lord's mansion once said that as long as someone can cure the old city lord Morong, or solve his daughter's innate disease. Not only can you get 1 million spiritual crystals in return, but you can also choose any five high-level treasures from the treasure house of the city lord's mansion. Speaking of this, Cloud Mountain showed a sad look on his face again, and he still had a little sympathy for Morong Fu. Not only did his father become a cripple, which weakened the status of the city lord's palace, but his beloved wife also died early. Even the only daughter thought that she had some kind of hidden disease and had become a strange being. Seriously, hemp ropes are broken at the smallest points, and bad luck always seeks out the poor. Thank you, Elder Cloud Mountain, for informing me. Xiao Chen smiled lightly and replied, then took out a bunch of things from the system space. Although you don't have the supply of fulling purple pill here, Xiao still wants to make a deal with your Chamber of Commerce. These are several different elixirs, how much are they worth? After saying that, Xiao Chen motioned to the other party to open the elixir bottle and check the quality of the elixir inside. Haha, ha, since the young master has this intention, I will take a look. Cloud Mountain didn't make any excuses, then picked up an elixir bottle and poured out an elixir from it. Use the true essence to wrap it in your hand, and then start to identify it carefully. Ha! Huh. There are. There are pill patterns? At the first sight of the elixir, Cloud Mountain's pupils suddenly shrank. As expected of a young master who is followed by strong men from the universal truth realm, he even plans to sell supreme grade elixirs. Immediately afterwards, Cloud Mountain did not dare to be careless at all, and then began to distinguish carefully. Hiss. This is actually the supreme grade Zan Ni Dan? After identifying what kind of elixir it was, Cloud Mountain immediately took a deep breath. He raised his head and looked at Xiao Chen with a shocked expression. Mr. Xiao, are you sure you want to sell this elixir? You must know that Zan Nirvana can increase the success rate of Grotto Heaven Realm experts to break through to the Nirvana Realm. Low grade Zan Ni Dan can increase the success rate by 10%. For middle grade, it is 20%, for high grade, it is 40%, and for supreme grade, it reaches an astonishing 70%.
As long as the person taking it is not particularly rubbish, taking supreme grade Zan Nirvana can basically break through to the Nirvana realm. Therefore, a supreme grade Zan Nirvana, in the hands of most forces, can create a Nirvana realm powerhouse. Unexpectedly, Xiao Chen had such a good thing, and instead of keeping it for future use, he planned to sell it. Do you have resources but no place to waste them? Or are you extremely confident in your own qualifications? Chapter 40 This damn old guy actually dares to act like a hooligan in front of me? It's not a rare thing. Elder Yun doesn't have to be like this. Seeing the shocked look on Cloud Mountain's face, Xiao Chen took a sip of tea and said in a nonchalant voice. This kind of thing, it's a rare thing for ordinary people to ask for, but it's easy for him to get it. Isn't it a rare thing? After hearing Xiao Chen's words, Cloud Mountain almost choked to death. I even want to stand up and give Xiao Chen a big dick and ask him if he doesn't understand what supreme grade elixir is. That is because the medicinal power of the elixir can be perfectly integrated union, so that the elixir does not have any impurities and there will be no side effects after taking it. Only then can it be called supreme grade elixir. Even a highly skilled alchemy master cannot guarantee that he will be able to refine supreme grade elixir every time. Therefore, the higher the level of the elixir, the harder it is for supreme grade to appear. This is the rarity of supreme grade elixir, take a deep breath. Suppressing the urge to complain, Cloud Mountain sealed the supreme grade Zan Ni pill back and picked up another pill bottle. Ha! Huh? Another supreme grade elixir? Seeing the green elixir suspended in his hand, with elixir lines all over it, Cloud Mountain's pupils couldn't help but dilate. And it's also a supreme grade elixir. After saying this tremblingly, Cloud Mountain's breathing became a little rapid, and his pupils couldn't help but emit green light. If it weren't for the fear of a universal truth realm powerhouse sitting next to him, he wouldn't be able to figure out how strong the power behind Xiao Chen is. Cloud Mountain wants to swallow this elixir directly. Supreme Grade Pan Ling Dan, after being taken by Nirvana Realm experts, it can improve one or two small realms. You must know that due to the limitations of his own talent, he has been stuck in the sixth level of Nirvana for many years. If he can take this Supreme Grade elixir, he can definitely break through to the seventh level of Nirvana, or even the even higher eighth level of Nirvana. Therefore, the Supreme Grade elixir in front of him was a fatal temptation for him. Ahem, Elder Cloud Mountain, could you please wipe the bomb on the side of your mouth? It feels like it's about to drip onto the elixir. Cloud Mountain was seen staring at the elixir in his hand with a burning look on his face. Xiao Chen couldn't stand it at this moment and coughed dryly and couldn't help but remind him. This elixir is not for sale yet. If it is dripped into Harazi, people will know how much they are separated from each other. Ahem, cough, cough, it's the old man who has lost his temper. Cloud Mountain blushed when he heard this and immediately restrained his posture. But his eyes were still fixed on the supreme grade elixir, like an old sister-in-law staring it away. Xiao Chen's scalp felt numb. This guy, is there some kind of fetish? Elder Cloud Mountain, there are other elixirs here, please identify them quickly. When he felt speechless, Xiao Chen could only remind him again. You can actually see the feeling of a crazy person by looking at a pill. This Cloud Mountain elder must be in need of love during this time. Okay, okay. Being urged by Xiao Chen in this way, Cloud Mountain was a little embarrassed, but it was hard to say anything. His reaction was indeed a bit out of control, immediately afterwards. In the eyes of Xiao Chen and Kayan, Cloud Mountain is like a bad old man who has never seen the world. Every time he identifies a pill, he makes a killing pig sound. Hiss. This is the supreme grade spiritual essence pill. The supreme grade elixir that can directly improve the cultivation level of a strong person in the spiritual aperture realm. Damn it. This is the supreme grade Yuan Pei Dan. The supreme grade elixir that can directly improve the cultivation level of strong people in the revolving Dan realm. Damn it. This is the supreme grade elixir, the supreme grade elixir that can allow strong people in the revolving Dan realm to break through to the grotto heaven realm. Wo Ni Ma, this is the supreme grade blood elixir. The supreme grade elixir that can restore damaged chi and blood to nirvana realm experts and repair injuries to meridians. After identifying all the elixir bottles, Cloud Mountain's body kept trembling, as if he was about to get sick. These pills are in front of me. Although he had seen them all before, 
most of them were in the low grade and occasionally in the high grade. And all of them are supreme grade. This is the first time I've seen them. Mr. Xiao, I dare to confirm again, these pills. Dot are you planning to sell them? Taking a deep breath to calm down, Cloud Mountain asked with a trembling voice. This should be the highest quality order among all the elixir transactions he has ever made. Well, that's just part of it. Xiao Chen nodded when he heard this, then threw out a bunch of pill bottles and continued in a nonchalant voice. I was afraid that it would be troublesome for you to identify them, so I only put one of each type. These are all the same elixirs. Of course, some have more elixirs and some have less elixirs, but the quality is all supreme grade. You can take stock. After saying that, Xiao Chen drank tea by himself, while Kayan just said nothing, sitting aside and fiddling with her nails. They're all supreme grade elixirs. Seeing this pile of pill bottles, there was a roar in Cloud Mountain's mind, and his pupils shrank to the extreme on the spot. I thought that those pills just now were all in Xiao Chen's inventory, but I didn't expect that the other party still had them. Five supreme grade Zan Nirvana pills, three supreme grade Panling pills, eight supreme grade Peiyuan pills, six supreme grade Tinling pills, ten supreme grade Lingyuan pills, three supreme grade blood elixirs. Hiss. There are so many supreme grade elixirs, I. I can't breathe. Boom. After taking stock of all the elixirs, Cloud Mountain's face turned red and his body was trembling. The whole person seemed to be in an orgasm, his body trembled and he suddenly lay on the ground, his legs jumping even harder. This shocked Xiao Chen. Old guy, what kind of plane are you doing? Is this a blackmail or a ploy? Seeing Cloud Mountain's reaction, Xiao Chen felt like his head was spinning. Is it possible that the special skills of some old ladies and grandpas in previous lives have been passed down to this fantasy world? Quick, quick. Take a breath for me. I'm out of breath. Cloud Mountain clutched his chest, his face turning from flushed red to purple. The whole person was panting hard and shouted at the door of the wing. Seeing this scene, both Xiao Chen and Kayan were a little confused, wondering what this old guy was trying to smoke. The two of them were stunned for a long time. An exquisite-looking maid at the door ran in with a blushing face after hearing Cloud Mountain's call. Then in the shocked eyes of Xiao Chen and Kayan, he tugged at the front of his clothes, then hugged Cloud Mountain's head, as if to suffocate Cloud Mountain to death. WTF? WTF? Is this the legendary human chest? Bah, artificial respiration? Who would have thought that this old guy from Cloud Mountain would dare to do such a despicable act in front of them? This damn old guy actually dares to act like a hooligan in front of me? Kayan, who had been silent all the time, was bored in every possible way. After seeing this scene, I couldn't hold back at all. A cold light flashed in my eyes, and the aura on my body became a little fierce. The aloof Queen Medusa is so cool. However, after hearing Xiao Chen's dry cough, Kayan was embarrassed and could only snort and turn her head away. This damn old guy will teach the young master bad things later. If Xiao Chen suddenly twitched and fell like this in the future, would she also have to run up and let him take a sip? Thinking of this, Kayan couldn't help but glance at Xiao Chen, and suddenly found that Xiao Chen was also looking at her. His eyes inadvertently glanced at her proud features, which made her pretty face turn red all of a sudden. Sir, what are you looking at? Kayan was about to use the tone of a queen and shout domineeringly, You don't want your eyes anymore? But when the words came to his mouth, it seemed that Xiao Chen couldn't be harsh, and in the end he could only say something awkward and coquettish. Cough, 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 it's nothing. Xiao Chen immediately turned his head away in embarrassment when he took a sneak peek at Kayan and was caught by the opponent, and then his eyes fell on Cloud Mountain who fell to the ground. You old guy. Have you had enough? Do you really think we don't exist? Chapter 41 Don't get me wrong, these things I bought are actually very useful. Hiss Lu. Hearing Xiao Chen's angry low voice and feeling Kai Yan's eyes that wanted to kill someone. Cloud Mountain took another deep breath before raising his head with some unfinished thoughts. Sorry, I made you two laugh. Seeing the weird looks on their faces, Cloud Mountain waved his hand to ask the maid to step back. Then he coughed a few times and said with a rather embarrassed expression. I'm a bit old now, so I'm bound to have some minor problems. If you get too excited, the energy and blood in your body will rush straight to the heavenly spirit. 
If you don't take a few breaths of the girl's breath in time, the old man will probably go crazy because of it. After hearing Cloud Mountain's explanation, Xiao Chen and Kai Yan were stunned. There is such a weird disease. Could it be that this old guy has practiced some evil technique of gathering yin and replenishing yang? Don't get me wrong, you two. This is because the pure yang technique I practiced was somewhat incomplete, and it was the sequelae left after forcibly breaking through to the Nirvana realm. Seeing Xiao Chen and Kei Yin's suspicious looks, Cloud Mountain reluctantly explained. The next moment, Cloud Mountain did not dwell on this topic, and just asked Xiao Chen with a solemn expression. Mr. Xiao, although the quality of this batch of elixirs are supreme grade, they are profound rank and earth rank elixirs, and the price they can be sold for will not be too high. If you are in urgent need of spiritual crystals now, I can purchase this batch of supreme grade elixirs from you for 3.6 million spiritual crystals. But if you are not in a hurry, my suggestion is to auction it for you. Our chamber of commerce only takes 20% as service fee, and the remaining 80% from the auction goes to the young master. I wonder what the young master wants, if it is an ordinary person. Cloud Mountain will choose to acquire it without hesitation, and will not ask the other party whether it wants to auction it. But Xiao Chen gave him a rather mysterious feeling, which made him want to make friends with him. So after some thought, he still chose to give up the profit. Auction? After hearing Cloud Mountain's words, Xiao Chen was slightly stunned, with a look of confusion on his face. Is your Chamber of Commerce going to hold an auction recently? As everyone knows, the purchase price of the Chamber of Commerce is generally the lowest price. If it could be auctioned, the value of his batch of elixirs might even increase several times. Therefore, when Xiao Chen heard that it could be auctioned, he was immediately excited. Ha ha ha, young master, it's just a coincidence that you came here. Tiandu City is scheduled to hold a grand auction in three days. Everything is almost ready now. All we have to do is make an announcement to invite surrounding forces. Cloud Mountain laughed when he heard this, with a touch of contentment on his face. For this auction, he applied to the Chamber of Commerce headquarters, and even a lot of good things came. I originally wanted to perform well, but now I have another guest, Xiao Chen. If this batch of elixirs could also be auctioned together, the three-day auction would be even more sensational. Three days later, Xiao Chen frowned slightly when he heard this, and made a decision after thinking for a while. Okay, just as you said, go directly to the auction. He just killed La Hai today. Taiyi Sword Sect should not find out the truth so quickly, so it should not pose any threat to the Xiao family in a short time. And the stay of these few days, he could find a way to deal with Morong Fu and get the purple pill of restoration in his hands. Young master is really wise. Cloud Mountain burst out laughing when he heard this, and then put away all the elixirs in front of him. I will keep these elixirs for you for the time being. I will ask someone to arrange a wing. You too will stay in the Chamber of Commerce these days. Don't be in a hurry if you want to live there, the deal isn't over yet. Seeing that Cloud Mountain planned to arrange accommodation for them, and also added this batch of elixirs to the auction list. Xiao Chen waved his hand and immediately called the other party to stop. Master, do you have any good things? Cloud Mountain turned around when he heard this and looked at Xiao Chen in surprise. With so many supreme grade elixirs, his family's wealth has not been emptied out. This young man is really extremely rich. No, I don't want to sell anything in this transaction, but I want to buy a batch of supplies from you. Seeing the surprised look in Cloud Mountain's eyes, Xiao Chen smiled and shook his head, then continued straight to the point. Your Chamber of Commerce has been operating in Tiandu City for so many years, so there should be a lot of waste materials that are difficult to sell. For example, broken soldiers, discarded elixirs, corpses and materials, these are somewhat valuable, but few people buy them. No matter how much you have, I want them all. This is the most fundamental purpose of his coming to Xi'an Chamber of Commerce. As the largest chamber of commerce in the Great Qian Dynasty, the chamber's means of collecting supplies can be said to be the most advanced. And such a large chamber of commerce is bound to have a lot of material inventory, including all kinds of materials. Due to quality issues, many supplies can only sit in warehouses and gather dust. If you become a distinguished customer of the Xi'an Chamber of Commerce and purchase these materials at a low price, you will definitely be able to convert them into countless points. 
That's why he sold so many supreme grade elixirs just to raise his status to a certain level. Next, it is convenient to purchase the materials of Xi'an Chamber of Commerce at the minimum price. Sir, do you want the scrap materials our Chamber of Commerce has in stock? After hearing Xiao Chen's words, Cloud Mountain was stunned. Obviously I don't know what Xiao Chen is doing. First, he sold a batch of supreme grade elixirs, but now he wants to buy up scraps. Do all powerful young men have such unique tastes? Do not misunderstand, these things I bought are actually of great use. Seeing Cloud Mountain's strange and suspicious look, Xiao Chen could only make up a random reason. Actually, it was my master who raised a weird devouring beast. You need to consume a lot of supplies every day to accelerate the growth of your bloodline, so you asked me to buy some waste. After saying that, Xiao Chen couldn't help but glance at Kayan. It seems that the blood of the sky-swallowing python in this woman's body, once fully activated and transformed, can also swallow all things to grow. What he said seemed to be a bit alluding to the other party. This woman shouldn't notice it, right? Just when this thought came to an end, Xiao Chen noticed that Kayan had also looked over, with a strange look in her eyes. That look seems to be saying, are you hinting to me that you want to keep me as a pet? Cough, seeing Kayin's weird look, Xiao Chen didn't dare to look at her for too long. He coughed dryly and then looked away. After hearing this, Cloud Mountain took a deep breath. He had never heard of strange beasts that could swallow up all things and grow. Could it be some kind of sacred beast cub? After having this absurd guess in his mind, Cloud Mountain became more and more in awe of Xiao Chen. He was able to raise such an unheard of exotic beast, and he also had so many supreme grade elixirs at his fingertips. The master behind Xiao Chen is also a celestial human realm powerhouse, and may also be an old monster from the saint realm. Since Mr. Xiao has a need, I will do my best to do it. When the thought fell, Cloud Mountain had the idea of currying favor with Xiao Chen, and immediately said with a cautious expression. Master Xiao, please stay here for a while. I will sort out all the materials that the Chamber of Commerce has found difficult to sell over the years and give them to you. After saying that, before Xiao Chen could say anything, Cloud Mountain was busy. Chapter 42 It's the same as holding hands, but the meaning is different. Half an hour later, Xiao Chen walked out of Xi'an Chamber of Commerce with a smile on his lips. After a lot of effort, all the waste materials of Xi'an Chamber of Commerce's branch in Tianducheng have been recycled and converted into points by him, and the points have exceeded 300,000 at this moment. After all, this is the Tianducheng branch of the Xi'an Chamber of Commerce. It has accumulated waste materials over hundreds of years. It can be worth 3 million if converted into spiritual crystals. Fortunately, Cloud Mountain did not collect the spiritual crystal immediately. It just planned to wait for the elixir to be auctioned and then deduct the corresponding fee from it. This allowed him to obtain this batch of resources now, and he still had 380,000 spiritual crystals left in his body. Sir, next. Dot are we going to the city lord's mansion? Looking at the blue sky, it was almost dusk, Kayan turned her head and asked suddenly. Well, now that we know that city lord Morong has the purple pill of restoration, we must get it next. Hearing Kayin's low voice, Xiao Chen nodded and responded. With these 300,000 points, he could solve most of the problems and get the elixir from Morongfu. He could even take the opportunity to conquer the Tiandu city lord's mansion and turn this force into a sharp blade in his hands. This way, with the Tiandu city lord's mansion to rely on, and Kayin returning to her peak condition, there is no need to fear Taiyi sword sex revenge. Master, you are so kind to me. After hearing Xiao Chen's words, Kayan couldn't help but tremble, lowered her head and spoke with emotion. In order to help her return to her peak condition, she even went to Tiandu City to work hard. As Queen Medusa of the Snake Tribe, her reputation in the human dynasty was not very good. Unexpectedly, Xiao Chen didn't care at all. He not only saved her life, but also helped her like this. Such hard work and financial expenditure are difficult for ordinary people to do but Xiao Chen is willing to pay for her. Could it be that? Young Master also likes her? After thinking of this possibility, Kayin's eyes couldn't help but tremble. While I was shocked, I also felt a touch of emotion and unprecedented sweetness. Although the young master is a bit flirtatious, he is really good to her. I will never let you down in this life. What's wrong with this woman? 
Hearing Kai Yan's sudden words, Xiao Chen turned his head in confusion, only to see spring waves in Kai Yan's eyes. The upper half of her face, which was not covered by the red gauze, faintly revealed a seductive blush. This made Xiao Chen couldn't help but feel a little thump in his heart. Damn it, this look is exactly the same as when Xiao Meyer and others wanted to interrogate him. Could it be that this Queen Medusa is in estrus and can't help but think about him? But the problem is, his current cultivation level is still relatively low, and he has not even developed the ancient kidney body yet. If he can't beat the Medusa Queen, wouldn't his male human venerable Yan be gone? After all, female creatures in estrus are more ferocious in combat than usual. If a plate is not good, Kunfei's eggs will be broken. For Kunkin, I want to show off the snake waist and beautiful legs of Queen Medusa. Hey, why are you staring at me like that? Feeling a little unsure, Xiao Chen coughed dryly and asked. Without, hearing Xiao Chen's straightforward question, even though Kayan thought she was in a good mood, she was almost off guard by Xiao Chen. Why didn't the young master tell her frankly? Did he want her to speak first? But she can't speak now. Is this really going to kill her? Sir, just leave the matter of the soul reviving purple pill to me. You go back to the Chamber of Commerce to rest. I will come back to you after I get it. When you feel depressed and angry inside. Kayan turned her head slightly, her voice sounded a little faint, and the aura on her body became a little dangerous. The young master still refused to take the initiative, and she was in a bad mood. This anger can't be taken out on the young master, so let's do it at the city lord's mansion. What do you want to do? There was something wrong with Kay Yin's aura, and her eyes even revealed the feeling of wanting to kill someone. Xiao Chen was immediately startled and asked with some confusion. Could it be that? Do you want to rob the city lord's mansion? Isn't this your plan, master? Kayan tilted her head in surprise when she heard this, and asked in confusion. After asking for the whereabouts of the resurrection purple pill, I learned that the other party would not hand it over easily. The simplest and crudest way is undoubtedly to rob directly, is it possible to steal at night? After all, they have absolute force to suppress them. Even if she is not at her peak now, she is still not something Morong Fu and others can handle. Hiss, rob the city lord's mansion. Xiao Chen took a deep breath when he heard this and looked at Kai Yan with a bit of pain in his head. Morong Fu and others have no grudge against me. There is no need to directly rob others just for a pill. You have to influence them with love, do you understand? As expected of Queen Medusa of the Snake Tribe, she is always ready to rob others. No wonder the strong humans are afraid of her. Kayan understands. After being educated by Xiao Chen, Kayan immediately lowered her head in grievance, and her mood became even worse. It seems that she still doesn't understand the young master very well. Half a day ago, he was so decisive and ruthless when he bloodbathed the Lin family and his family. Now we can use force to suppress, but we have to use love to influence the other party? Sure enough, men are fickle creatures, and their hearts are really unpredictable. Let's go, don't just stand around. Seeing Kayan lowering her head, she didn't know what she was thinking. Xiao Chen didn't want to waste time here. Without thinking, he took Kayan's hand and pulled her towards the central square. The sun is almost setting. If we don't hurry up, we may be rejected. Boom. Kayan had no idea what Xiao Chen was talking about at this time. Because when Xiao Chen held her hand, there was a roar in her mind, as if her soul was being pulled out by the other person. He just looked at Xiao Chen blankly, his body was like a puppet, being led by Xiao Chen towards the front. Young master. Actually took the initiative to hold her hand? The last time she took Xiao Chen to fly. Xiao Chen held her hand only after she took the initiative to speak. But this time, it was Xiao Chen who took the initiative to hold her hand when she was unprepared. They are both holding hands, but the meaning is different. This made Kay Yin's heart beat rapidly, and the alluring red lips under the veil also made a charming curve. The depression and unhappiness I felt just now disappeared in this moment. Sometimes, women are so easily satisfied, a small gesture can touch her heart. Chapter 43 Daddy, let me leave this world quietly. City Center Square. This is a relatively prosperous area in Tianducheng. There are not only shops selling various goods, but also various food stalls selling monster meat. There is even a martial arts arena in the central square where some martial artists can compete in martial arts. 
In front of the central arena area, there is a notice monument three feet high, with some notices issued by the city lord's palace posted on it. There is one of them. It was the city lord Morong Fu who asked for help with a lot of money, promising that only someone could cure Morong Bo, or Morong Qingxue, the daughter of the city lord's palace. An announcement was made to reward one million spiritual crystals and five high-level items. This announcement was taken down by many people in the past few years, but after all these people failed. Now this announcement has not been touched again. I found it, this is it. After bringing the colorful smoke to the central square, Xiao Chen fixed his eyes on the high stone tablet. After a brief search, I took down the notice. Hey, who is that kid? Do you think you are sure that you can cure the old city Lord Morong, or that rich lady? How can this be? Even the alchemy king Ji Yu Ching can't solve the situation of old city Master Morong and Miss Morong. How can a mere brat solve this problem? This kid is going to be in big trouble. I took down this notice, but I don't have the skills to respond to it, but I'm teasing the city lord's palace. In the past, there were many liars who were greedy for rewards, and their limbs were broken by city lord Morong and imprisoned in the dungeon. See Xiao Chen's actions. Some of the martial artists passing by stopped at this moment and looked at Xiao Chen in surprise. Everyone couldn't help but whisper, their eyes filled with sarcasm and pity. What is your name? While everyone was talking about it, the soldiers guarding the notice monument walked towards Xiao Chen with a serious face. They are the city guards of Tiandu City, and they usually guard this notice to prevent anyone from deliberately damaging it. Of course, after the capable men and strangers took down this notice, they were also responsible for taking people to the city lord's palace. My surname is Xiao. Seeing that these two city guards did not scold them as soon as they came up, Xiao Chen was quite fond of them. He immediately raised his hand and said his surname. Master Xiao, do you know the meaning of this announcement? Although the rewards from above are very tempting, if you don't have real skills, you might get into trouble. One of the soldiers nodded and reminded in a low voice. No problem, just take us to the city lord's mansion. Xiao Chen waved his hand when he heard this and replied nonchalantly. In that case, the two of you should come with us. Seeing Xiao Chen looking so confident, Kayan beside him also has an extraordinary temperament. After the two soldiers said something in a low voice, they took Xiao Chen and Kai Yan away from here. At the same time, in the palace of the city lord of Tiandu City. City lord, it's not good, the lady hanged herself again. Morong Fu was sitting in the study. Hearing this frightened shout, he immediately rushed out of the study. The soldiers who wanted to come in and report were sent flying several feet away. Clear the snow. Almost just for a moment, Morong Fu rushed to Morong Qingxie's boudoir and came to Morong Qingxie's bed in a panic. There were two maids kneeling beside them, their bodies trembling uncontrollably. However, Morong Fu's attention did not fall on the maid, but on the figure on the bed. This is a woman whose appearance is unclear. Wrong. Although the woman in front of me is human like, she looks more like an uncivilized ape. Because of this person, not only was there a red mark on his face, but the exposed skin all over his body was covered with strange red hairs. More like a monkey than a person. This is Morong Fu's biological daughter, Morong Qingxue, who suffered from some innate disease due to premature birth. Before the age of 10, Morong Qingxue was no different from ordinary people, and she was a delicate looking little girl. But after 10 years old, Morong Qingxue suddenly developed red spots on his face and the hairs on his body continued to thicken and grow, and finally turned into a strange red color. As a result, he looks like an ape now, and is regarded as an unknown freak by many people. In the past few years, Morong Fu traveled all over the country and visited countless capable people, but he could not cure Morong Qingxue. It was precisely because of becoming such a desolate person that Morong Qingxue had locked herself in her room for the past few years. Not only did he shed tears all day long, he also committed suicide more than once. But because of the close attention of servants and her special physique, she failed to commit suicide every time. Although the breath is a little disordered, fortunately it is not life-threatening. After briefly checking Morong Qingxie's condition, Morong Fu's anxious heart was relieved. What happened? Didn't I ask you two to watch the young lady? Why did the young lady have the opportunity to hang herself again? 
Morong Fu put down Morong Qingxie's wrist, and then turned around with a gloomy expression. That cold murderous aura caused the temperature in the room to drop to freezing point. Ching Er, Hong, Er, was negligent for a moment, please ask the lord of the city to atone for his sins. Upon hearing Morong Fu's question, the two maids lowered their heads and their bodies trembled even more violently. Don't blame them. I made excuses to send them away. It's useless for you to get angry at them. Just when Morong Fu was about to speak, Morong Qingxue also woke up leisurely, and his words came out in a somewhat ethereal voice. Unimaginable. This sweet sound, like the sound of a clear spring, came from a girl with red hair all over her body. Qingxue. Hear this voice. The gloom on Morong Fu's face disappeared and he quickly turned around to look at Morong Qingxue. If you encounter something unhappy, tell daddy. Daddy will definitely help you solve it. Daddy, let me leave this world quietly. Before Morong Fu finished speaking, Morong Qingxue suddenly interrupted him. I'm alive. Being just an anomaly in the eyes of others will only make dad bear more shackles, and will only make me suffer from controversy and torture. Daddy, I am so tired from living. Although suicide is a sign of cowardice and avoidance, I really don't want to continue like this. Qingxue, I miss my mother so much. If there is an afterlife, Qingxue will be my father's daughter again and honor my father's kindness. But now, please forgive Qingxue for being willful, and please let me leave this world. The ethereal and sweet voice, speaking of despair, echoed in the room. Morong Fu's body suddenly trembled, an indescribable pain that made him feel like he was about to suffocate. Even Ching Er and Hung Er, who were kneeling on the ground and shaking, after hearing these words from Morong Qingxue, she forgot her original fear of being punished, and her tears couldn't stop pouring out at this moment. As the maid of Morong Qingxue, don't they know that Morong Qingxue's life is really more painful than death? Today Morong Qingxue found reasons to send them away, and they could more or less notice it. But they still chose to leave, just to fulfill each other's needs. Perhaps death, for Morong Qingxue, is the real relief. Sha'er, give dad three more days. Daddy has already found an expert. He will definitely be able to cure your hidden disease. Daddy promises you that you will get better, so, can you wait a little longer for daddy? Seeing Morong Qingxie's pleading eyes, Morong Fu resisted the urge to cry and spoke with a pleading voice. How could he not know Morong Qingxie's pain? How could he not know that living was a kind of torture for her? But Morong Qingxue was his biological daughter and the only love child between him and his wife. He could not watch her commit suicide. Chapter 44 Two Bad News in Just One Day Dad, this is the 21st time you have lied to me for this reason. After hearing Morong Fu's words, Morong Qingxue turned her head slightly, tears flowing down her hair. In the past, I volunteered to be fooled every time because I couldn't bear it and couldn't bear to leave you. But this time, Qingxue really doesn't want to be deceived by dad again. After saying that, Morong Qingxue closed her eyes in pain, as if the abyss had swallowed up the world. These past few years, Morong Fu used similar reasons to appease her many times, and he did find various, capable people and strangers for her afterwards, but every time the treatment ended in failure. And she, every time, I endured the psychological gap from full of expectations to despair. Even in the process, you also have to bear the surprised looks of outsiders, as if you were looking at a monster. This pain, no one else understands it except herself. She, really didn't want to go through this again. Ching Shui, daddy really didn't lie to you this time. Daddy really found a strange person. He will definitely be able to cure you. Can you just hold on for three more days? Seeing Morong Ching Shui's despair, Morong Fu endured the heartache and continued hoarsely. If he really can't cure you after three days and you want to leave then, dad will allow it. The last few words. Morong Fu used all his strength to say these ordinary words. After saying that, he felt that his entire soul had been cruelly torn into pieces. The greatest pain in the world. There is nothing better than a white-haired person giving a black-haired person a gift, and still watching the other person leave. As long as someone is not cold-blooded and has no family affection, this feeling is tantamount to being insulted. Thank you, daddy. After hearing this, Morong Qingxue opened her eyes slightly, took a deep look at Morong Fu and then closed them again, as if she wanted to remember Morong Fu's appearance forever. 
Then you have a good rest first, and wait until dad finds the expert. After saying this to Morong Qingshue, Morong Fu covered him with the quilt and walked out of the wing with heavy steps. Three days. He can only stay with his daughter for three more days. How cruel this is for a father. After closing the door for Morong Qingshue, Morong Fu leaned against the door, feeling that the whole world was dark. Ahem, cough. Is Xiao Shui okay? Right now. As an old voice sounded, an old man with white hair was pushed over in a wheelchair. The wrinkles on his face were like ravines, and there was an aura of decay permeating his body, making him look like a dying person. This man was none other than Morong Fu's father, the former lord of Tiandu City, Morong Bo. Father, after seeing Morong Bo, Morong Fu immediately stood up straight, and the despair on his face quickly disappeared. Sha'er is fine, I just couldn't think about it for a while. Now after my child's persuasion, I have rested in the room. After hesitating for a while, Morong Fu finally did not tell the truth, but concealed what had just happened. That's good, Morong Bo nodded when he heard this, looked at the room with kind eyes, then raised his head and said hoarsely. Help me prepare for the funeral. I'm afraid I won't survive three days. Boom. After hearing Morong Bo's words, Morong Fu's body trembled violently, and there was a roar in his mind. Although I had already been mentally prepared, after hearing the news at this time. It was still a little hard for him to accept. In just one day, two bad news came one after another. Even though Morong Fu was a strong man in the ninth level of Nirvana, he felt like the world was spinning at this moment. Two people who are closely related by blood will pass away in these days. What a blow this was to him. Seriously, when the house leaks and it rains all night, bad luck always seeks out the poor. How wicked was Morong Fu in his previous life, so that the thief god could be so cruel to him in this life? Kid. I know. After closing his eyes in pain, Morong Fu finally uttered these words. There is no greater sorrow than death of heart. Perhaps this sentence is a portrayal of Morong Fu at this time. City Lord. Someone has posted the notice in the central square and is waiting outside the door of the City Lord's mansion. Just when Morong Fu staggered, he was about to fall down. A soldier hurried over to report. What? This sentence is not very loud. But when it fell on Morong Fu's ears, it was like the sound of a drum in the evening and a bell in the morning, making him raise his head suddenly. Who is it? But a certain medical master of the Great Qian Dynasty, or a Dan Dao sect master of the Great Qian Dynasty? With a glimmer of hope in his eyes, Morong Fu spoke in a hurry. While talking, he even rushed in front of the soldier and grabbed his shoulders with both hands. At this time, he was like a desperado who fell into an abyss and grabbed the last life-saving rope before dying. That excited and trembling look startled the soldier. None. None. Feeling that the pair of arms on his shoulders could crush him to pieces at any time, the soldier replied with a trembling voice. It's a handsome young man in black and a veiled woman in red. They said they were fully confident that they could cure the old city lord, so they asked us to bring them here. Totally confident. After hearing these words from the soldier, the excitement on Morong Fu's face instantly turned into a gloomy one. In the past, there were people who dared to shout that they were absolutely sure, but they turned out to be charlatans who came to deceive and deceive them. In the end, these people were crippled and thrown into the dungeon by him. Now a young man and a woman dare to make such crazy guarantees. Another pair of young people who don't know how high the sky is. Cough cough cough. Morong Bo, who was in the back, heard the conversation between the two and waved his hands in a dazed manner. Send them both away, I don't want to bother you anymore. With his half-dead state, he wouldn't be able to survive more than three days even if he were to die. Even a heavenly rank medical master could not relieve his condition let alone forcibly extend his life. Unless it was the legendary Saint Realm medical expert, there might be hope for him to get better. But the strong men of Saint Realm are all mysterious beings whose beginnings are never seen, and it is obviously impossible for this young man and woman to be the same. Father, how about? Let's meet him, after a moment of silence. Morong Fu's expression gradually calmed down, he turned around and asked in a low voice. Although there was no hope left, Morong Fu still gave it a try. Maybe. Maybe a miracle will happen. The greatest despair that people feel is not that they can no longer see any hope, but that they have lost hope for themselves. 
because without expectations, the world will be dark. Just like his daughter and his father. And as a father and a son, he is really unwilling to give up. Since you don't give up, ahem, then I, an old man like you, will work with you for a while, ahem. Seeing Morong Fu's pleading eyes, as if thinking of Morong Qingxue in the wing, Morong Bo also changed his mind at this time. Thank you father. After hearing this, Morong Fu bowed to Morong Bo, then turned around and looked at the soldier. He ordered in a low voice, bring them to the hall first, the old city lord and I will arrive later. Chapter 45 No matter what kind of injury, I can treat it well. You too, my city lord invites you, outside the gate of the city lord's mansion. After the soldiers who went in to report came back, they immediately turned to Xiao Chen and Kayan, but their eyes looked a little complicated. Such a perfect match for a golden boy and girl. Although I don't know why they came to this muddy water, it is very likely that these two people will not be able to leave the city lord's mansion. How could a pair of young people do something that even alchemy king Ji Yu Ching couldn't handle? After sighing secretly in his heart, the soldier didn't say much and just extended his hand to greet Xiao Chen and Kayan. Xiao Chen and Kayan didn't say anything when they heard this. They nodded and walked straight into the city lord's mansion. After a while, Xiao Chen and Kayan were greeted by the guards and waited in the meeting hall while sipping tea. Fortunately, the wait did not last too long. Morong Fu then pushed Morong Bo in, and several glances collided with each other at this moment. You are indeed so young. Seeing Xiao Chen's handsome face that still had a hint of childishness, Morong Fu and Morong Bo felt their hearts go cold. Originally there was still a little bit of expectation, but now seeing the other party like this, all the expectations were instantly diluted. So young, how could he have such extraordinary medical skills? Even if the other party had been practicing since his mother's womb, his skills would still be a bit lacking. After feeling no hope in their hearts, Morong Fu and Morong Bo, father and son, both looked at Kai Yan behind them. And after coming into contact with the other party's indifferent gaze, both of their bodies couldn't help but tremble, and their pupils shrank violently at this moment. With such cold and indifferent eyes, this person is definitely a strong man. At this moment, both father and son had this idea. To give them such a strong sense of life and death crisis, the opponent's cultivation level must be above the universal truth realm. What shocked Morong Bo even more was that he seemed to have seen those cold eyes before somewhere. But I just couldn't remember it for a while, it seemed like this memory was a bit far away. Master Xiao, after I heard that you took down the notice, I once said that I was fully confident that my father could be cured. I don't know about this, is this an exaggeration? When he realized that Kei Yin's cultivation was as high as the sky, Morong Fu did not dare to put on airs at this time. After pushing Morong Bo to the side, he bowed his hands to Xiao Chen and Kayan. Without any polite words, Morong Fu went straight to the point. This made Xiao Chen look surprised, and he immediately smiled and said, Your father's situation may be difficult for others to deal with, but for me it is nothing more than a trivial matter. As long as you can afford it, I can make him recover from his injuries. No matter how hard he gets. The understated words, with strong confidence, echoed in the hall. This made both Morong Fu and Morong Bo confused. Can any injury be treated well? Is this person too arrogant, or is he a person with real abilities? Are you sure? Morong Fu was just about to say, What the hell are you farting? But he thought that Kayan beside him was a top powerhouse. He finally took a deep breath and confirmed with a trembling voice. But this time, Xiao Chen didn't reply, just took a sip of tea, with a look on his face that said you didn't believe it. Ahem. I wonder. What conditions do you want? Morong Bo, who was sitting in a wheelchair, saw Xiao Chen so calm and composed, and couldn't help but speak at this time. If you really have such ability, he probably wouldn't have stooped to come to the city lord's mansion to treat him just for the little reward on the notice. So this person should have another purpose. The conditions on the notice, plus the soul resurrection purple pill in your hands. Xiao Chen raised his head when he heard this and replied lightly. What? When these words fell into the ears of Morong Fu and Morong Bo, they were undoubtedly like thunder exploding out of thin air. Resurrection purple pill. However, the city lord's mansion almost emptied its fortune 13 years ago in exchange for the sky-high price of pills. And the reward on the notice, 
but the city lord's mansion has only accumulated a little bit of wealth over the years. Unexpectedly, Xiao Chen opened his mouth like a lion. Did he want to completely empty out the city lord's mansion? The most important is, if the purple pill of restoration is given to Xiao Chen, even if Morong Bo recovers from all his injuries, won't he have to practice again? At the opponent's age, trying to return to his prime is tantamount to talking in one's dreams. If there are no problems, I can help old Mr. Morong recover from his injuries first, and you can hand over the things later. Seeing the shocked looks on the faces of the two father and son, Xiao Chen couldn't force him too hard at this time. Now tell this. I just wanted to give Morong Bo a psychological hint and prepare Morong Fu mentally. When he repaired Morong Bo's injuries, he was affected by the contract planted by the system. Morong Bo's affection for him will reach an extremely high level. By then, it will be much easier to ask for the purple pill of restoration than to ask for it afterward. Aren't you afraid that we will regret it later? Hearing that Xiao Chen wanted to restore Morong Bo's injuries first, Morong Fu's eyes flickered and he asked in a low voice. He was a little puzzled that the other party was so proactive. I believe City Lord Morong is not a stupid person. Otherwise, the City Lord's mansion will surely end in ruins. Xiao Chen just smiled lightly when he heard this. Kayan on the side also realized something, and the terrifying murderous intention broke out in an instant, causing Morong Fu and Morong Bo's expressions to change dramatically. Their perception was indeed correct. The woman in red in front of me is really capable of killing them. However, this opportunity to kill was only fleeting and was not noticed by other people in the city lord's mansion. However, both Morong Bo and Morong Fu were soaked in cold sweat. Cough cough cough. Your Excellency, please come back. After a moment of silence, Morong Bo coughed and spoke, but before he could finish speaking, Morong Fu beat him to it. Okay, as you said. If you can really cure my father, the reward is. Dot the conditions on the notice, plus the purple pill of restoration. Although doing so would cause heavy losses to the city lord's mansion, it would not allow Morong Bo's cultivation to recover quickly. But as long as Morong Bo recovers completely from his injuries. If you can practice again, there will still be hope in the future and you can regain your peak cultivation level. Confused, it's not worth it for my old bones. Hearing Morong Fu's immediate response, Morong Bo immediately said anxiously. Without the purple pill of restoration, even if he recovered from his injuries, he would still be just a bad old man. Losing the previous cultivation level will not help the city lord's mansion at all. It would be better to leave this resource and develop the business of the city lord's mansion, or treat Morong Qingxue well. Very nice. You will be glad for this decision in the future. After hearing Morong Fu's words, Xiao Chen ignored Morong Bo and immediately praised him. This old guy is still a little confused now, but as long as he repairs it, he will naturally change his mind. Then without further ado, let's get started. Xiao Chen didn't do any ink, so he immediately stood up and prepared to repair Morong Bo's injuries. But just when Xiao Chen was about to take action, a voice suddenly came from outside the hall, making him frown. Chapter 46 Interesting, is there a story about breaking up the engagement? My nephew Nalan Shiji came uninvited. Uncle Morong and Mr. Morong please don't be surprised. As this voice came, a young man in blue and an old man came to the hall as if they were in a deserted place, immediately attracting everyone's attention. Of course, what Xiao Chen felt was more of displeasure. He was about to do some business for someone, when these two guys suddenly barged in, and the guards of the city lord's mansion hadn't stopped him yet. It's really disappointing. However, an outsider appeared, so he could only stop and take a look at what was going on. When the thought falls, Xiao Chen stood up and sat down again, then picked up the teacup and continued to drink tea. Nalan Shi Ji, when Morong Fu saw the young man in front of him, a look of doubt appeared on his face. The name seemed familiar, as if I had heard it somewhere. Then, he seemed to think of something and smiled unexpectedly. It turns out you are Nalan Shi's nephew. I didn't expect you to be so old. I haven't seen you for ten years. After some thinking, Morong Fu finally remembered. This person was his best friend, Nalan Shi Ji, Nalan Shang's son, and Morong Qingxie's fiancé. But this person, he only came to Morong's house ten years ago and made an engagement with Morong Qingxue. After that, he detected the talent of Marshal Dao, 
who is heavenly rank middle grade, and was directly accepted as a disciple by the master of Taiyi Sword Sect. After spending all these years in Taiyi Sword Sect, even he has never seen her again. Unexpectedly, ten years later, this kid would come to Morong's house without saying a word? Is there something important? When the mind is turning. Morong Fu seemed to have thought of something, and the smile on his face gradually disappeared. My nephew has been studying in seclusion in Taiyi Sword Sect for these years. Only after he recently broke through to the spiritual aperture realm, he had time to go down the mountain for a run. After hearing Morong Fu's words, Nalan Shiji spoke calmly, with a touch of pride on his face. At the age of 18, he broke through to the first level of spiritual aperture and looked at the younger generation of the entire great Qian dynasty. Besides those evil geniuses from the top forces, who else can compete with him, the young sect master? Hiss. Break through to the spiritual orifice realm. When Morong Fu and Morong Bo heard this, their faces showed shock. Back then, even Morong Bo, who had a low-grade heavenly rank talent, did not break through to the spiritual aperture realm until he was 19 years old. Unexpectedly, Nalan Shiji would enter this realm early at the age of 18. If you practice diligently, you will definitely be able to break through to the universal truth realm in the future, and may even touch the celestial human realm. The Nalan family has a monstrous genius. Uncle Morong, I wonder where Morong Qingxue, my fiancé is now? Just when Morong Fu and Morong Bo were shocked, Nalan Shiji glanced at the hall. Finally, it fell on Kayan, and she couldn't help showing a look of surprise on her face, and then a look of suspicion. Could it be that? This is Qingxue? From the information he knew, Morong Qingxue seemed to be involved in something unknown. Not only were there red spots on his face, but his body was also covered with red hairs. Why would there be a woman with a hot body, a veil on her face? but an extraordinary temperament in Morong's house. Could it be that dot the other party's hidden disease has been cured? This is a distinguished guest from the city lord's mansion. Seeing Nalan Shiji staring at Kayan, Morong Fu replied in a low voice. But before he finished speaking, Kayan suddenly raised her head indifferently. If you look at me with such a lewd look again, I won't mind gouging your eyes out. The cold words echoed in the hall. Nalan Shiji's mind buzzed, and he almost fell to the ground on the spot. He dared to interrupt the young master from doing business, and he dared to look at her like this. This human ant is really looking for death. Hiss. Pass, the strong man of universal truth realm. The old man in grey clothes standing next to Nalan Shiji felt the energy coming from Kayan. The whole person was so frightened that he could only stare at the opponent in horror with a look on his face as if he was facing a formidable enemy. Although he is the second elder of the Taiyi Sword Sect, his cultivation is only at the eighth level of the Nirvana realm, which is still far behind the strong men of the Universal Truth realm. Cough, seeing Kayin's sudden temper, Xiao Chen couldn't help but cough. Although the ins and outs are still unclear. However, after hearing the conversation between these people and combining it with Morong Qingxie's incident, he was able to guess the clues. Isn't this the classic plot of breaking up an engagement? He didn't expect that when he came to Morong's house, he would encounter such a bloody thing. However, it is quite special to be able to witness famous classic scenes from a third party's perspective. After Kayan heard Xiao Chen's dry cough, she also restrained her cold murderous intent. She just glanced at the two of them indifferently and continued to play with her charming fingers. Since Lord Morong has an old acquaintance here, let's put things on hold for now. After you have taken care of things, we can continue what we were doing. When the atmosphere in the hall became deathly silent, Xiao Chen took a sip of tea, raised his head and spoke calmly. After saying that, Xiao Chen didn't bother to look at Nalan Shiji and just continued to taste the tea in his hand. When Nalan Shiji saw this scene, his originally handsome face became extremely gloomy at this time. Who is this guy? Not only is his expression and posture even more extraordinary than that of the young master of Taiyi Sword Sect. He even has such a beautiful woman by his side, and he is also a strong man in the universal truth realm. In comparison, with a bad old man by his side, he looks much inferior. Unexpectedly, he brought someone to come to break off the engagement, and before he could fully exert his momentum, he was overpowered by a peer. He is really a coward. Nephew Nalan, Qingxue is ill and resting in the wing. 
Why don't you wait in the back hall first? After I finish handling the things at hand, we can have a few drinks and catch up on the past. After hearing Xiao Chen ask him to deal with things first, Morong Fu looked at Nalan Shi Ji and spoke in a low voice. No need. Before Morong Fu finished speaking, he was interrupted by Nalan Shi Ji with a cold snort. Actually, my nephew came here today not to reminisce, but to break off the engagement. Boom. After hearing Nalan Shi Ji's words, even though Morong Fu had some suspicions, there was still a roaring sound in his mind. Is this what you mean? Is this what your father, Nalan Shang, meant? In front of outsiders, being told by a junior that he was going to break off the engagement, Morong Fu looked extremely ugly and asked suppressing the anger in his heart. He and Nalan Shang are close friends. Although we have become a little stranger over the years, we still remember this friendship in our hearts. After all, it was back then, in the third year after Morong Bo's accident, the situation in the city lord's mansion was somewhat unstable. It was Nalan Shang's suggestion. Let Morong Qingxue and Nalan Shi Ji get engaged, in order to announce the alliance between the two families to outsiders, thus stabilizing the status of the Morong family. If the Nalan family wanted to regret it because of Morong Qingxue's accident in recent years, it should be Nalan Shang who came and asked him to terminate the engagement in private. Instead of asking a junior to come with the elders of the sect to break off the engagement, and also to explain it so rudely in front of outsiders. This feels like humiliating the Morong family. This is what I mean. Nalan Shi Ji did not bother to confuse right and wrong, and admitted it very frankly at this moment. This marriage was decided by you two elders when we were still young. I haven't paid much attention to it over the years, but now there are rumors in the outside world that Morong Qingxue has been infected with an unknown disease and has become neither human nor ghost. And as the young master of Tai Yi Sword Sect, how can I marry a monster with red hair? Shut up. Nalan Shi Ji told the reason without mercy, like a sharp knife piercing Morong Fu's heart. The latter immediately couldn't help but roar. Morong Bo, who was sitting in a wheelchair, turned pale with anger and coughed continuously. Even at this moment, as Morong Fu's voice fell angrily, there was a sound from the corner outside the hall, as if someone fell to the ground. Chapter 47 Shi. Among the seven dynasties of the Eastern Wasteland, she can only be said to be a monster. Miss. When Xiao Chen and others looked over, Hunger and Ching'er looked at Morong Qingxue who fell to the ground. At this moment, they both let out a panicked exclamation. After Morong Fu left, Morong Qingxue said she wanted to go to the inner courtyard to relax. But who knows? I heard a report from a servant that a man and a woman had posted a call for help notice in the central square, and they were fully confident that they could cure Mr. Morong. Feeling a little curious in her heart, Morong Qingxue quietly came outside the hall, intending to meet this young man and woman. Unexpectedly, Nalan Shi Ji came to the house to cancel the engagement. After hearing the other party's heart-wrenching words, he mercilessly called her a red-haired monster. Morong Qingxue felt like her heart was twisting in a knife, and she fell to the ground in a daze. Qingxue, Xiaoshui. When Morong Fu and Morong Bo saw Morong Qingxue outside the hall, their expressions changed dramatically at this moment, and even showed a hint of panic. Morong Qingxue wanted to take her own life many times in the past few years because she had become neither human nor ghost. Now I saw Nalan Shi Ji coming to break off the engagement trampling on the dignity of the Morong family with his words. And all of this happened because of her. Under the self-blame and guilt in her heart, how could Morong Qingxue still have the thought of living? Is this, the rich young lady of the Morong family? Xiao Chen raised his head and looked at his whole body wrapped in a black robe, with only a face with red hair exposed. He looked like a female version of Monkey Sun but there were still strange red spots on his face, and he couldn't help but have a strange color flash in his eyes. Almost without thinking, I used the identification function. A poor woman whose premature birth resulted in a physical mutation caused the Taiyin Xuancha body to mutate, causing the original Taiyin energy in her body to condense into red evil yin energy after devouring the essence of yin and moon. Resulting in excessive growth of hair on the body and mutation, its toughness is now comparable to that of some profound rank soldiers. After each hair change, the yin qi in the body will gradually lose control. If after nine times of alienation, the yin qi invades the soul of the sea of consciousness, 
it will transform into an irrational yin evil monster. But if the innate deficiency in the physique can be repaired, the Taiyin Xuansha body will transform into a saint rank physique, and there is a certain chance that it can be cultivated to the peak of the Saint King realm. As pieces of information appeared in front of his eyes, Xiao Chen couldn't help but widen his eyes. Unexpectedly, this young lady, who was regarded as an outlier by ordinary people, turned out to be like this because her body constitution was insufficient and the yin qi in her body was out of control. And the other person's physique, if the pregnancy is complete, it will still be at the saint rank level. You must know that Queen Medusa is a powerful person whose talent and qualifications are only heavenly rank supreme grade. And saint rank physique, this is almost a legendary physique among the seven dynasties of the eastern wasteland. I never thought that Morong Qingxue would have such a physique. Sir, this person's body, seems to contain a powerful energy. When Xiao Chen felt shocked, Kayan on the side also sensed something and said to Xiao Chen in a solemn voice. Although she couldn't tell that Morong Qingxue became like this because of the underdevelopment of the sacred body, which caused the original yin energy in the body to lose control. But as a strong person in the celestial human realm, she can also detect the other person's extraordinary abilities. She, among the seven dynasties of the eastern wasteland, she can only be said to be a monster. After hearing Kayin's words, Xiao Chen tilted his head slightly and said something meaningful. This made Kayan a little confused. I don't know if Xiao Chen is referring to Morong Qingxie's appearance as a monster, or if he is saying that there is something shocking about him. She is Morong Qingxue. At the moment when the two communicated, Nalan Shiji also saw Morong Qingxue, and couldn't help showing a shocked look on his face. Wearing a black robe, he is covered in red hair and his face is covered with spots. This guy is his fiancé? Ha 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 ha. I thought the rumors were exaggerated, but I didn't expect that my so-called fiancé actually looks like a human being or a ghost. After feeling shocked in his heart, a strong feeling of disgust came over him. At this moment, Nalan Shiji suddenly laughed wildly and looked at Morong Fu and Morong Qingxue angrily. Before coming to Morong's house, I have wondered more than once whether people are just spreading rumors and trying to discredit the Morong family. I didn't expect this to be true. Morong Qingxue really looks like a ghost. Shut up. Hearing Nalan Shiji describe his daughter in this way, Morong Fu couldn't help but burst out in anger again, and the aura of Nirvana's ninth-level cultivation also exploded. A blurry figure appeared in front of Nalan Shiji, and a big dick was thrown towards him on the spot. If Morong Qingxue could not think of committing suicide again because of Nalan Shiji today, Nalan Shiji would also have to pay the price. But just at this moment, the old man in grey clothes standing next to Nalan Shiji also snorted and exploded in cultivation at this moment. He stepped forward and punched Morong Fu. The young sect master who wanted to slap their Taiyi sword sect angrily in front of him, an elder. This undoubtedly did not take him seriously. Boom. The next moment, as fists and palms collided with each other, a sonic boom erupted in the hall. A strong wind swept across like a storm, causing the entire hall to tremble instantly. Fortunately, neither of them acted seriously. Otherwise, the fight between two Nirvana realm experts would be enough to cause the entire council chamber to collapse in an instant. Morong City Master, Shi Ji is the young sect master of Taiyi Sword Sect. Do you want to antagonize Taiyi Sword Sect? After blocking Nalan Shi Ji's slap, the old man in grey stared at him with cold eyes. Although his cultivation level is a little lower than Morong Fu's, his momentum at this time is not inferior at all, and he even feels like he is overpowering him. After all, even if the Morong family controls the entire Tiandu city, it is still not enough in the eyes of Taiyi Sword Sect. Because each of those Taiyi Sword Sect elders can easily destroy the Morong family. If the Morong family didn't want to be destroyed, they wouldn't have the guts to go against Taiyi Sword Sect. After Morong Fu heard this sentence, he was so angry that he was shaking with anger, and his eyes were about to burst out with anger. However, his remaining sanity still prevented him from going berserk on the spot. Taiyi Sword Sect, he is indeed someone the Morong family cannot afford to offend. Once the two sides completely turn against each other, the Morong family will suffer a disastrous fate. Roll. After suppressing the anger in his heart, 
Morong Fu took a deep breath and shouted solemnly. You actually want to whip me? After Morong Fu said this word, Nalan Shi Ji, who was frightened by the side, finally came to his senses. Thinking of Morong Fu's big cock just now, which was less than 10 centimeters from his face, Nalan Shi Ji was completely angry at this moment. What's wrong with what this young master said? Morong Qingxue has red spots on her face and red hair all over her body. What qualifications does she have to be worthy of this young master? With the rage in his heart, Nalan Shi Ji looked directly at Morong Fu and spoke without mercy. As the young master of Tai Yi Sword Sect, I am destined to be the hero of Tai Yi Sword Sect in the future. How could I marry a monster just because of an engagement? Today, the young master of Japan is here to tell you that our Nalan family has annulled this engagement. If you want to get married to our Nalan family, you Morong family are not worthy, and she, Morong Qingxue, is even less worthy. Boom. Hearing what Nalan Shi Ji said, there was another roar in Morong Fu's mind, and his face turned red and purple with anger at this moment. Morong Bo turned pale with anger and kept coughing while sitting in a wheelchair. He looked like he was going to die suddenly. Even Morong Qingxue, who fell to the ground, had a hint of death in his eyes. I have completely lost my nostalgia for the human world and wish I could leave this world now. Also at this moment, when Morong Fu was furious and wanted to take action again, Xiao Chen's words suddenly rang out. Chapter 48 A toad sits in a well and looks at the sky. Does he know how vast the world is? I didn't want to get involved in your personal affairs, but what you said is really unacceptable. When Morong Fu and others looked over after hearing this, Xiao Chen took a sip of tea and said with a sarcastic voice. If you say that the current status of the Morong family is not worthy of your young sect master, it does make some sense. But if you say, that Miss Morong is not worthy of you, then I don't agree with you. With that said, Xiao Chen put down the teacup in his hand and continued in a joking voice. Because in my opinion, the person who doesn't deserve it, should be you. After these words, there was a sudden silence in the hall. Everyone looked at Xiao Chen blankly, even Morong Qingxue looked up, obviously shocked by these words. A young master of Tai Yi Sword Sect who is handsome and talented. Although the other one is the daughter of the city lord, she looks neither human nor ghost. A discerning person can tell at a glance which one of Nalan Shi Ji and Morong Qingxue is not worthy of the other. But Xiao Chen said that it was Nalan Shi Ji who was not worthy of Morong Qingxue. This was simply telling lies. Ha 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 ha, you actually said that this young master is not worthy of this woman? After hearing Xiao Chen's weird remarks, Nalan Shi Ji was stunned for a moment and then laughed angrily at Xiao Chen. A discerning person can see the problem at a glance. You are actually confusing right and wrong here. Is it possible that you are born to like this kind of alien? Hearing Nalan Shi Ji's harsh words, Morong Fu clenched his fist tightly again and almost couldn't control himself and wanted to hit Nalan Shi Ji. However, he was a little curious in his heart as to why Xiao Chen said that, so he held it back after taking a deep breath. After all, Xiao Chen was a capable person who was confident that he could cure Morong Bo well. Could it be possible that the other party had already seen some clues from Morong Qingxie's symptoms? You don't need to know my preferences, you just need to know. I'm just stating the facts. Hearing Nalan Shiji's sarcasm, Xiao Chen didn't get angry and just said with a slight smile. Let's put it this way. The pearls and jade are covered in dust. Even if most people in the world cannot see her brilliance, she is still an existence that the world can only hope for. And dung yellow inlaid with gold, even if it looks bright and beautiful on the outside, it is still a disgusting waste. Xiao Chen didn't put it very bluntly, he just quoted a metaphor. But as long as everyone present is not stupid, they all know who he said is the pearl covered with dust, and who is the stinking dung yellow inlaid with gold. How dare you insult this young master? Nalan Shiji's face turned the color of pig liver when he heard this. He was about to step forward and give Xiao Chen a slap in the face to wake him up, but when he took a step forward, he saw Kai Yan staring at him. After his momentum weakened a bit, he immediately said with a cold snort. This young master has broken through to the first level of spiritual aperture at the age of 18. He can be said to be the top genius in the great Qian dynasty. What qualifications do you have to dare to mock this young master? After saying that, 
Nalan Shiji immediately burst out with his cultivation aura, and stared at Xiao Chen with overwhelming energy. Although he didn't dare to attack Xiao Chen directly because he was worried about Yin's existence, he definitely couldn't lose in terms of momentum. With his impressive cultivation performance, he is enough to successfully attack the opponent's Taoist heart. At the age of 18, after cultivating to the first level of the spiritual aperture realm, can you be proud of the great Qian dynasty? Then I have reached the seventh level of spiritual aperture before I am 18 years old. Can I be proud of the eastern wilderness? Seeing that Nalan Shiji was like an epileptic dog in heat, he couldn't wait to show him his power. Xiao Chen stood up with a sneer at this time, and his cultivation aura exploded. The powerful aura of the seventh level of spiritual aperture instantly defeated Nalan Shiji's momentum. Nalan Shiji's pupils shrank violently, and everyone present was shocked. No, impossible. How is it possible that someone under the age of 18 can cultivate to the seventh level of spiritual aperture? This is absolutely impossible. Feeling Xiao Chen's aura that could crush him, Nalan Shiji shouted in disbelief. He possesses heavenly rank middle grade martial Dao talent, but he is the top talent in the wilderness. How could there be someone more evil than him? When a toad sits in a well and looks at the sky, how can he know how vast the world is? So don't use your limited knowledge to directly deny the meaning of other people's existence. Seeing Nalan Shiji being hit, Xiao Chen restrained his aura with disdain. In your opinion, Miss Morong is an alien who is neither a human nor a ghost, but how could you know that underneath this seemingly ugly appearance, there is also a beautiful face that will captivate the entire country? Even regardless of her real appearance, just her talent of martial Dao can make you unmatched. Boom. After hearing Xiao Chen's words, Morong Fu, Morong Bo and others felt like there was a roar in their minds. He looked at Xiao Chen in disbelief, as if he had realized something, and his body was trembling at this moment. Mr. Xiao, could it be that? Dot you saw my daughter's illness? After this trembling question, Morong Qingxue stood up outside the hall and looked at Xiao Chen with equally trembling eyes. All these years, everyone in the world thinks that she is an alien, a monster that is neither human nor ghost. Even she thinks so. But I didn't expect it today. When she was hit by the breakup of her engagement and had a desire to die, she found a strange man. Stand up and say that she is a jewel in the dust. Under this seemingly ugly appearance, there is a charming face. Even her body, which gets sick from time to time, still has the talent to stand out from ordinary people. Good. Xiao Chen nodded when he heard this and said calmly. Miss Morong's symptoms are caused by insufficient innate and her own constitution is too strong causing the original yin energy in her body to lose control, which is why she is like this now. If I'm not mistaken, Miss Morong has gone through eight sheddings and often loses control during the full moon. I even often experience colic in my dantian, and every time I have an attack, I feel excruciatingly painful. These words. Nalan Shiji and the old man in grey were confused, but the bodies of Morong Fu and Morong Bo, father and son, were shaking even more violently. Even Morong Qingxue himself was in disbelief. All right. The hair on Morong Qingxue's body did fall off on its own, and then grew back again, eight times. Even Alchemy King Ji Yu Qing couldn't see this. Unexpectedly, Xiao Chen just sat in the hall and glanced at Morong Qingxue outside the hall, and was able to explain all the symptoms correctly. Could it be that Mr. Xiao is the descendant of a certain medical saint? Since Mr. Xiao. Dot has noticed my daughter's symptoms. I wonder if Mr. Xiao, is there any way to cure her? When he was feeling shocked in his heart, Morong Fu walked up to Xiao Chen and asked this sentence in a trembling voice. It's still what I said just now. Miss Morong's symptoms may seem incomprehensible to ordinary people, but to me it's just a trivial matter. But the premise is that the conditions I proposed, your Morong family. Xiao Chen smiled lightly when he heard this and said calmly. And he hasn't finished speaking yet. After Morong Fu's pupils contracted violently, he knelt down on the ground with a pop. Chapter 49. When pretending to be cool in front of others, you have to act decently. If young master Xiao can take action to cure the little girl, Morong Fu is willing to follow the young master in this life and offer all the heritage of the Morong family. This statement. I swear to heaven with my Taoist heart. If I, Morong Fu, break my promise, I will go crazy and die. Boom. 
After these words fell, it was like a thunderbolt from the blue. It seemed as if heaven and earth were feeling something at this moment. Nalan Shi Ji and the old man in grey looked at Morong Fu with shock on their faces. Obviously, he didn't expect that Morong Fu would not only give up his family's heritage for Morong Qingxue, but also swear to follow him to death? This makes them feel a little unbelievable. After all, human nature is selfish. Even blood relatives would not be stupid enough to give selflessly in this cruel world. As the city lord of Tiandu City, Morong Fu has reached the ninth level of Nirvana. He can be considered a respectable person in the Wangzhou area. It is simply stupid to be so humble and even give everything for a heir. It's better to go back and find a woman and give birth to another child, than to have nothing and become a servant. Daddy. While Nalan Shi Ji and the old man in grey were puzzled, Morong Qingxue looked at Morong Fu who was kneeling down, tears already filling his eyes. She knew that Morong Fu loved her daughter very much, but she never expected that he would be willing to give up everything and become a servant for her. Is this a close relative? Ahem. Master Xiao. I wonder if I can transfer this opportunity that you. Ahem. To take action for me to Xiao Shui? While Morong Qingxue was shaking in her heart, Morong Bo, who was paralyzed in a wheelchair, coughed and begged at this moment. With the current conditions of the Morong family, it would be difficult for Xiao Chen to take action twice. Even if Morong Fu knelt down and offered to be a slave, it would not have much effect. After all, Xiao Chen is followed by powerful men from the Universal Truth Realm. Although Morong Fu has the cultivation of Nirvana 9th level, he is still dispensable to Xiao Chen. Therefore, if there was only one chance to take action, he was willing to give it to his granddaughter Morong Qingxue. Young people. Daughter the future of the family. These words shocked Nalan Shi Ji and the old man in grey again. There are still people who give up hope and take the initiative to give opportunities to others. Is this old guy confused? And Morong Qingxue heard what Morong Bo said. The tears that originally filled my eyes were like bursting from a dam at this moment, and I burst into tears on the spot. She always wanted to die, but these two relatives around her can give everything for her. In comparison, she seemed very ignorant and a little sorry for these two people. Get up. When Morong Qingxue felt guilty, Xiao Chen smiled lightly and said to Morong Fu. For the sake of your Morong family's sincerity, I will treat this as a buy one get one free deal. I can do it for you twice and only charge you one reward. Look at this situation now. With the Morong family under control, it was completely reasonable to treat Morong Qingxue again. Thank you, Mr. Xiao. Hearing that Xiao Chen planned to heal the two of them, Morong Fu and Morong Bo burst into tears of gratitude and almost kowtowed to Xiao Chen. Ha ha, even the alchemy king Ji Yu Qing can't handle the symptoms of the two of them. How can you, a brat, do this? Just when Morong Fu and others were filled with gratitude, Nalan Shiji's voice also sounded with a sneer. Seeing that Xiao Chen is similar in age to him, he is not only stronger than him in cultivation. Now being able to be so prominent in the Morong family made him feel a strong sense of jealousy. If Xiao Chen really had the ability to cure these two people, wouldn't the other person's medical attainments be even better than that of Alchemy King? When he thought of this, Nalan Shiji felt like there were countless ants crawling all over his body. If he didn't question her at this time, he would be sorry for the jealousy in his heart. Nalan Shiji, please get out of Morong's house quickly, Mr. Xiao. It's not your turn to question. Xiao Chen didn't say anything after hearing this. Morong Fu stood up and stared at Nalan Shiji with a stern look, scolding him mercilessly. If he wasn't afraid of the old man in grey and had Taiyi sword sect to support him, he would really want to kill Nalan Shiji. It doesn't matter, he's just a clown. There's no need to get so angry. Seeing Morong Fu trying to kick Nalan Shiji out, Xiao Chen raised his hand to stop him and his eyes fell on Nalan Shiji teasingly. Don't you think Miss Morong is not worthy of you? Next, I will let you see clearly what kind of person the person you want to break off the engagement is. After saying these two sentences with a sneer, Xiao Chen came to Morong Qingxue. Miss Morong, next I will help you make up for your innate deficiency but you may feel a little pain when your body undergoes transformation. What? After hearing Xiao Chen's words, Morong Fu, Nalan Shi Ji and others were suddenly startled, looking at Xiao Chen in disbelief. Listen to what Xiao Chen said. 
it seemed that he wanted to cure Morong Qingxue directly in front of everyone? And this process doesn't seem to take too long. Morong Qingxue, on the other hand, looked at Xiao Chen blankly, her eyes unable to help but fluctuate violently at this moment. She didn't see any disgust in Xiao Chen's eyes, only a touch of appreciation and encouragement. This look made her feel recognized by outsiders, and her cold heart couldn't help but tremble. I will bear it. After feeling a strange feeling in her heart, Morong Qingxue lowered her head humbly, and then responded with a firm voice. She actually felt shy. It's a pity that she is a strange person, she looks like a ghost or a ghost, and she doesn't even have the courage to look at Xiao Chen. Xiao Chen didn't know what Morong Qingxue was thinking at this time. After hearing the other party's answer, he nodded and burst into cultivation, with runes surrounding him. Xiao Chen raised his hand and pointed at Morong Qingxue, looking like a master. Now it's time to show off in front of others, and to pretend to be a medical expert, the show must be done in a decent way. Maybe after this name is given out, many high-level strong men will be injured in the future, and they will cry and kneel down to beg him. After all, a medical expert who can treat high-level powerful people can be a life-saving talisman to a certain extent. This is also the reason why many medical experts have a high status. I don't believe in the pretense. Even the alchemy king Ji Yu Ching can't deal with this guy. This kid can easily deal with it with a few clicks. Watching Xiao Chen look around at the runes, he randomly clicked on Morong Qingxue. Nalan Shiji's eyes were disdainful, and he said with a sneer in his words. If this kid messes up next, he will not only have to bear the anger of the Morong family, but also his ridicule and attacks. System, repair Morong Qingxue's physique. While pointing his finger at Morong Qingxue's heart, Xiao Chen also gave instructions to the system at this time. Ding. The system has deducted 112,000 points and started to repair the character Morong Qingxue's physique. Xiao Chen couldn't help but widen his eyes when he heard this. It's a saint rank level physique. Just to make up for some innate deficiencies, it costs more than 110,000 points. From this you can imagine, after Morong Qingxie's physique returned to normal, how talented was she? Chapter 50. You despise people when they are ugly, but you are unworthy of people when they are beautiful. Buzz. When Xiao Chen felt surprised in his heart, a dazzling white light shone out. One rune after another, together with the dazzling white light, sank into Morong Qingxie's body, causing the other party to scream in pain. Immediately afterwards, under the illumination of this white light, Morong Qingxie's physical defects were quickly repaired at this moment. The ugly red spots on her face quickly disappeared at a speed visible to the naked eye. Even the hair all over the body quickly softens and falls off at this moment after the Yin Qi returns to the inner Dantian. Then, along the loose black robe, it fell under Morong Qingxue. In just a few moments, as Xiao Chen closed his palm, Morong Qingxue stopped trembling. A face with exquisite and picturesque features, like a fairy who has been banished to the mortal world, is also presented to everyone at this time. Morong Qingxie's image, there is a purple one at the back, I won't release it until I write it down. And Morong Qingxie's cultivation level. Under the feedback of these yin qi, it soared at an exaggerated speed. In less than a dozen breaths, he directly crossed the level of Kaiyuan realm, and finally stabilized in the second level of spiritual aperture realm. Such an incredible change immediately made everyone in the hall feel like there was a roar in their minds. Each of the pupils almost exploded on the spot, looking at Morong Qingxue in disbelief. Looking at this beautiful and picturesque face, Nalan Shiji felt like his head was going to explode. Even the mouth can be opened infinitely, enough to swallow three kun eggs. When Xiao Chen said before that Morong Qingxue was so beautiful, he despised him as a fool more than once in his heart. But at this moment, I saw that the red spots on Morong Qingxie's face disappeared, and all the red hair on his body faded away, revealing his true appearance. Only then did he know, it turns out he is the real idiot. Such a peerless face. In addition to the little junior sister who made him drool, Morong Qingxue was another woman who made him drool. And most importantly, the other party made up for the lack of innate and activated his physique, which actually caused his cultivation to soar to the second level of spiritual aperture, even a small level stronger than him. With such talent and qualifications, if he can grow up in the future, 
he will definitely be a celestial human realm powerhouse. With a flawless face and such a transcendent talent, Morong Qingxue is a perfect match for him. When I feel shocked inside, Nalan Shiji's breathing became more rapid, and looking at Morong Qingxue became more and more intense. Qingxue. Is this really Qingxue? Seeing Morong Qingxue who had completed his transformation in front of him, Morong Fu was dumbfounded and couldn't believe his eyes. The whole person walked up to Morong Qingxue while murmuring words. He stretched out his hand to touch this beautiful face, but was afraid that it was just an illusion in his eyes. After being stunned for a moment, he suddenly withdrew his right hand and slapped himself hard. Ha 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 ha, it hurts. It's true, Qingxue is finally back to normal. Feeling the pain on his face, Morong Fu suddenly looked up to the sky and laughed wildly, then knelt down in front of Xiao Chen. Morong Fu thanks Mr. Xiao for his great kindness. Not only did he restore Morong Qingxue's original appearance with a raise of his hand, but he also made the opponent's cultivation skyrocket to the spiritual aperture realm. For Morong Qingxue, this is tantamount to reincarnation of kindness. I. Recovered? Seeing Nalan Shiji's shocked and burning expression, and Morong Bo sitting in a wheelchair crying, even her father Morong Fu looked up to the sky and laughed wildly. Morong Qingxue felt a hint of coolness on her face and couldn't help but reach out and touch her face and neck. In the past, she could reach out and touch a pile of hair, but now she felt a piece of pink brilliance, as if she was stroking a piece of ice silk satin. This made her body tremble violently, and her pupils couldn't help but expand rapidly after shrinking violently. It also made her realize an unbelievable fact. That is. Dot she has no hair on her body. For a moment, a kind of sadness that she had never felt before suddenly came to her heart, making her face burst into tears. I never thought that after being treated as a monster for so many years, she would one day return to normal. And all this, it's all thanks to the young man in front of me. My little girl Morong Qingxue, thanks Mr. Xiao for his great kindness. Feeling sad and complicated in her heart, Morong Qingxue also knelt down and knelt down. Once, her world was dark, but now, someone lights up her world. And this person, regardless of whether he is high or low, whether he is good or evil. From now on, Morong Qingxue is everything to her, and he is also the person she cannot live up to in this life. Everyone, get up. You don't have to kneel down so easily. Seeing Morong Fu and Morong Qingxue like this, Xiao Chen smiled lightly and said. However, the look in Morong Qingxue's eyes couldn't help but bring a touch of surprise. Such beautiful facial features. I am afraid that only the veiled Kayan behind him can compete with Morong Qingxue at this time. How about it? Do you recognize the truth now? After Morong Fu and Morong Qingxue stood up, Xiao Chen looked at Nalan Shiji teasingly. When Nalan Shiji heard Xiao Chen's question, his face turned the color of pig liver at this moment. I wanted to say something to refute Xiao Chen, but I couldn't find any excuse at this time. Unexpectedly, Xiao Chen's methods were so amazing that even alchemy king Ji Yu Qing couldn't solve difficult and complicated diseases. It was unexpectedly solved by this kid. But how could such a proud person like him be crushed by others? When the thought falls, he glanced at Morong Qingxue and Morong Fu, and a sincere smile appeared on his face at this moment. Uncle Morong, Nalan Shi's nephew was ignorant of gold and jade, so he attacked Uncle Morong in public. I also ask Uncle Morong to be a gentleman and not remember the faults of a villain, and don't treat me like a junior like me. After speaking kindly to Morong Fu, Nalan Shi Ji also revealed his purpose at this time. Since Sister Qingxue has received help from noble people and is now able to get rid of her illness and regain her appearance, I, Nalan Shi Ji, am not someone who started in chaos but never gave up. When I return to Taiyi Sword Sect tomorrow, I will ask my master to tell the major forces of the great Qian dynasty to marry Sister Qingxue at Taiyi Sword Sect in seven days. You can be considered worthy of the engagement my father and uncle Morong made back then. Hearing what Nalan Shi Ji said, not only Morong Fu and Morong Qingxue's eyes widened, but even Xiao Chen looked over in surprise. First, he came to forcefully break off the engagement, but now that he saw Morong Qingxue's true appearance and the other person's talent, he was indeed a monster. In a few sentences, the previous incident was revealed, and the name of Taiyi Sword Sect leader was directly mentioned. 
Are you planning to overpower the Morong family and force them to fulfill their engagement? Do you want to forcefully marry Morong Qingxue? I really have seen shameless people, but I have never seen such shameless people. Roll. Upon hearing Nalan Shiji's words, Morong Fu immediately shouted loudly. You were mean and humiliated my daughter just now, but now you want to lick her pussy and marry her? Even if my daughter is a widow for the rest of her life, she will never have anything to do with a villain like you. Morong Qingxue, who was on the side, did not say anything, but her expression was indifferent. If Nalan Shiji came to visit her today, she might feel a little inferior and happy in her heart, and she would also identify more with her fiancé. But today's thing. Let her see Nalan Shiji's face clearly, which made her sick to the point of nauseating. Master Nalan, after what you said to my father just now, I, Morong Qingxue, have nothing to do with you in this life. From now on, Qingxue plans to follow Mr. Xiao as a slave, so please don't say these misleading words. Morong Qingxue said coldly when she felt disgusted in her heart. You despise people when they are ugly, but you are unworthy of people when they are beautiful. She Morong Qingxue. From now on, even if I become a slave girl next to Mr. Xiao, bringing him tea and water to warm his bed every day, she will not be associated with this kind of scum.